assistant's fault. That has nothing to do with me. I'm usually on point, and you guys know it. My assistant is never on point. I'm always on point. Hey, guys. <laughs> Melissa Schumann. Nick Carter. And is it the Backstreet Boys? Yeah, the Backstreet Boys. You know what's crazy? I would, I would think they're more like the front street boys than the back street boys if you actually take a look at them. But yeah, And anyway, I, I've got really good news tonight. One of my stalkers is going to be going to jail and I'm not even playing. So that's awesome. Good, good news there. Someone that stalked me for years and once they go, their little buddies will be next. And I couldn't be more tickled purple, which is just, oh shit, thank you, I forgot, which is just great stuff. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about that though, because, you know, I don't want to give them any attention or anything. And, you know, I got, I've got so many stalkers out there that, you know, they're not going to know which one. Actually, the one will know because they got scissored. You got scissored. Um, but the other ones, yeah, yeah, they won't, the stalkers, only the one that got scissored will know about that. So anyway, tonight, we're going to continue from where we left off a couple nights ago. La yesterday, I had family stuff to do. And so today, we're going to get caught back up on a couple hours of streaming with this extremely crazy thing that happened with YouTuber Sloan linked in to our favorite I wanted to be nice, but I'll just say it. Con artist, psychopath YouTuber Molly Golightly, and a woman named Melissa Schumann. So if you were around a couple nights ago, it, near the end of the stream, me and Navy discovered that Melissa Schumann was targeted by Molly's stuff, and we've been hearing her name a lot in maybe, what, for days, really, a week. We've been hearing this name, Melissa Schumann. And so it stuck in my head, and then we found out that she actually, five years before something, had a run-in with Molly Golightly that started Molly's channel. Molly was a harasser. She started her channel as a hate channel against this person. And, and Melissa had a little bit of celebrity credibility. She actually was the front singer for a female boy band, if you, a, a girl band, I don't know. But, you know, one of them bands like Backstreet Boys and stuff. But, she, you know, she's a girl. So, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I think she's a pretty good singer. She's definitely beautiful. Has all the, all the right stuff. If you put, like, let's say you took Dre. 
Remember Dre? Let's say you take Dre, one of Molly's most, I'd say, um, as in how much Molly has offended towards one of her victims. Dre was the most offended on. And if you took Dre and just blanked out her face, like put a piece of paper over her face and just had her stand there, the hair, the body structure, even kind of like the amount of celebrity pull and the possibility of having more celebrity pull is all a factor that has this commonality between Dre and Melissa Schumann. Blonde, I wouldn't say too short. I wouldn't say too tall, but definitely not tall. Definitely maybe short. Uh, pretty face, pretty features, right? Um, a mild celebrity pull. Now, Melissa, am I saying the name right? Hey, what's up, what the fork? Hey, Poisoned Harley, Sienna, Jamie Girl, Lorraine, Sissy, Kendra, GWT. Hey, everybody. Hey, Amy, good to see all of you. Appreciate you coming by. So basically, we've got to go down the rabbit hole. We've got to figure out a little bit more of what's up here. I don't think there's really too many big reveals that are going to be coming at you, but, uh, but I can't I, I can't know. I can't predict it. I mean, we're doing this together for the first kind of time. The first, you know, this this whole this whole area I've saved for live streaming because, you know, I do other stuff for other content when I'm not live streaming. So this does, this completely relates to the beginning of Molly's story. So I really need to get this done. But anyway, we need to jump right into it. We also have one 900 go lightly. Yeah, Molly has done her uh, S-E double hockey sticks, her, her, her sex call line again. And it went to hilarious... A hilarious outcome. You remember what happened last time with one nine hundred go lightly? It it what it turned out that one that it was an actual real lawyer who had a good reputation had called her for you know her services during the call and couldn't have his name, his voice, or anything about him broadcasted because it would affect the cases and his job. But Molly had not told him that they'd been live streaming the whole time. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. And these kind of things tend to happen when you get your 1-900 go lightly going on. And that, yeah, I, for those of you that have never seen it, Molly does a sex line. She puts out, I don't know how she does it, but she literally puts out her phone number for men to call for some good old fashioned fun and then live streams everything that happens. And she gets pretty raunchy. She calls it adult entertainment, stream, like, a, like streaming entertainment. But it, I guess it's because she's, she's kind of like playing tricks on them and trolling them, I guess, you know? It reminds me of early YouTube, all the prank calls that used to get put out on early YouTube. And I don't remember what happened with the prank call section of YouTube. It was pretty big. It spawned some bigger channels, but I'm pretty sure YouTube put a stop to those kinds of scenarios because they didn't like the fact that it was, you know, you're putting in certain states in certain scenarios, it is a privacy violation for you to blast them like that without their permission. So if you're just kind of randomly doing this, uh, regardless if they're calling an uh, SEX double hockey sticks line or not, you know, you get these kind of... Um, legal problems that might come forth anyway you know i don't care about all that it is a pretty funny video also there's been some other funny things coming out of the of the last few days that we need to look at nothing with leticia yet i haven't heard anything about the leticia scenario so if you're out there and you know what's up with leticia i'm thinking she didn't show up that's what i'm thinking because we have people that are looking right people that are trying to check the public means to see what happened, to see what they can find. And we don't have anything yet. I don't know if maybe you guys saw nonsense upload something, or I want to know what happened with that summons. If she doesn't go, I think what happens is a, a warrant goes out and they just show that it like didn't happen or something. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? You guys would have to tell me. I'm not really good with that kind of thing. So, eh, ah, who knows? Uh, Sissy, I know. Sissy says, heck, I wouldn't hate to even think of Molly getting freaky. Would probably slobber all over you because she's always messed up. <laughs> You're probably right. I never thought about that. 
And Navy says she blamed Michelle and tagged AA. I don't know. Who, I, I can't see what you Navy. If you're around, you I know it, you, you're probably busy or something. But I'm just saying, if you're around, you're you're more than welcome to. Is it Sunday? How did that happen? I lost a day. I completely lost an entire day. I was sitting here thinking that yesterday was Friday. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a big mind exploder. I, there was a different word I was going to use, but I stopped myself. It's too early in the stream to say that word. Anyway, I need to share this stream. I don't think I shared it. I need to make sure I did. You guys notice I got a little more space. I, we kind of got the, the studio reorganized the slightest bit. Ah, you know, I like it. I do. Um, anyway, let's see here what we got when it comes to Melissa Schumann. I'm hope, I hope I got the right person. It is Melissa Schumann, correct? I, I'm almost positive. Either way, we've got a video we were looking at the other day. We're going to just take a look at it. And, so Molly, quit, quit yelling at me, Molly. Stop yelling until I get I'm over good. it. Is it now? Anyway, so we're going to get back to the last video that we didn't get a chance to get through because I, it, everything was just so crazy last stream. There was a shit ton of people in here, bunch of stuff popping off. We had a victim of Molly's in the chat who had just been attacked and uh, let's say berated or chased like cyber stalked or something by Molly and her little fan club. And of course, Molly was angry because you can't call yourself a victim of Molly. There are no victims of Molly, according to Molly, though about 1,432 people would argue otherwise. And while we get the Melissa Schumann stuff pulled up and get it ready to roll, we have to finish at least a little bit or remind you at least of this video. Let me make sure I'm in the stream room. So in case the Navy does jump in sometime tonight. Yep, yep, yep. Let me make sure I'm sharing my screen just in case he comes in. Yep, yep, yep. And let's roll it. Yeah, oh, okay, awesome, buddy. Uh, let's see here. Who got their stuff? Why aren't they sporting it? We're working on it, Kendra. We're de we are working on it. I had to shell out more money that I didn't, that I shouldn't, and had I should not have to. Okay. Notice she was. Notice this part. I'm. I'm so glad that it stopped here. She's. She's about to say, I had to shell out money that I didn't have. Right? Because she's constantly programmed in make the audience think I need money mode. And and she stops herself because she realizes, uh-oh, I just literally paid for $5.6 trillion of face reconstruction surgery and turned myself into the Molly mummy. I can't say I'm broke or I'm going to get hate. So she dips out, steps it back, right? You heard that there? And you know what? I like it. Uh... I, I will, sissy. We actually were talking about that in the mod meeting, our last one. And we've got things together to make that work. I think we're going to. Um, Molly during sex. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to I'm gonna get more. <laughs> August. August. Stop it. I, I'm going to laugh the whole time I'm streaming here. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but, but really quick before we go, I cannot forget because I, I have to do it. If I'm going to work, I got to do it. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you're subscribed with the bell on. Make sure you're subscribed with the bell on to Unirock2 for when I upload those videos that I've been working on for a while. They're going there. They will not be here. They will be on Unirock2. So if you want to see what all this streaming goes for, you got to sub and uh, turn on the bell over there. And also, for those of you that really want us to keep going and doing what you like to see us do, it's paypal.me forward slash unirock or patreon.com forward slash unirock if you don't want to use PayPal. And also, there's the member button down below. Now we're ready to get back to it. And Molly, thank you for reminding me. I needed a reminder there. Okay? That brings my business down a fucking notch, okay? And as a very good business person, I thought I was dealing with a professional. As a very good business person... I found the person that was going to do this through my viewership, and now I'm mad. 
Well, number one, you're not a good business person because you don't understand how you have to be accountable during a charity fundraiser. These are things that, that's basic. I'm not a good business person. I'm not going to lie and say I is, but you ain't because you would have been able to give the advice to Letitia that she needed so that you didn't run a fraud raiser or the many other fraud raisers. Now, there was something said right before this that I don't want to rewind for, and we're going to miss it. She said that the reason, maybe she said it on a different video and I just saw that. Anyway, the reason that she got the Molly Mummy going on, you know, all those injections, she described that she got an injection here, she got an injection here, she got an injection here, 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 and here. And she got something called like Morpheus 8000 here, here, there, and there. She went into extreme detail on what she had done. And instead of saying the truth, which was, so because I want to look whatever, she said, because I had or have cerebral palsy. Isn't that what she said? Is this well, hey, Rachel. What's it called when I had that thing that made my face go numb? I said it right? Oh, ball, Bell's palsy. Bell's. I said that wrong. It's Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy makes your face go numb. It's a very terrifying thing. I had it happen to me. And I went live. And I uploaded videos. Because I was, you know, I had to. And I couldn't move this whole side of my mouth. And I couldn't move this eye. Or any part of my face. Now, it's because you've got this really big nerve back there. And sometimes inflammation will happen or an infection will cause inflammation and it'll pinch the nerve. So the signal doesn't go through. It doesn't kill the nerve. The nerve doesn't die. Though, in extremely rare cases of Bell's palsy, you will have permanent, you know, loss of function. So I just want to make sure you know... Molly claims that a long time ago, she had Bell's palsy, and she is one of the rare cases where she can't move these parts of her face due to it. Now, why is it that some people are skeptical of this? You can go find videos out there. I saw one today where people are skeptical of Molly. She gets these injections in her face. She gets treatment done to her face, and she says she has to do it because of cerebral palsy or something now i've never heard of treatment for i'm sorry bell's palsy i've never heard of treatment for bell's palsy or botox and morpheus to treat it i've never heard of that number one i don't know how that would work i don't know how that would happen i don't know what it would do again bell's palsy is a nerve issue in your in your face they don't even really know what causes it or they kind of had guesses and stuff like that. But anyway, or what brings it on, I should say. They know what causes it, but what brings it on? Anyway, um, you know, when you lose that nerve, when you lose that nerve in Bell's palsy, you don't just lose one or two things. You typically lose an area because it's you can lose the nerve at the base where it first comes in or you could lose it a little bit further up. And so you'll have this multiple thing going on i don't know what to think it doesn't make a lot of sense but i guess it could be possible you know either way just to give you the full version that's what happened now let's get back to her flipping out and she's really angry again because she paid somebody uh what she says is 300 dollars to do like a, a bunch of either graphics or something for her channel that person, of course, stopped doing it for Molly once Molly flipped out or maybe we, we, we think that the person could have asked, like said, OK, you've paid me for the first three. Where's the rest of my money? And then Molly's like, no, 300 was for 400 things. Something like that could have happened. Tell me in the live chat if you know. Uh, Navy just tagged me. She saw 10 graphics. OK. So what happened to me? What caused the problem, Navy? What made her mad? That's what I want. herself as a professional. I thought as a professional, since she had her own website, which. Um, Sammy Smith says, no, she has to redo her Botox shots. Exactly. Exactly. I, that's what I'm thinking. And Molly, the life coach con says Molly is filling her subs. That's not humor. Bell's palsy works. She's so stupid. Yeah, I know. And that's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't. Myself, I had my doctor fully explain this thing to me when I had it because I was really freaked out. Like, I had to go get Rachel. I felt completely normal 
And then all of a sudden, it just came on me. And I'm like, Rachel, what the hell's going on? I'm like, I feel like I can't move my lip. And she's like, no, it's not moving. And I'm like, I got to go to the doctor. I got to go to the VA. She's like, yeah, you do. So I've had it fully explained to me. And I don't really understand what Molly has going on either. I think, you know, she could be maybe exaggerating. Ah. Now she says that she cannot afford, right? She said it. I can't afford to keep my... Uh, it goes away. But for some people, it can be permanent for like 10, five or 10% of certain cases. Like for one, you've got to have like a big effect. And when you have it a big effect, sometimes it never goes away. Okay. Navy says she only paid her $300 and I think she asked for more and Molly got mad and T sip and mama dropped her Patreon and they sent Molly into a tailspin. Yes, exactly. And remember, Last stream, I told you, Molly had one of her patrons do this. And the patron says, no, 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 I need more money. That was only for this. And Molly expected more for free or for no payment. And because Molly looked at it like, okay, she pays me 50 a month on Patreon. So if I give her 300 bucks, I'll get my money back in six months, 50 times six, right? And when that person dropped the Patreon, she's mad because she's like, hey, I'm not going to get my money back in the next six months. You did this work for me, and you didn't pay me back by being my patron. I'm mad at you. And that really goes to show you, I think, you. I know I'm talking about this for a minute, but it shows a very, I'd say, big part of Molly that we really do need to pay attention to. She's looking for a way to pinch every single penny. Every penny. She almost feels like she deserves your money. You, you, you know, it's Christmas time. One thing that happens when you're a content creator. Uh, let me go back maybe to 2019. And I had maybe like six times the members that I have now. And uh, uh, several of them messaged me and said, I have to put my Patreon on pause for a couple months. I think every one of them came back like a month or two later, and they did it because of Christmas and January. It's normal. So the fact that when she has this happen, she gets super angry says a lot, in my opinion. But let's hear what she has to say about this. Website up. Okay, you're not the professional. You're not. That clearly means that you are not a, a good business person. Because All right, I'll just get my prescription tomorrow. Where's my prescriptions normally? Ah, oh, yes. Where where have I ever asked you to go get my prescriptions? Thank you so much. Thank you for taking your time and doing so. I've been asking. Wow. Whoa. What in the Samuel H. Fluffin' stuff just happened here? Looks like Walter and Molly getting in a little, you know, little back and forth. Asking you for three days. It really went no. It came from nowhere. He's like, where's your prescription? And she's like, Ree! How many times did you drive by there? 15 times? Right? So here I am. Walter, listen, buddy. Listen. You're a businessman. You got the money, dude. You don't need this. You don't need this treatment, Walter. You need to find yourself a woman who loves you. One that will, you know, hug you and kiss you and be nice to you, buddy. You don't have to take this for Molly. You don't got to take this treatment, Walter. I am <laughs> in the deficit because of her. Here I am giving her an opportunity to make money with my money. My design. Design. Okay, so let's process this because, again, I don't want anyone saying that I'm just making this up about Molly. I don't want anyone saying that I'm being mean or something. She said it herself. She is the one who's saying, you put me at a deficit because I paid you 300 and you canceled your patron. You were supposed to stay my patron so that I got my 300 back when you made your Patreon payments. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not making this up against her. She, it comes out of her mouth. It's crazy. Things that were already designed by a professional and she could not make high resolution. She couldn't do it. I told her all you need is the number. Uh, actually, see Molly, you don't seem to understand. I, now, you guys know I'm prepared every time. You see this picture? This picture was a very small picture and I had to blow it up really big. And when you do that, it gets really blurry. So let me show you. If you look right here, see how blurry this is right here? This is where I forgot to clean it up. But if you look right here and up here, it's very sharp, okay? 
Now, I actually ran a bunch of filters and did a bunch of things to this on top of manually going in and cleaning it myself, which takes artistic talent. You have to know how to use art, paint, color, right? And you have to basically fix the image. The hardest part was fixing the lizard. My assistant rides lizards for a living, if you didn't know, but look. Right here, you see this? You can tell that this lizard was a very, very low resolution and that I painted it to make it a high resolution because you can see my paint strokes, right? Because I was being fast with it. I didn't want it to be perfect, right? So the point is, it would take a lot. It doesn't just take a second to make a picture go from low resolution to high. Sometimes you get lucky and an algorithm can do it for you, though, if you really want it done right, you go in, you spend about 30 minutes, an hour on each picture, depending if it's actually like some really complex drawing it's going to take or a picture, it's going to take a lot more, uh, though, Molly acts like $300 is way, that's professional, way to do. the fact is, for 10 of them, for 10 of them, in my opinion, 300 is a good deal. Molly got a steal for this. If you had to pay another graphic artist to do the same thing, you might be paying about 30 to 50 bucks per image. That's only if they take like an hour or two each. So Molly saying that she needs paid back is pretty bad. The number of the Tiffany font, the number of the Tiffany blue. That's it. Make this. Oh, I can't do high res. Molly, Molly, the life coach con says, people give me shitty pictures and it affects my work. <laughs> she had a great opportunity. Do you know how many people reached out to me? Melody, and you know what, Melody, that's very true. Melody says, artists are greatly underappreciated and underpaid by people who have no clue how much work it is true. And, and you know, one part of that, a portion of that is that there are so many people out there that can just download Photoshop or download graphic programs that are the same ones that the professionals use and then they go out and try to get jobs and it you know will skew whether if you actually hire somebody who has a degree or has been paid because they they've shown they have the portfolio they have the work to prove that they know what they're doing you, you know that's why people do go and pay the people with credentials and a portfolio because if you don't get a professional you aren't going to get a good product back you won't get it a lot of them don't even understand resolution what it means how it works how the callers work right to me saying i'll do it i'm a professional i'm a professional holy shit marissa tell me exactly what you want i'll do it for what you pay for the opportunity that i can fucking uh do this i'm the opportunity you paying someone to do work for you where it's 30 dollars a picture 10 divided by, yeah, 300 divided by 10. $30 a picture, you're getting a steal here, and you're going to sit here and act like this. This is really another one of those kind of cons from you. Like, I hate to say it, but it is. Sitting there like, uh, yeah, you want to do it? We'll do a BBC. Let's go. Here it comes. 1-900. Go lightly. Okay, so victim over here is like, yeah, I need, it's your fault because you didn't upload them, right? Quick enough. She didn't make the design. This? No, she never made that. That was Oni. All this stuff, the diamonds and everything is all Oni. The cans, the tin. What is an Oni? Is that the artist? The things that she sent, that was all Oni stuff. She never made that, no. She just printed it. And then people started to raise concern that uh, some sort of link was going out and it was going to her website, but no one could find anything that said Molly Golightly. And that was it. I see you said we need to talk. And I said, what's up? She goes, click on that link. And I said, what? Bada bing, bada boom. None of my shit was there. Maybe it's not done. You think about that? Did you have, when someone gives you a quote, they also give you a time frame. So you obviously had to know that it's not instantaneous. So this is where it gets a little, she starts talking shit about positive juju. What? I want to tell you about Positive Juju. I, said, I don't know what you're talking about. Positive Juju has been um, uh, very supportive. For oh, that's, a really that's someone's long time. name. Because I'm said, like, what is that? You got some what like. You? She was like, you cast Positive Juju spells? told me that she doesn't feel comfortable wearing your stuff. Positive Juju actually sent me a picture of her with a Molly Golightly sweater that this girl made her. Positive Juju, Julie. 
doesn't want anything to do with her either. I was like, uh, Oni was her first Justin slash Goose. No freaking way. So she's admitting that she always has a person that is either in her Patreon or someone who's helping her do her stuff. So you're getting it free. You're getting it free. You're not, you're, if a supporter does it, they're not going to charge you the same rate that you would get by paying a professional to do it. Even if, now they may be a professional, but they, let's say that they're the greatest. They're still going to give you a good price or do it free just to try to help you out because they love your content. We all know this. Like, what the fuck? So, yeah. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Um, Katja says he got caught because he swatted himself blaming Jay for justice. They all were a team. Ooh. So this is the thing. I ended up having to spend more. Poisoned Harley says she always has a sidekick. I'm starting to realize this. Our money. And I told her, you are incompetent. Okay, hold on. What was that now? So, yeah. Interesting, huh? Interesting. So, this is the thing. I ended up having to spend more money. And I told her, you are incompetent. This was a way. Google's the word incompetent. Oh, my God. Positive juju, Julie. And I told her, you are incompetent. So, wait a minute. You realize that if you send her a picture, it's not her fault if it's a low resolution. That is not her fault. That's a completely different job than printing it onto a shirt, okay? So, that that's my point. Like, what did you pay her exactly to do? What was the problem that happened? Because you're asking a printer to do advanced graphic design for free they're how are they going to do that are they going to outsource someone if they do they got to pay them so i don't know what you're talking about molly uh Kat just says when i say swatted i mean attempted murder he made calls saying women were suicidal waving weapons threatening to do the oh my goodness who did he do it to Katja? Who, who was the target this was a waste of money after she got on after she got on panel crying right we all saw that you're crying then she Googles the word incompetent. Oh my God, you can't believe you believe this of me? Show the fucking text. Yeah, I think you're incompetent. And the fact that you don't know. The fact that you would say this online live shows how bad of a businesswoman you are. You don't do this online. You don't go out there and have somebody work for you. And if it goes bad, you don't just go and insult them and attack them and put them down and flip out on them. That's not what you do. Maybe you file like a, uh, b a bad report or something on them. I don't know, like, you know, to their website or wherever the, I, I, who knows, Reddit. Maybe you want to put out something that says, I had an issue with this person. You're not professional. I mean, why do you think the word, maybe you should Google the word professional and then actually look at what it means to be professional. Because if you're a good business person, the word professional and business tie together. And it's, it's something that these, you know what is insane? I just had a realization again. They have this in common. They all get up there and say that they're the best business people. I know everything about business, yada, yada. And though they are the most unprofessional people that you've ever seen in your life. Is that what the word incompetent means? Yeah. You I think Schumann was, but that was so long ago. Oh, it's okay. No, no, you're good. You're good. I was just you wondering. You need to stay away from the Molly Go Lightly business. Cool. Uh, makeup mobster. Hey, is makeup mobster? Oh, oh, they did that to makeup mobster. Oh my Call god. Call yourself a victim. Call yourself uh, Tina Turner. I don't care. Just stay away from my fucking business. You are making them a victim right now. You don't seem to get it. You're unleashing the Molly force on this person. They know who she is. They know where her accounts are. And they're going to go mess with her and insult her and put her down. If she had friends in your audience, they're not going to be her friend anymore. And you're turning her into an outcast because you had some business issue with them. And I'm not convinced they did anything wrong. I actually... If I hear the details, I'll be able to tell you how wrong you are in acting this way. But I'm going to wait until I have those details. Because here's how I understand it really I promise I'll be fast. I know I ramble too much. Here's how I understand this. Molly wanted either graphic design, which is someone drawing a picture, blowing up a picture, or modifying a picture in some way. Or she wanted something printed onto a shirt or something. Or she wanted all of it done. And that's the thing. You really have to kind of know 
you can't hire a printer and expect them to do the graphic design work unless they advertise themselves being able to do both of those things. Are you are you feeling me? Okay. She knows everybody's business and is all up in it. Exactly. Good point, because that's true. Now, I never do this, guys. I never eat while I'm streaming, but I've been busy, so I'm apologizing now. I'm not going to be like Molly. You're not going to hear me, and you might not even see me, because a lot of times I zoom in while I'm doing it. So anyway. There also were a lot of CPS calling, too. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah, I heard about all that, and that's why I think that... Uh, that's why I think that Molly uh, is is actually behind a lot of inciting this. Uh, you know, when you bump it, one thing we've learned about these people that run these kind of campaigns, all of them, they they basically have people who they outsource doing the worst stuff, so that it is one. It's disconnected. It's one away from them. So they might get up on the stream and target you, and then they've got the people out there who follow them who do the worst stuff, and then they sit, they sit and act like, I didn't do it. I have nothing to do with it. Uh, yes, you do. Sorry, but yes, you do. Detach your name from Molly Golightly, all right? This is what I fucking knew. I said, Robin Millette wants a zip-up hoodie. Can you please send her one? She says, oh, my husband doesn't get paid till like next week. So in my heart, I'm thinking, wait a second. Yeah, this makes sense. What did you pay her to do? What did you give her money for? Did you give her money to... How in the world is she going to print up for $300? $300, you're telling me, is the price for 10 hoodies. $30 or what? Because... You know, you just, this isn't making sense. This just isn't making sense. So her sense. business isn't making any money on its own. That's what I thought. And her husband lives pay paycheck to paycheck. That's what I thought. Honest to God, that's what I thought. And, and, and I'm thinking, wait a second, wait a second. I thought that I was working with someone that kind of had their shit together. I'm not, I'm not following Molly. It's not making sense to me. It's just not. Somebody, somebody hooked me up. What did she pay mama to do? And... Why did she just think Mama was just going to send an entire sweater over? Like it, she mentioned that she needed it. She needed images blown up. That's not what the printer does. That's what the graphic artist does. They blow up the image. They have an image that's a bunch of different resolutions. And in, in case you want to have like a small little thing here, or you want the big thing, you those are different pictures because they're they're different images, not pictures. Same picture, same thing, but it's a different resolution, a different size, right? For each one, if you feel me. I thought that she was a- And Kendra says 30 for a custom hoodie isn't bad. No, 30's not bad, but it depends on like, is, is this person just printing the image to the hoodie and then mailing it? You know, and then what about shipping too? Because shipping can be like 12 bucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, there's a lot- that just gets mixed. Basically, she wants somebody to pay, pay for everything and give her the profits. I think that's what I'm seeing. But but it, but it's like hard to follow. Maybe Navy will know. He seems to have more. Designer. Let me see if let me actually go and tag him in general and see if he uh, can tell me in here. Can you type me what happened with the payment thing with Molly? Did. Uh, what did Molly, uh, specifically pay for and what was she mad about not getting or not happening? We'll see if he gets back to me. Oh, hey, there's T, there's T sipping, uh, there's T sipping mama. Hey, T sipping mama, will you do me a favor? Can you tell me in the chat really quick? Um, what, what did Mo what did Molly want you to do? Like what, what, just tell us kind of what happened. I'll watch the chat. I didn't see you in there. I'm glad you're in the chat and I'll, I'll eat my noodles while I, while I, while I uh, talk to you. Uh, she only paid me 300 for the graphics I made total of $10. Okay. Molly gave her 300 to see what the shirts looked like, not to do 30 hoodies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So for 10 graphics, okay, $30, 30, she gave you 300 for 10 graphics, basically, okay? 
So why did she think you were going to send hoodies to a customer? Because that's baffling my mind. You know? If you're making the graphics, then, how, you know, it doesn't make sense that she would expect also some hoodies and then the shipping and all these things. She's the businesswoman. She should know these are all separate things you have to do. I am told you I never eat while I'm streaming, guys, but I didn't get to eat, so I'm so sorry. Okay, T-Sip and Mama says I asked her several times to upload one to Teespring, and she didn't do it. She expected free shit when she wanted it. Ah, exactly. And and I, I did, that's what I thought happened. That's what I thought happened. Is there any other details you can give me? Like, why is it that, like, what is it that set her off and all of that? Just so that, you know, I can present it properly, you know? I just want to be able to present it properly, so. Oh, yeah, definitely, Life Coach Con. I'm going to call you Life Coach Con, because if I call you Molly, it'll get confusing, but definitely. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Carrie says, I watched it all. Excellent. I'm glad you guys are here then, because it helps me out. It helps me out. Because I have to handle life, then I have to handle family, then I have to handle my, my stream, or I'm sorry, my videos. So when I come to the stream, I'm coming basically the same as all of you guys. We're all equal here. Uh, can I have a link? Uh, let me give you a Discord link, okay? Let me give you a Discord link. That's how we get people in and, and do everything from typing to each other to talking to each other to anything. And that way, if any of you guys also want to link, you guys or want to join the Discord, you can. Okay, I just made a new link. Let me actually make sure it's a new link. Okay. Make new link, generate new link, copy new link. All right. So let me post that first, my PayPal, in case anyone wants to support us, because it would help. And I'm posting the Discord. Hey, mods, do me a solid. If one of the mods, just one, highlight this next message right here, this Discord link, every 10 or 15 minutes, whenever you want, drop the Discord link in so that people can have it, you know? know I'm saying? <laughs> Is this better? Magilla. Uh, Magilla, I love it. That's right. I wish it was Molly Gilla, but that, no, Magilla works. Magilla works. I love it. <laughs> you guys crack me up, man. Um, check out the channel, the Exposure Arena video. Who is heels on the ground when you get a chance? Okay. Quick. Let me pull it up or I'll forget. And you guys tell me how zoomed in you want my camera. I can go back to here. I can go up to here. I'll put it wherever you want. So just let me know what you think works best. The Expo... Exposure Channel. Oh, I'm sorry. The Exposure Arena. Exposure Arena. Who is Heels on the Ground? There it is. Heels on the Ground. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. This is going to be good. Oh, yes. This is going to be good. I'm zoomed in too. My camera's going wacky on me. That works. I have your attention, please. The show stops here. <laughs> hey. I trimmed. I brushed, I gave a little tiny, little tiny bit of beard oil, you know, just the tiniest bit, you know what I'm saying? I will defeat the Keemstar beard. I will. This is awesome. I'm ready. Let me make it bigger for you guys. I can make it, there we go. Okay. So basically, they're going to show us what heels on the ground really is. What it says. Yeah. 
Yes. Exactly. Yeah, this is good. Let me put this in my uh, Molly room. Um, because I was looking actually for the uh, original video a while back. I, I found it, but yeah, it, um, the Heels on the Ground basically is a veterans organization. injured on May 29, 2012 in Afghanistan when his vehicle struck an IED. He suffered third degree burns on 50% of his body and he spent four months in the hospital, two of which were in the ICU. When Allison called me about the accident, I knew she was going to need a lot of support. Here she was, nine months pregnant, about to give birth to their baby. I'm, we've seen part of this. I'm going to go ahead and skip past this. But yeah, they do great work. They do really good work for veterans, the caretakers of veterans, who people that take care of them every day, they need a vacation, they need time off, they need money to help, you know, take a break, and that's what the organization does. Thank you so much for listening, and we really hope you decide to become a patron for our cause. There it is. Molly, go lightly. Also, when they found out, let's say that, let's be really nice. And let's say they didn't know that their organization actually had um, another organization that was the, the real heels on the ground. Let's pretend it was an accident. Okay. Why didn't they change it when they found out? You know, out of respect for what these people are doing, heels on the ground, the, the wives and the caretakers of the soldiers wear heels in public, so they're called heels on the ground. Why wouldn't they then change it? Well, old sloppy Molly is over there live, and I'm sure everyone is over there hanging on bated breath to every little word that train wreck has to say i'm <laughs> sure everyone is just hanging on and just what is that train wreck gonna say today i just i've mm -hmm. gotta be there I, I i just can't help myself i just can't help myself i've gotta know <laughs> i've gotta know i've gotta know <laughs> well I couldn't wait her out, people, because I, too, have got things to do um, after this stream. So sometimes you just... This is this year? This year? Just gotta yeah, go they, they really don't what the fork. It's just, it's kind of gross, isn't it? Live. It sometimes makes sense. It makes perfect sense why they all tried to vet bash me now. You know? It makes sense why they did, because that's how they are. Sometimes you just got to go live and get your stuff out of the way. You, you can't wait. You can't wait these people out. These people just go on and 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 on. All right, a blank slate is in the house. Hello, blank. Well, why do they get involved with anything that they do? Uh, that's just who they are. Hashtag tragedy pimps. Well, well, well. Yep. Tragedy pimps. Yep. Are they really tragedy pimps, or are they are they just the tragedy whores? They just might be the tragedy whores. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, good point. YouTube might actually be the pimp. I'm just putting it out. From JLR, yes, we don't really care. Uh, we've got Joey, thank you for that information. But um, at this point, we are going to let, um, we're going to have it handled a different way. And he can do whatever he wants. I've, I've already told him he can, no, he can no longer use me for his content. If he chooses to continue to uh, stream my stuff, it's just going to be, he's going to have a lot to deal with. He thinks. You're allowed to stream someone else's stuff, okay? You are allowed. If you provide commentary, you criticize. It has to be transformative. What is the point? Is it different? Does it actually take what's there and turn it into something different? Or are they just using it as the key thing to bring the audience? Get me? To bring the views. So... Would, would you consider someone who's playing your stuff, 
criticizing you, be taking money from your audience, be doing something there in the same way you are or in the same format that you are. No. If you were on a late night show, like on television, and they clipped and decided to commentate over bunches of your stuff, you couldn't do anything. You're out of luck. If someone made a documentary and uploaded it to HBO about what you do, you're out of luck, right? So no, you don't have, you can't just give somebody problems. You just can't, unless you're saying you're going to do it illegally, unless you're saying you're going to abuse the system, right? Unless you're saying you're going to do it improperly, but we thought this was for justice. We thought you were good people. Right, you wouldn't do that. Thinks it's funny now, but I'm done. I don't really care for him. I blocked him, and he's still coming here. He's still harassing me. He's still stealing my stuff. He's still stealing. Stealing your stuff? How's he stealing your stuff? I don't get. Stealing it. my brand, and he's still profiting off of it. So he will have at some point, maybe not today, but it will be coming. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah, it almost seems like she thinks other people can't react to her stuff. It, it almost, it, it's almost like she thinks that, that they don't have a legal right to be able to do it if they do it properly to the law, which I don't know how anyone wouldn't unless they just take your stuff and completely re-upload it. But that can even be transformative in some, some situations. It's the exact wrong way to handle things on the platform act like this it'll just turn you into a pariah with every other content creator who's not out there to break the rules and do things she don't give a shit you fucking started you fucking finished it that's daddy funny. oh well look at this you take it to the end that's professionals business professionals what they something i don't what is this Bullhorn says you're wanting back in with them. True. And I wrote, no. Well, you did get back in. You guys did. Never. I don't know where those lies are coming from. I asked JLR last week if he was down there and he said no. I actually talked about that days ago. No. Hey, uh, no, wow. sweetheart. Bullhorn Betty, whatever you can do, I can do a hundred times better. Well, actually, both of you are leeches. You sit and act like you... Uh, so if you could... If people taking what you're doing and, and commentating on it and showing people what you're truly doing, which is entirely different from what you're putting up, if that's not transformative, right? How do you have a right to go stream in front of someone's home? Right? How? Because you do know that you recording them, you'd be recording their property, their homes, their things that don't belong to you, right? But because you're recording it and it's going into a transformative production, you don't, they can't come at you for you recording the, their home. Let's say that you have another clip of like a news broadcast or something, which I've seen you guys use a million times. In fact, I've watched each of these people stream almost like in, in enormous chunks of Dre's content, of other people talking. So how in the world do you even have an argument that other people can't do it to you is insane. Ah. Uh. Let me recommend you to go back. Listen, Kelly, I don't have time. I don't have that kind of time to just sit on YouTube and bullhorn. What? Well, I wish I knew what she said. What do you mean she's after Dolly? Dude, she does everything fucking wrong. Bullhorn, if you want some advice from someone that gives really advice, get your You don't give good advice. You give horrible advice. Life together. I don't think YouTube is for you. What makes you happy is your little TikTok thing for kids. Go do that. We're getting real. See how catty they are? You know? See how catty they are? And this is on their business. This is on their brand, right? They're, si they were, they're not sitting here laughing at somebody acting like this. They legit are acting this way. Real job. There's nothing wrong. They're hiring Shit. everywhere. 
I don't want, I don't need in with you. I already got people to replace heels on the ground. To who, who's the one behind heels on the ground? I thought it was Molly. Got people to replace heels on the ground. Who is the person running heels on the ground? I need to know who runs it because I want to go and make sure that the, the uh, Veterans Association knows about that. And it's hard. I won't, you know, I thought it was Molly. And none of them are bones. They can actually afford a chair. Oh, I'm a chair. What are you talking I'm sorry, about? Sorry, am I slandering? It is all for views. It is all for views. These people are the most litigious. They they are the most uh incorrect. I I just I've only had like maybe one clip of Betty that we've played. And she was sitting there telling people that she should be able to um print up a press pass for herself and Put it on and go and, you know, walk around like the press, okay? Now, I thought she was, like, doing some kind of skit at first. Like, I thought she was a character that another person, like, created and went to YouTube to put on and fool people into thinking that they were being serious because she's so out of this world insane. I was wrong. That's the real person. That is a real human being. That's why people come to YouTube. In droves, we're talking like the big masses of people that don't float by your channel and get fooled into thinking you're doing justice so they give you five bucks and realize that you're out there lying and ripping people off and just acting a fool. I'm talking about people that actually build big channels like uh, Burnt Toast, you know. She's got this big thing going like a lot of people really are, you know, supporting Burnt Toast. And I could just name a bunch of other creators. I won't bore you, but my point is... People that come in and laugh at this kind of stuff, those are really big communities, you know? And I'm, I'm thinking that we've hit the literal pay dirt when it comes to low-cal content when we found these guys because they're just so out of this world insane. And you can pretty much get the most cringy, the most insane, the dumbest things ever said and done in front of you by people that are being serious. And that's hard to find. Because a lot of the times you go out there and you'll find someone acting a fool on the internet and it'll just be a big publicity thing, a big pub big publicity stunt, right? These people are real. That's the most insane part of this. Hang out. the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. What the fork, exactly. And Molly almost seems like a parody channel because of the way she uses the name Molly Go Lightly. Um, and then she gets up there and she'll be doing all this, this funky stuff. Uh, until... You actually take the time to look at the main clips, like like I said about Betty. She legit thought that, and probably still thinks that she she's the press that she's reporting. She thinks that she's reporting. We're talking about somebody with no credentials, no experience, no uh, you know tried and and proven uh, unbiased takes on anything. Everything she's ever done is controlled by anger, spite, jealousy, and the need and desire to do anything to get money. And this person legit thinks that they are the press. That is cringe lord material, okay? If you guys ever get time and you want to see one of the most cringe lord people you've ever seen, go and watch... Um, oh, come on, dude. It's the Draken Lord Saga. And he speaks German. So, like, nobody out there had ever talked about this guy. Um, and then Dankula. Count Dankula did three videos. Watch part one, part two, and part three. It will blow your mind. It's so good. I, I, I just can't describe how... It, it literally should be a movie. It's that good. It could be a movie. You have to watch it. Uh, Kendra says, I watched like three days trying to figure out if it was watching it randomly occurring to me. Look up Rock a Lot and found this channel where he had the answers to my questions. <laughs> and then J Dub says, T Sip and Mama has put all the details in chat. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, T Sip and Mama. Okay, uh, the chat, it goes back really far. So you don't, I'll, I'll get all of them, okay? I'm so sorry. See, this is my problem. I get freaking uh, distracted. Mods, can you do me a favor? If you see some stuff from T-Sip and Mama, throw it in the general chat of the Discord. Once I gave her the Discord link, 
I, I got distracted. But yeah, let me grab it. I'll actually copy it over into the room. So let me do that really fast. Thank you for telling me. I'll get it. Don't worry. She only paid me 300 for the graphics I made. This is what you first said. That's right. A total of 10. I asked her several times to upload one to Teespring and she didn't do it. She expected free shit when she wanted. When she wanted it. Then I gave you the link to the Discord there. Yeah, there's the link to the Discord. Uh, am I in there right? Um, let me ask the mods to look for you, okay? Because they're the... I don't even know how to do it. The mods do. Can someone check and find T... Sippin' Mama, she joined. You'll have to grab her from the new member room and give her permission to be in the channels. Hey, someone will be with you in a minute, T Sippin' Mama. One of the one of the moderators will be with you soon. Okay, might have to give them a couple minutes, but they'll be there. Yeah, it's okay, T Sip and Mama. It t Discord's kind of hard. Uh, one of her Patreons kept dropping my link. I'd not been on YouTube in two months because of personal stuff. I canceled my pay. Here, let me actually copy that. Want to make sure I've got that, just in case I forget parts of it. That way, I won't, you know, I won't have to worry about not having it. Um, and I canceled my Patreon, and I guess that sent her over the edge. Her, I see you, and Justin called me. I see you. I see you. Who's I see you? I don't know who that is. And then Justin called you. Uh, she wanted four hoodies. Oh, I got to copy this real quick. She wanted four hoodies for herself, one for Robin, and one for Shelly. And I was trying to get to Callie for my grandpa's funeral. She knew that. I see you as an old B who's up Marissa's A. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I sold five, five hoodies. Let me copy that over here. Okay. I sold five hoodies. She claimed I stole money from people and didn't send out a product. Lies. She slandered and bashed me and my family and my business. She claimed I stole hundreds of dollars. Like, bitch, where? Yeah, she keeps saying that she gave you like a bunch, like 300 bucks and all this stuff or something. I don't know. What the? I just turned that down too low. There we go. She talked shit about Betty and Patreon the day she went to Georgia calling or something along the lines of begging for money. Oh my God. Um, T Sip and Mama says, I'm taking legal action. However, nothing is on her name for this reason. Oh, definitely. I get you. I get you. Oh, shit. My chat just skipped. Uh, I got you, T Sip and Mama. I got you. No problem. Got, okay, for this reason, you might have to scroll up to see my story. She's been extremely difficult to work for. And I've got proof where I tried to do nothing but please her. She never asked for her money back. She actually never even told me they weren't working with Teespring. And she posted it on Patreon. Will do, Misha. I'll, I'll open it when I get to the bottom. Yeah, I definitely will. And I have proof of literally everything. She paid me 300 for the graphics only. And that's exactly what I thought, t Sip and Mama. Okay, look. Here's what I'm going to do, y'all. Now, just to make sure that we don't miss anyone, right? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a Q&A, right? So, anything you don't want to scroll up... Put here in the Q 
and A, okay? So I'm gonna start the Q&A. So what you do is, is you click over to the Q&A, but it'll say questions, and you can put questions in, okay? It's, a, it's under the Q&A. And if mods, if you see someone and they can't get to the Q&A, will you please grab what they're saying and drop it over for me? That It would help out. All right, so we got to the bottom here. Of uh, I'm at the bottom of the chat now, and I took everything T-Sip and Mama said, and I copied it into my notes. And um, also, I have more to the story. And T-Sip and, and Mama literally just said it. Molly paid T-Sip and Mama $300 to make the graphics, right? So she got her $300, made the graphics, and during that time, any issue that Molly had, T-Sip and Mama responded and listened and worked with her, right? Was communicative with her. Like, let's say I have... A graphic artist which I don't because I do all my graphics myself because I've actually done graphic art for a really long time before I ever touched YouTube but that's not the point it's just that if I did hire one and and I was messaging back and forth and they said look it's gonna be 500 bucks it's gonna take me 15 days at the most and let's say 15 days goes by I message them hey what's up everything good and they write me back and say actually no I'm gonna need another week that's normal that's normal business it happens they don't even usually have to tell you why. They, they may, well, you know, I had a funeral or I had something happen. A funeral is absolutely a reason for you not to work for at least a week, you know, anywhere. That means if you, even when you're trying to do like these kind of things on YouTube or on the internet, and what would it hurt Marissa? It's not going to hurt her anything because people that order the shirt, they're just going to, they, they don't even know when they're going to get it. They don't have a time frame. It's not like Marissa gets the money for a sweater and then says, it'll be there in exactly 19 days or something. No, you don't say that. So them having to wait an additional seven days because of a funeral is nothing. But the main point about what T-Sip and Mama said is that when they made their initial you know, agreement Mar and Marissa gave her 300 bucks and she made the, uh, the graphic art for Marissa, Marissa then, and I just played it, messages her and says i need you to send a hoodie to this person and i need you to do this and i need you to do that and of course t sip and mom is going to be like well that's a different order that's a different process that's something you have to pay for you can't just expect me so then molly goes i sent you 300 i thought you were professional and she flips her shit out and it's like you're the one molly acting unprofessional any human being it doesn't even matter if it's not youtube we're talking like people that order shit for a store or a general store. We're talking people that do shit for fucking grocery stores and shit. Or even people that work in fucking advertising know that you, that's not how things work. And that nobody has a mind to get things for free. Nobody. Other than takers. Other than con artists. Other than scammers. They're the only ones. You ever notice that? That they go out and they literally expect everything to be handed to them. And done for them. And if they have somebody who's going to do some work for them, they expect them to just go all out and do everything they want. And then it just costs the original amount of money. Like if Molly asked for an extra three images, Molly better be given that money before she gets those extra three images. But Molly's the kind of person who will say, no, why aren't you giving it to me for free? What are you talking about? You're ripping me off, right? Deals change with these kind of people. In the same way, that they do when she's talking about a fundraiser. You remember back during that fundraiser? Molly would literally sit there and say something. And within three fucking minutes, they would be saying the opposite. And I would be sitting here reacting, reacting to it like, what is going on? <laughs> How did they do this, right? Remember, Letitia did it too. That's what really got me about Letitia. Letitia was just an absolute scammer from the beginning. I would be up here saying, like, these people are acting offended that I'm reacting to their stuff, calling them out for, you know, telling us that, you know, they, they refunded all the money, and then three effing sentences later, they say that the money is all still in the account. And I'm literally listening to this, losing my shit up here over it. like. You can't refund the money, but then have all the money in the account unless you didn't refund the money. 
you psycho <laughs> you know what i mean so i can completely see the commonalities between what we saw happen in the fraud razor with what t sip and mama has to deal with from molly it just completely lines up but i want to know something real quick t sip and mama even if you told me you might have to tell me again what did she do to you what what kind of things did she do to you and did you have anyone mess with you threaten you or try to dox you or anything or send you dms or 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 find you other um find you on like uh other social media networks and try to dm you threats and stuff like that because that's what happened to me and many other people that she got mad at so let me know if that ever happened or if anything like that happened t sip and mama says and it has to be white hoodies nobody in my world orders white so no i didn't have any white hoodies on hand but my vendor ships next day so i'm going I'm going to have the white hoodies in stock. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm with you there. I don't, you know what, thinking about it, that's a great point. I've never seen white hoodies. Um, T. Sep and Mama says, she's a vile human. I went on a panel. She went live and said that I wasn't a victim. The kids in Idaho were victims. I saw that. I saw that myself. That, that was insane. Uh, as I'm extremely sad and sorry for those people and families, but they're, oh, no, she, that's like her tactic. You know, that's what she does. It, it, I can't even count the amount of times she's tried to be like, you know, she'll call up. She tries to call up to whatever she's working on at the time, even though it literally has nothing to do with what's going on. Oh, I'm with you 100% there. There's no active moderator right now. It's it's because it's Sunday. It's Sunday night. Everybody's doing stuff, so it might take a little bit, but it's okay. There's no need to rush anything. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, so I scanned the chat, made sure to see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Um, T Sip Mama said, and that's a waste of my money. Definitely, definitely it is. Um, I am a victim of Molly Golightly, and I'll fight for anyone who she does this shit to. I'll, I'm good to hear it because what's, basically we've been doing that too. Uh, Exposure Arena says, thank you so much for playing my video, Rock a Lot. Oh, no, thank you. And you're okay with it, I assume. Um, I, of course, but no, I, not only do I, will I play your video, but also, you know, I shout everybody out and I, we've said the name of your channel a few times just to make sure if anyone wants to go back and watch this video in full and, uh, sub to the channel, it's the exposure arena right here. See, so you can see the full thing in that little thing there. Cause it's cut off right here, but it's the exposure. Arena. No, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you jumping in my live chat while we're live. It's good to see you. Good job. Uh, yes, we're going to play the rest of it because I just got to the bottom of the chat. So since I'm at the bottom, we're getting right back to it. She wants my fucking help for that other dude. Isn't it funny the first thing she says when we click in, you know? My she wants my That I want help. in. Get the fuck out of here. It's all lies. Yeah, Molly, because you... Uh, aren't the person who wants in other social clubs. You're the person who everybody wants in too, right, Molly? No, right. let's listen. Yeah, JLR will be fine on his own. Let JLR deal with Oh, them. good. You're an original and dono gal. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm subbing then. I'm subbing then. Good, good. I'm glad you're still around because I know that some of the dono gals have been having ups and downs with everything because it's just a long process, but we, we're going to try to find out what's going on with Letitia. Thing is, and real quick, just, just so I can tell Exposure Arena, um, the people that are checking on, you know, this thing going on with Letitia basically have just seen nothing. And that makes me think she didn't show up, right? So you don't show up, it gets cleared off of the court list, right? And then they, then they issue a warrant and so until they serve that warrant and find her and serve the warrant, we're not going to see anything else scheduled is what we is the assumption. Now, it's an assumption. It doesn't mean it's true or false. We just don't know. But that's the assumption. And if that's the case, we hope we'll be able to check and see if there's some kind of active thing out there because that'll tell us the truth. If there is an active warrant, then that means that she didn't show. But, you know and all that shit listen Jer has any legal action taken place on her molly well okay here <laughs> uh yes i know of at least two people other than t sip and mama who have gotten lawyers and have 
started a legal process. I don't know. I'm not going to know anything else about any of that and, until it's public. And it might take a few months or more for it to be public. If it even happens, sometimes they don't happen. Now, that's different than the criminal stuff, right? With the criminal action, we know that the police... Oh, my God, I forgot to tell you guys this. That just triggered it in my head. The police in Molly's area have been contacted by many, many people online or their lawyers. Now, that doesn't mean them. It could be their representative, their lawyers, to file complaints, to file issues. I was just emailed, and I never check my email, but I had to today for something that I can't talk about. And I saw another email from someone that just came in, and I went ahead and clicked it and responded to it, and it was somebody detailing to me what they were going through with legal action. So it's crazy you asked that question. And they said that the police in that area hate her, and they all immediately know what like they immediately know when you're calling for molly and it reminds me of uh chris chan right because chris chan would do all these crazy things online and people would call the um some place that would check on the mental health of chris chan and so every time they got a phone call they wouldn't ask for the the address they wouldn't ask for the age they wouldn't ask for any details and there's a bunch of recordings out there where people are calling in, recording themselves. You know, they upload it to YouTube trying to tell people there needs to be a wellness check on Chris Chan. And they say, why, why aren't you asking me for the address? Why aren't you asking me for the details? And they'll say, oh, we know the address. We know his last name. We know everything. It's okay. I already got it all written down. And I, I would imagine, I don't know for a fact, but I would imagine that that's the same thing that happens when someone calls for Molly. So Molly is just basically getting stacked up against her. So many um, reports, so many complaints, and that's what will generate an actual change. That, that is what will make action finally happen. Every time she does this, if somebody doesn't do anything, and I don't mean they have to go all out and hire a lawyer and go crazy. Because that costs a lot of money, takes a lot of time. You got families, you got a life, you got jobs. It doesn't mean you can do that. But even a simple phone call to file a report is only a few minutes of your time taken up. And so a lot of people do it. And as those stack, they're eventually, imagine, just imagine, just, I know you're getting mad because I'm talking a lot. I kind of have to when I'm playing videos, but anyway, imagine that you call in you're no imagine you're a police officer and you've gotten all these reports about molly and you're sitting there talking to the higher ups what are we going to do about this woman in our precinct and who just constantly has these harassment reports doxing reports threat reports that she's doing to people what are we going to do about that and then a giant fraud razor gets thrown down right in front of you in fact i think and it's this is 1,000% my own theory, but you guys remember Letitia in the fraud raiser got turned in to the cops and they started an investigation. And there was a very strange thing that happened. And it was not only did they put out a warrant, a felony, I'm sorry, a summons, which is kind of a warrant, but it's just a little different, but they put out a felony summons for fraud, which is normal when somebody steals a bunch of money if it's over a certain amount it'll be a felony if it's under that certain amount it'll be a misdemeanor so they put out the summons for Letitia now there was a second summons and it surprised me that 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 was there it was for um a misdemeanor summons for harassment on Letitia right so I was thinking to myself it's different. It's strange that they would put, even if they have a, a, part, a portion of their report where they have um, harassment with the financial information, you would assume they're going to put out a secondary uh, you know, charge or a secondary summons for the harassment. But in these fraud raiser situations, you typically just see them looking into the main thing and it was kind of strange to me and I started to think about it and I'm like well what if because Molly's involved 
and they've got all these reports on all of these cyber kind of issues with Molly, but they don't have that like, you know, in state, in city kind of thing they need to be able to put out an actual, you know, summons or an actual warrant to be able to start investigating, build something to take to court. And that's when it clicked. Like maybe that's the reason they put out the summons for the the harassment on Letitia. They don't just need they they won't, you know, the stuff all that shit that they've got of Molly will go in with that summons for harassment. And especially when Molly is recorded and the police have all of those recordings of Molly doxing or telling people we're going to dox you. Oh, you want a refund? You're getting doxed. All those things that I got recorded um, up on Unirock too. So it kind of made sense in my head and I'm done rambling and we're getting back into this. But think about that. Let that process real quick so that you can give me your opinion later. I don't know if they would have had that, that secondary summons if it wasn't for the fact that Molly had so many reports in there. And we're talking going back a long period of time. Taylor is not stupid. I've seen her and him go at it. I'm still there. Dolly's still there. Uh, shit. Dear God, bruh. It is. It's a freaking little club. Now... I'll, I'll let him talk. Who else? Uh, House of Williams. I still don't know how, how, how quite how House of Williams got involved. There's Molly. It's Molly in the background. Listen to what she's saying. Grab her by the hair. Grab her by the mouth. Listen to this again, because she sounds like a demon. She sounds like a damn demon. Drag her by the hair, drag her out of the house. Melody, I don't know how anybody can stand it. It, it drives me crazy just listening to it in my streams. I'm losing touch with reality myself. It says here, tags Betty, where are we going next? What do I have to yell? Hey, assholes, if you don't, some crazy lunatic blondes outside your house scaring the shit out of you and your neighbors, you don't kill our baby. Is that fair? Fucking joking? You, are you kidding me? You really do think... Look at the way you, you, you're posing. You think you are a fucking hero. This is justice. This is the justice, isn't it? I've got you, I've got you figured out. Your justice, the reason I sit and say none of them have gotten justice for anything, in their minds, when they're bullhorning, that's their justice. When they're screaming, that's justice. When they're stomping on the ground and getting all mad and yelling at each other and starting all this BS and the drama and all this shit that's keeping everyone up, stopping the kids from going to school, making elderly people have to go stay with family members and get out of their home and shit, that is justice to them. And there it is, heels on the ground, right there. Hashtag heels on the ground. They showed Justin, heels on the ground. Molly, heels on the ground. Each of them should be not only ashamed, but investigated by, I don't know who it does it. Like, I don't know if the VA would do it. I don't think they would because it's the veterans charity is the original charity. They're just trying to steal from the original charity, right? Um, but either way, I don't, you know, it, it just sickens me that, that that's how they are. All oh, functions by radar. So true. I talked about that not, not long ago. I talked about how you're down in my, my old neighborhood I used to live in. I'm not there anymore. And, and you do this kind of shit. People literally just come up to you and start, like, fucking with you. They'll yell at you out the window if you don't stop. They, they wouldn't just, they got to go to work the next day or whatever. They're going to come out and just get froggy. Like, no joke. It ain't going to be fun. Marissa go lightly, heels on the ground. Molly go lightly, bullhorn Betty. Chronicle of something. Jonathan Lee Riches. Why is she tagging him? He is one of the biggest scammers out there. 
Why is he tagging? Why is she tagging riches? He is a literal scammer. Uh, season Mama says, after I went on a panel, she went crazy on me in her live and got so many cash apps, it's disgusting. I lost business because of her and her lies. I hope you do take her to court and put her doing that right in front of a judge and put the amount of money she's pulling in off of doing this to you. And I, and I hope you don't just do it civilly. I hope that in the very least, even if you don't do it civilly, because I know how much of a hurdle it is, file a criminal report on her. Or file a police report is what I mean. Not criminal, but a police. Where you're saying, this person not only slandered me, defamed me, attacked my business, all this stuff, but then profited off of it and does this to everybody for a living, right? And there they are. There's the, there's the heels on the ground shit squad, you know? Like more than likely sitting there getting drunk after they're done stomping around and they look at the look at the looks on their faces you know like how in the world are you proud of this how are you proud of this that the police themselves put out for you to stop and that you are literally using the tragedy to make money that came from the police in that area okay <laughs> i know i react a lot but you know what that's the best way to be fair use is to make sure I respond a lot. I do it for a reason, y'all. I'm sorry. That's right. Let's meet them all. Let's see who's a member of this group. Then we're going to get back to the video of her flipping out on he sipping mama we're not gonna miss it we're gonna do it if you appreciate my show if you like my show i'm gonna put my link down there I'm, while we're streaming it's optional i just share it now we're back to it i will be on a plane bullhorn betty chronicles of olivia justice for all house of williams uh dolly vision we'll all be out there our big yeah because you're all doing this to people you're all responsible for this. It's gross. What asses will be like? We justice. Did she just say white asses? I'll be out there. Our big white asses. Will you notice that they only talk about that. They only talk about the color of anything when they're around people of a different ethnicity. And in my opinion, I never pull the, the racist card when I stream on, on people that often. They, you know. You, you got to have some way to back up that, in my opinion. You can't just throw it out there. And this is not the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, twelfth, twentieth, four hundredth time I've seen her do this, right? There are videos of her that literally just focus in on this phenomenon or something, this behavior that I'm talking about, where she does act differently when she's around another ethnicity. She doesn't just treat everybody the same. Her language changes, her actions changes. Her, her body language, the way she speaks, her accent even gets a little different in those situations. You guys know what I'm talking about? We'll be like, we justice! The we'll be like, justice for nobody. Justice is us screaming. And this woman has an anger problem. She is controlled by her anger. She thinks she's better than everybody else and that we're all out there fighting to prove ourselves or something. She's got this ingrained into her head. Behind those eyes is a process that she is proving herself or representing herself in some kind of competitive way with every other human being, and she's better, okay? That is what drives the anger from her, and it's a violent anger. I showed a few days ago where she was bringing up the names of I think it was Billy Joe and and the late the other lady. I think it might have been the woman that did it, the daughter, or might have been someone else. But she brought those names up, and she got so angry in such a fast instant that she screamed, and her whole face and body language changed into almost a demonic look. And she's got the same eyes here. These are what are known as dead eyes or crazy eyes. Because they call them dead eyes because there's no soul there. 
And a soul is the thing that would stop you from feeling these competitive and, and angry and better than kind of feelings. They're the things that the soul is what puts it in check. And that's why some call it dead eyes. Others call it crazy eyes. And that's because they're describing it in a more, let's say, uh, non-descriptive way. But what they're saying is basically that any second after you see their eyes go this way, they're going to start flipping out, you know? When you're dealing with Andrew, when you're dealing with heels on the ground. When you're dealing with heels on the ground, you're dealing with a real veterans organization that helps veterans who have been injured and aids the caretakers. When you're dealing with the fake heels on the ground right here, they have a record of getting no justice and aiding nothing in any of the investigations or scenarios they're involved in, but the opposite, which is hindering the police. And they can't say that it's not true because the police themselves are the ones who stated this about them and as i said earlier the police also talked about how they were milking money out of the situation they're not making money through their reporting through a performative measure or through getting justice or anything else they're making money by exploiting the people that experience the tragedies that's what your heels on the ground is that's why people speak against it that's why people commentate on it You, they almost act street or hood, right? It's this weird kind of Karen hood. It's hood Karen, you know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my rap beat going, and I'm going to get a song going about how the hood Karens are coming to your, your town, right? And, and they're going to bring their bullhorns and get down, baby. The hood Karens, they come into your town. Let me speak to the manager. Let me speak to the manager. Got my bullhorn. Speaking to the manager. Uh, innocent until proven guilty. Don't clip that. Whatever you do, don't clip that. Bullshit. Oh, yeah. No, Poisoned Harley. It's all fake. There's nothing street. There's nothing hood. You're dealing with... Look. Look. I'm going to be real with you, okay? I've been all over the East Coast, and I've been to many countries. And at one time, when I was younger... I was in a band, and I've told the story about how I've gone all over the East Coast playing shows at all these places, right? Partying my ass off. This is when I was young and dumb, right? So I've been in a lot of different scenarios. Some of them were not that good. Some of them were really bad. I've been around people fighting. I've been around people shooting guns at each other in the street, you know, getting in, arguing and shit like that. Been in bar fights and dumb shit, right? Got my ass beat, not talking tough at all. Anyway... I've seen the way people act when they're really, you know, the way they're trying to be. I haven't been around it a whole lot, but I've been there a little bit. And I'm going to tell you now, they represent nothing of the street or the hood. They, though, I do know people that they are literally just like, and it's the country, the, the hillbillies. Now, listen, there's nothing wrong with being country. And uh, I say that as someone who's m the majority of my family is, okay? And a small portion of my family are so country that they are hillbillies. So I'm not using it in any type of derogatory way. I'm categorizing them as the kind of country that you don't want to be around, right? The ones who think they're hood and they think they're tough, right? And they're just, they're just basically mimicking everything they can. But in reality, all they've ever done is grow up in a suburb or even like out further than a suburb. That's what country is, further than a suburb, right? So we've got basically Karens. Karens. Is Molly not a Karen? Have you, you know what a Karen is, right? Karen is somebody who wants to speak to the manager. They don't actually do anything, right? They don't go out there and, you know, do work. They don't go out there and fix something. They just get angry. And because they're angry, they want to speak to someone who can do something. And they're very loud. And they're very uh, upset all the time. Okay? So, just to make sure you know what I'm talking about, you've seen the Karen meme, right? The meme of being a Karen. 
people say that uh, Katie Joy acts like a Karen a lot of the time. Glorified Karens are all they are. Nothing street hood or ghetto about them. Very true. Now, look, you don't have to have the haircut to be a Karen. But I know Betty has. I'd say if I had to rank them on their Karen category, their karen agory. And no, guys, I still have the, the lol meter here. I'm just not using it yet because we don't have anything to use it on. But it'll pop up when we need it. I'm telling you, though. We now will be categorizing Molly and Betty and Justin as Karens. At least Molly and Betty and Justin. Now, when it comes to who's the one that vet bashed me all the time? Um, LB. Yeah, LB's a Karen. Um, there's one I'm missing. Who am I missing out of their group? Did I get all of them? But no, I think we will be using the Karen meme with them in the future. We just need to figure out the more Karen things that they've done. Who's this? Is is this Betty? Is this really Betty? Sloppy Molly. That's really her? That's really Betty? She got a battery charge? She got a battery and a refusal how long ago? Do we know how long? Is it like five years, ten years? Oh, <gasps> no. What? 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 Are you kidding? I'm not throwing my headset. It barely works. I can't throw my headset. It doesn't even work now. I'm not throwing it, Busy. It doesn't. I've already broken it. I've thrown it too many times. She's been arrested 40 freaking times. Ah! She tried to strangle somebody. Oh my. A lot of DV. Ah! Do we have the burnt toast stream? Oh my God. I wish my mods were around. Holy shit. I'm going to ask them. Moderation. Find me if you're around, of course. The burnt toast stream where she covers um, uh, bullhorn busted's um, um, uh, 40 uh, uh, charges, including strangulation and DVs. A lot of DVs. So you're telling me that psycho with the crazy eyes really is a psycho and those those eyes really are crazy you're, you're serial hey kathy whoa wow wow you can't I, gotcha i know you can't make this shit up i'm not shocked that a human being has this i've seen worse <laughs> Obviously, in all these years of covering stuff, but she acts like she's so fucking much better than everybody else. Oh, she got possession of Coca-Cola, not the Coca-Cola classic. The nose Coca-Cola classic. She beat the crap out of her hubby and threatened to cause harm to the cops, told the cops she would get him again. It, it, it's the way they they present themselves. So ne you see, they want to go stand in front of a uh, person that's the victim of a horrible tragedy, and then they want to scream at somebody and act angry and flip out. But then when you're like, listen, that's not professional. That's not justice. It does nothing good. They sit and say, we're reporters. We're good people. You guys are slandering us or some shit. Slander? This is a damn... What do you say? What do you call it? A repeat behavior. That doesn't work. This is a lifestyle for your ass if you got more than 15 of them. This is a lifestyle of DV. This is a lifestyle of fucking uh, nasty shit. She threatened to cut the cop and ex in hundreds of pieces when she got, when she got out and her family Ooh. would take care. So she tries to be gangster? 
She's a gangster? She? This Omega Karen thinks she's a gangster? What? So, it, that explains it. That explains all of this shit. She is a professional husband beater. It doesn't matter, and I know you're not saying this, and I know no one is saying this, but I have to say this because it's part of the saying this. It doesn't matter if you're beating on a hubby. It don't matter if you're beating on a wife. It's just as bad, okay? So if she wants to sit there and act like, you can't get mad at me, a woman, for beating on my husband. No, we're going to get mad at anybody who beats on someone else repeatedly like that. I could completely understand if it was, you know, a couple charges because they argue she had a very passionate relationship with the person and it, a lot of fighting a lot of arguing cops come she gets arrested i wouldn't hold it against her if there were a couple 42 of them 42 of now we know why molly told her to get her life together now we know what molly's saying molly's holding back some shit that she knows and she don't because she don't want to get real real crazy and that's why betty didn't go after molly because Betty's like, if I go after Molly, Molly's going to blast me on a lot of shit that people don't know a lot about. Multiple exes and says now it was all of them, but she, she took the case. Oh my God. It just gets worse and worse and worse. The more I stream, the more, go, more we go forward. Look, I've had full on conspiracy theorists that this is criminal. This isn't like, this isn't like, you know, someone coming up and trying to spread some misinformation repeatedly on the internet. This is someone who acts like, the, you know that anger we see come out of her? Remember when she said, Billy Joe! You know what I'm saying? I need that clip, and whenever anyone donates to me, it's going to go, listen, I, Billy, or she was saying like, you know what, they stole from me, her and Billy Joe! And she just turned evil in under 0.2 seconds. That's going to be my donation. That's going to be my donation. J-Dub says, drunk and high on coke, naked as the day is long, walking down the center line at cop talking shit. And she thinks that she can go travel from state to state, stealing a veterans organization's charity name, and try to make money on the internet by bullhorning cops, and that she's press, and that she's professional. Now you know why these people do this instead of a real job, y'all. Now you know why these people do this shit instead of actually being a reporter or actually having a real YouTube channel or actually learning what fair use is or actually learning what copyright is, right? Because they're just faking it. They're faking everything. They're just people wanting to go around fighting people and hurting people and strangulationing people and, you know, snorting whatever the hell she's snorting when she gets crazy. Have you seen the deleted Key West stream when she screams to tip her or she's, is that Molly? I've seen Molly do it. But if I want to see Betty e-begging, I've never seen Betty e-beg. Oh, and now we understand, Kaji, yes, now we understand them inciting violence. Now we know why they dox. Now we know why they do this shit. We're talking about literal criminal level vile ass people that are out there just fucking, you know, how, are they, how is she allowed on the platform for fuck's sake? How in the hell is she allowed on the platform? literally going around doxing i've got videos of betty doxing now and she's going around doing this shit after not she's not she's a, she's not just okay inciting violence she's okay fucking doing it every goddamn other weekend dear god oh i i know the answer to the question they're still on the platform because they haven't met somebody who can send it into Team YouTube uh, yet. Uh, until now. Good God, bro. Are you shitting me? I'm sorry, guys. I need 30 seconds. I got to process this shit. <laughs> I try not to. I try not to. I know I'm going to get in trouble now. I try not to. Lord, I'm sorry. I don't need to bring the Lord into this. Um, she drops teasers that she refuses to release until she gets money. Really? 
I need to find a compilation of her e-begging. Because I'm putting them all on blast. I'm putting them all on blast. And when I put them on blast, I'm putting them all on a single video showing how much of just e-beggars they are. How much they violate TOS. It's going to Team YouTube. And I'm going to try to get it to a bunch of other YouTubers. Because I have no idea how we don't have Keem or Tipster or any of the, or even Augie out there trying to help us get in touch with YouTube over this shit. Because I'm telling you, it's every day or two. Another person's coming to me saying that they were threatened by one of this group. And I'm sorry, I was going to say this earlier, and I really want to know this. I really want to know this. What do you call a group of people who break the law, who break the terms of service on a platform, organized, they organize themselves together, they constantly are breaking the, the rules, the terms of service, or even the law in some situations, and they organize together to help protect themselves so they can do it more and keep the consequences from happening to their protected group. I don't know what to call it when you're online. I'll only tell you what you can call it when people do it offline. I'm going to tell you what you can call it when people do it in the street, when they do it at home, when they do it in a business, when they do it in New York City or in Florida or in Cali. It's called a gang or it could be called a cult or it could be called a mob of people, a mafia, if you will, right? Depending on how far it goes. The issue is, what do you call it when we're talking about terms of service on YouTube, online, as opposed to offline? This is absolutely a cult. Absolutely. The cult is just a little more non-dedicated. They're, they're based online. They feed each other benefits. They protect each other. They threaten others to stop themselves from actually facing consequences when they delete something. Right? And in reality, they're all doing this online. It's fake. This is not real. This is fake. Okay? They take the, this shit seriously and pretend as if they're doing something real. They're not. They're fakers. They are what PewDiePie calls a faker daker. I love saying that. Because the, the, the internet is not real. Right? And... When they do this shit and they act all tough and they act all hard, they are doing, they are being what we call a keyboard warrior or a cringe lord. But in this day and age, we have a word now to categorize all these people, which is lolcal. And they can't escape this classification. Do they fit the role? Do they do things in person that are extremely extreme and crazy? Well, if we look at the last cult we busted, when they met up in person, they would have sex with each other. They would try to lure potential viewers into hotel rooms, into big groups, so they could have group sex with the uh, viewers they, they let in. They would do sp go to places where they would try to speak, and they would have their most dedicated people come, and then they would you know mix and mingle with them. We, the last group, they didn't go around doing this whole performative screaming and yelling thing, but they definitely met in person, strengthened the cult bond, and worked together to continue the cult behavior once they got back into their locations to stream. Now, when it comes to these guys, their cult structure is where they've built this kind of like little netting to go around them of people that will do the worst things for them to their enemies when they need them to. Is my, is my camera working? Because it's supposed to fall. Yeah, okay, it's working, right? I just need to mess with the settings a little bit because, you know. Cameraman, get on it. You're super slow tonight. Almost robotic. I'm going to fire your ass. It has to be professional here. The candlelight thing for the Iowa victim. She scrolled her cash app the whole time. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Why couldn't she just take it off when she's like, in, in just those really crazy situations? Jesus. Oh, it, no, my cameraman's, my assistant busy. Get your little butt behind the camera and stay on it. I want you to start following me more. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. I'm going to go. Back and forth and back and oh. forth. 
but Cherie, you're the best. Thank you. My mod Cherie really is the OG when it comes to administ uh, moderation and administration work. So this is Toasty, one of my favorite YouTubers, Burnt Toast. Um, if you're not subscribed, you're crazy because Toasty and my assistant Busy are very close with each other. They have a great working relationship. Uh, don't you do you do right? Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so you broke up. Oh, don't cry. Oh, stop crying. I know you miss her. Oh, I know you miss her. You know, maybe you'll maybe again someday. Oh my God, it's like. <laughs> Girl, like what? <laughs> I've seen your record. Oh my God, I love Toasty so. Her voice is perfect for radio and live streaming. I don't know how Toasty doesn't have a million subs. A lot of people have seen your record. And so I thought I got sick and tired of a. Uh, Nine minutes? I will. I just want to hear what Toasty says here really quick, and I'll jump to nine minutes, okay? Her just shaming people, especially after the fact that she's now lying. She's telling one person that she's never been arrested for a felony. She's told other people that she has, but those felonies were because uh, that she was the actual victim in, in those cases. Uh, she's told other people that uh, she only has one misdemeanor, and that's it. She's told other people that um the that she does how is strangulation and 40 different dvs a misdemeanor does have an extensive record however it's it's only um it's only charges stemming from interaction with one person and they were abusive to her and she was just defending herself that's called darvo you deny then you attack and then you reverse the victim offender role. The victim offender role means I am the offender because I punched the victim. Afterwards, a few months go by, a year goes by, 10 years go by, and I darvo the situation. Anyone that asks me about it, I deny the, the truth. I attack the person, the victim, or the questioner, and then I make myself the victim of what happened and I make my victim the offender. That's called Darvo. Disgusting. So I thought we would dispel all of the nonsense. Thank you, Lilith. I appreciate that. Okay, so this is Burnt Toast. This is Toasty. Uh, the toastiest of the toaster. And we're going to go to the nine-minute mark. Cherie. <gasps> Whoa! Cherie! <laughs> wow! You're dropping the bombs here. Oh my god. I think that's our first 10 bomb. Oh my lord. Thank you, Cherie. You are the greatest. Boston, you got a free membership. Go Alice. Al uh, go ask Alice. Poisoned Harley. Plat Platinum Boots. Wanna me wanna wanna pizza me motherfucker. J jammy girl. Uh, C Star, Cole 88, and Boxer Mama. Welcome to the Rocket Squad. Cherie just took you up with a free membership. Hopefully, you'll stop by a member stream. A lot of times, I when I do my member streams, I do leave it open for everybody, but I try to do them anyway because I just love having everybody there, even though it's a member stream. And we do have I have way more than enough members to be able to do a member stream and have that chat scrolling the whole time. But I miss the people that aren't members when we do. I don't know. I just maybe we'll do an extra stream so we can do a member stream this week. But anyway. This is, thank you so much, Sheree. And literally, when you guys support me like that, it's, it's the, it, it helps us keep going. It, it honestly does. So I just want to make sure I, I thank every supporter one more time. Uh, but Sheree, this is just amazing. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to the nine minute mark. So if you want to watch what I skipped, you got to go to Toasty, the burnt toast, the legend. This is Hetty Toast. This is what hypocrisy looks like. BHB arrest record and dispelling her lies. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. You, you know, you could have been a member already, but it might have just been at the very end of your membership. So it, it might have just renewed it because it was like the last day or two. It's possible. But you know what? I just don't know how YouTube does it. It's a new system. 
the these are new these are new the the gifted thing is a new thing so uh -huh. so i'm going to show you guys right now so this is the public site see it says public records hub literally any anybody can google this and see it and as you can see this is her arrest record and it keeps going and it keeps going and going. Oh my God. And it stops at 42. <gasps> she's got 42 wow. on her. From one state alone. I don't know where else she's lived in her life, but this oh. is just in the state of Florida. Oh my God, bruh. Oh my God, bruh. I bet she's a record setter when it comes to like, she's probably got more between every state in existence than any other person in history, bro. She needs to go for a fucking Guinness world record. Okay. Oh, turn on slow mode. Yeah. Will do. She's a liar. She's a liar. She's a hypocrite. What in the world, bro? Like you're such a fucking liar, man. They're all like that. They all are liars. They all, they can't be honest. They, they literally expect everybody to be perfect. But they themselves are are just the worst mother fluffers in existence. Hold on one second. Let me get there. Sorry about that, mods. My goodness. Okay. Get there. Still looking for it. I'm trying to look for where you go oh, every two minutes. My bad to keep up oh yes there's 42 things here just in the state of florida here's the crazy thing even if she's only lived in the state of florida her whole life 42 times is a lot because let's just be clear she's yeah. only like 42 years old or 40 oh my god she literally has one for every year of her life she must have been like three years old, beating the shit out of someone in kindergarten. Three years old. Cops come. Um, hello, principal of the elementary school. I heard you have a problem. Did a teacher injure another? No, it's a kindergartner. Get in there. And the cops are running in. Um, all right, come in. I'm arresting you, kindergarten teacher. No, it's not me. It's her. And there's, there's a chick standing there in just a diaper. And she's like, I'm going to cut you, motherfucker. And the first charge starts. And the cop's like, oh my god, it's her. You've already been arrested 16 times and you're only five. In 1995. Careful, George. She cuts you. She'll strangle you even. Five. And guess what? There's still one that's open from, let's see. Burnt Toast goes to the top of the list and it's literally like 12 charges from when she was like eight years old, whooping ass on the playground to the point where they're in the hospital. Eight. Uh, May 13th, 2000. No, that's not it. Uh, May 28th, 2021. No fucking way. I, uh, can't, can't throw headset. Must keep headset on head or I will break it. I thought we were talking about 10 years ago or 15 years ago. I thought she might have been crazy in college or something. Well, she didn't go. She Okay, she didn't finish high school. So, okay. I thought she might have been crazy visiting a college to pretend as if she was a student there. You're telling me from like, yeah, last year? <laughs> so, so, we're going to go through these. Um, we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to work our way up. So, you're only going to see this. Because I do not believe in doxing. I, I don't either, Toasty. I don't either. And, you know, the thing about this is, is it relative to the content? And is it public? That's a yes and a yes. Now, just to make sure she can't claim the big D on any of this, is this relative to her content to what degree? So is it relative to the degree of she made a uh, she yells at other people for getting in trouble? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean you can just grab her whole record and throw it out there. 
you know, is she saying someone can't get in trouble for DV? Is she saying you can't get in trouble? You know what DV is, don't you, Betty? You know what DV is, right? DV is a murder case that got interrupted, okay? When you get DV to an extreme degree, I'm talking like the really ones where people are out of control, Anything can happen when you're strangling, when you're punching. You could punch and break their neck. They could fall back and hit their head. A million things can happen. So don't tell me that if you only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe you could argue, hey, now you can't say that it's a murder case interrupted because, you know, we just got in a slap fight. 42. 42. 40 fucking two. It's a murder interrupt. Now listen, when they pick you up, you're literally threatening to kill them in some scenarios. So you go to murders and exploit them for money. You yell outside of a house to even uh, to places where the perpetrator isn't there. They don't live there. They were in a rehab and they weren't even living at the house. They were probably not even in that state. Maybe the rehab was in the state. Instead of protesting the rehab or the popo, you're protesting the home because you are a performative. Uh, you're, you're trying to just put out a performance for donations. And if you're putting on a performance for donations to try and grab at the headline, grab at the virility of this murder in, in an exploitative way, then yes, I'm sorry to say it, you're making money off of that horrible thing that happened. Now, I can only think of a couple people that would ever be okay with making money off of something like that in such a sick way. It would have to be an extreme con person. Oh, G. Willikers, Batman. That's what Molly and Letitia ended up being. Molly tried to steal money from a working woman while she was on the job. Lots of it. And run with it and get away with it. Someone tried to take someone's entire wage for the night. I don't give a shit if it was a stripper. I don't care. If you have to go, if you got it, if you got the body and you're going to go do it, I'm not saying I would. I'm not saying I'd be okay if, like, I don't know, my family member or something did it. I'd complain. I'd be, ups I'd be mad. But I'm saying I do not judge anybody for doing that, uh, especially when it comes down to the fact that that was their wage. You know, they go out there and do that and, and show themselves and go through this every night and they most likely have to deal with a lot of stuff they don't want to deal with, like people trying to touch them, people trying to grab them, people trying to stalk them and shit like that. And they, do, they don't go through all of that for no fucking reason. They don't just go there to do it for nothing. And you stole her nightly wage. And thank God the cop picked you up and got that shit back. And hopefully got all of it back. Hopefully you didn't have a chance to go buy a shit ton of fucking shots and, and slurp them down before they got to you. Though, now we're looking over here at Betty. You, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped one. I skipped somebody. So we got Molly, who's out there stealing from working women their nightly wage. Trying to take the fucking money they made working I know I'm really harping on this, but it's just disgusting because Molly can't go out there and do what she did. Molly can't get up there and do it like she did. Molly can't make that money, so she tries to steal it. Then we go over to Letitia. 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 The woman who said that she needed money to help her son and her grandson get a lawyer so she could get custody of both of them to get them away from someone that was abusing them, starving them, and trying to murmur them. And then Letitia ends up taking in that money, and we find out she don't even know him. She didn't know him his whole life. He's only been around her for the smallest little bit of time. He was with the damn wife in the first year of their marriage, more time combined together than he was ever with Letitia in her entire in their entire lives. That's not even the bad part. We found out that she had been stealing money and doing that kind of shit for a long time, right? So then you go over and listen, like I said with Letitia, it, some of it was from a long time ago and I let it go, but the stuff that she did directly to Marvon that applied, okay? That applied. Then you go over to Betty 
it's not, I don't even care about the money part of anything. I'm not the kind of person that will hold something you did a long time ago against you. I'm not the kind of person that will try to like mix things together to get a one up on somebody in commentary. I'm really not. But this is extreme. This is extreme, bro. I can't even verbalate. <laughs> I can't even speakatize how extreme this is. <laughs> it's got me m mixing all my words up and stuffs. Okay's? What the fuck? Do you really just go to these murmurs because you're pissed that your murmurs got cut off before you could finish them? Is that why you're going and protesting at these murmurs? What is going on? What is going I'm on? I'm going to have another screen that you won't be able to see where um, I'm going to actually read off the charges. <gasps> okay. No fucking way, bro. Oh my God. Toasty is hardcore. Toasty, you are hardcore. How do people give these people money? How is it not a con? Seriously. Okay, I, look, I don't give a shit if they mess up. I don't care if you mess up. I don't care if you... I would almost, almost not use Molly's stripper... Do I call it a stripper theft? Does that carry the... Does that actually describe what happened? Sure. Do I... You know, almost I wouldn't hold the stripper theft against Molly if it was like 15 years ago. Unfortunately, it was very recent. <laughs> so that's why I'm holding it against her. Um, you know, if they did something to themselves, if they did something in their life, let's say that she was going and buying weed and got in trouble for it. Let's say she was a uh, uh, public intoxication. She's walking down the street and she's drunk. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even care. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's say when you were 18 years old, you were driving around with your friends drunk and you got caught. Uh, okay, whatever. Who cares? It doesn't affect things. This is too much. Let's hear it. Okay. This is only one county. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, this is not only... That's a very good point, Herma. Thank you very... Thank you so much. This is just one county? So, yeah, this is just from... Uh, as far as I know, this is just from one county. Well, actually, you know, I think there's some of them from another county. Oh, it's probably a state based on the state then. Too. So I'm just going to say this is this is from the state of Florida. Um, so we're going to go. I'm going to go first to the one that's down here that says uh, December 11th, 1995. So she started early. <laughs> um, and, and like I said. Why is it that we don't hold older things against somebody in some situations, but we do in others? You look at the issue and you say to yourself, why would somebody do what she's doing now? Okay. What would explain the angry outbursts? What would explain the doxing? What would explain the yelling, the screaming, the fighting, the gangster-like bullshit, the fake-ass gangster bullshit? What would explain all the angry nastiness what what does explain that that's the pursuit we need to understand it right because we are looking at it and we're amazed by it we're asking ourselves how does a human being act like betty or molly or justin or you know which one and so when we look back and we see that she's got this thing in 95 a dv if it was just that and maybe another one in 2002 maybe she wrecked a car in uh oh six i don't know that doesn't show a pattern it might show the what does that tell us it might tell us that when she was younger she had an anger problem she got in some fights she got in some domestic fights you know does that really apply to somebody in 2022 if they've been on the internet for okay i've been on the internet eight years you know if if that had been the case um and it was just that we wouldn't apply it, it we wouldn't be able to pull data from it she obviously chilled out from 95 until now. She obviously learned her lesson. She's a different person. She's not doing it anymore because there's none there. This is the opposite. This is the opposite, people. <laughs> this shows you that this person not only has been violent, 
doesn't respect others, doesn't care about another person's safety, doesn't care to injure them, doesn't care to make them feel pain for multiple long periods of time, right? You hurt somebody in the way that's been described to me in just a couple incidents, they're going to be sore for a week or two, if not longer. You And now the, the strangulation thing, cutting off oxygen, maybe you did it for five minutes but before the cops interrupted you. I don't fucking know. You could cause permanent fucking brain damage. You could kill them. You could break their trachea and they'll die. A lot of people that are strangling don't realize this. They get murder charges not because they held onto the neck for fucking six minutes until they died. It's because they broke something up here and then they couldn't breathe it started to, to swell it started to breathe it closed the airway they still get the strangulation murder charge because they were too they were squeezing too hard that's why you don't do it so when we see this pattern and we see that this person is not only this vile this angry this crazy then we look at the public examples of this person it tells us why we're dealing with this now why is this person so respectful to the dead? Why are they so respectful for those mourning the dead? Why are they so respectful, disrespectful to people who are on the street sleeping, the neighbors, the innocent neighbors of these people? Why? Care about people. They're vile. They have zero empathy. Zero empathy. If... If you were a video game character and your emotions and your brain was on a scale of 0 to 100 and that's the skill level of those emotions, you would have anger 100, empathy 0, nastiness 100, ugliness 100, disgustingness 100. Did I make my point? Some of the... Um some of the things allow you to see the actual uh mma said nick says g uh, mgl was nodding out on stream again tonight what are are these people content factories is that what we're dealing with content uh, factories do they just give me content daily for the f of it I don't know if Sheree has seen this, but Sheree, I'm not saying you have to go get a clip or anything, Sheree. I'm just asking if you know where a clip is like this, I don't care if it's still live. I will watch it. If if you can tell me the around the timestamp of the video, I will play it and I will watch it. So make sure you hook me up, cool. okay? Course. If you want. I just saw it halfway through a stream. Give me one second, Nick. I got to freaking take a quick look. Really quick look, y'all. And while I'm pulling it up, I can do two things at once, unlike the people that we're talking about. If you want to support me, please consider paypal.me forward slash unirock, subscribing, liking, and going to unirock2 and subscribing. I want to see y'all. I want to see y'all. I want to see y'all over on unirock2 when I upload. This is what made me repeat myself. She just locked it up. She knows she messed up. You know you did it, Molly. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a better production for you guys. I'm trying to make things. I'm trying to make it. You know you messed up, Molly. You know you did, or you wouldn't have locked it behind the member-only content. Damn it! You, what are you trying to hide from me? Do you think our archivers didn't record it? Do you think we don't know, Molly? We got it all, and it'll be on tomorrow, right here on Unirock. Yeah, boy. are not available and but like i said like i said guys i'm trying to up the production i'm trying to work in more things i want to get more sound effects have more zoom ins more zoom outs i want to do things different than other people i want to keep your attention while you're live what's my goal here not only is it to hopefully get you to subscribe and like the video but my goal is to produce a live stream that's very similar to you watching an uploaded video that's why i try to cut Keep moving and keep flowing. I want it to feel as if this this live stream is a produced video you clicked on. I know I'm going to be talking longer than I do in my stream or in my videos. I know it's there's going to be a little bit of a delay here and there. Those are things I can't help. But for the most part, I think we're starting to get there. So let's get back to it. And um, so this is uh, one of those that do not show much. 
Um, but it does say here that um, it was a domestic violence incident and that um, she was convicted of this and there was retention <laughs> met, meaning they gave her a fine or something like that. And again, this is when she was a minor. And Okay, so we're talking about literally a domestic a domestic violence. Okay. So it talks about how... Um, uh, Crystal says, Molly... Molly said that her paycheck for last month and this month is 11000 I believe it. I believe it. You don't want to know what my paycheck is because you'd be like... That's not a lot, uni. How she had a guardian <laughs> item, um, who, I guess, represented her because obviously... Uh, uh, minors get a guardian ad litem in um, in court. It's kind of like a a special. It's your I think it's your your parent or guardian that will represent you on a basis that's different than. Okay, for the I think that means that that person can maybe get some form of either a neglect or some other thing like that if it goes a certain way. I think the ad litem is saying there's some responsibility if possible. It doesn't mean always, but I think it's if possible. You guys need rocks? You guys, I've been waiting all night and I was going to give you rocks on my first PayPal. Let me see if I did. If I Even if I didn't, I'll still give them to you. Even if I didn't get one, I'm going to still give you free rocks. I'm just checking here. Because that's when I usually give them to you. Hold on real quick. Let me log in. And oh, okay, good, good. We're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you. I don't know who did it, but thank you so much. And if anybody else wants to support, there's the link. We're just taking a quick break because I'm going to give you guys a butt ton of rocks. Okay, not a butt ton. Well, it is a butt ton. It, it, it's 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 a my butt ton. My butt's kind of small. So I'm only going to give you 150,000 right now. That's still a really big amount of rocks. But it's definitely not the biggest. It's not the biggest butt ton, but it's definitely a butt ton. All right, let me do a countdown and I'm going to hook you up. We'll get right back to it. Actually, let's just start at five, four, three, two, one. You've got to type or emoji in the live chat if you want to get the rocks i will delay giving you rocks for just a second to make sure everybody's got time to chat or emoji if they want them one last chance here payout engaged means i'm paying you there they go there they come here it is now what we're listening to right now i was just completely shocked out of my pants <laughs> when I that's a really bad analogy. I don't know what that means. Did I get did I stick my hand in a light socket and my clothes flew off? What am I talking about? I was shocked out of my pants when I found out that Bullhorn Betty whom the last time I watched on stream I deduced that she has a violent anger pro, anger problem. Bullhorn Betty, Bullhorn Betty has a shit ton of domestic violence charges even a lot that are recent and yes this is very relevant to what she's been doing All right. Dude, this is shocking, to say the least. Um, advocate for uh, minors in court to protect their rights. Um, but it talks about how she was ordered to pay costs. So evidently she had to pay um, a restitution fee or some kind of fee. 
And um, yeah, so that's so already she's starting off in 1995. You know, and that's fine. Honestly, I'm not going to hold that against anybody. When you're a kid, I know people will say 15 and 16, definitely. You're a kid uh, in, in the judgment of this. Some people will say by the time you're 17, if you get in trouble like this, it, it's it's an adult thing. But, you know, I usually still say if they're 17 and they're having problems like this, I typically don't hold that against somebody because, you know, obviously they're having issues in life and it just happens. These things happen. You get older, you get away from it. You realize like that you don't have to let those kind of things hold you down and you kind of change and you grow up. So <sighs> let's see what else is there though. When she was what? 16 uh, ish, something like that. So yeah, she's obviously um, had a trouble with her um, anger. <laughs> she's had a lot yes. of anger. I think that's what's relevant is when it relates to an anger issue. That's when it's extremely relevant to what we're looking at. Because that was something I noticed very much about what she was doing. Okay. Um, for quite some time. Okay. So the next one here is in 1996, less than a year later. Um, this one was for, um, it was a traffic infraction, but uh, she, not, that's she's not been that. getting a lot of, she gets a lot of traffic infractions as well. You know, that's the thing. When you are having a problem at that age, you typically start to get really, you know, it's something that carries through, you know what I'm saying? So, again, I'm not going to really hold that much against And somebody. they're not just like, oh, you're just speeding and you get a ticket. A lot of them is careless driving. Okay, that's different. Not driving with a license. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think I did that once when I was younger. That, you know, kid age, being dumb. Uh, driving and the cops pull, o pull her over and they find drugs on her. Yeah, that's completely different. Yeah, so it's more than just the normal tra traffic. Well, look, it just shows that she's got an addiction problem uh, that's that's been around for a long time. And that's something that I have um compassion towards and it's a thing that you hope that when people do have that uh demon or they have that need in their head or that gnawing thing in their head that they find a way to release themselves from it they find a way to overcome it because it's very destructive it's a very destructive presence in your life it affects the way you relate with everybody it affects your job it affects how far you go and it's something that gets to your it, it 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 affects you to your core and i always try to be as sympathetic as possible when looking at those kind of situations now the thing that i don't have sympathy for just just to make sure that you know you can give sympathy but if you give too much sympathy or if you give it too often you're you're literally allowing a con man or allowing an abuser to get away with it so you only have sympathy to the level where they're choosing to harm someone else and then it's gone it's just gone at that point okay so there's a like when i tell you there's a difference it's when i look at something that harms themselves compared to something that's harming someone else or that's something that could have harmed someone else stop this this particular just because you got lucky doesn't mean it couldn't have gone different one in 1996 um was for careless driving um so there again it was more fees that she had to pay um and all of that so it just it keeps getting worse and worse as the years go by okay so 1997 <laughs> so 1997 um there was another traffic infraction um and again so she's going to go from bottom up. I'm more interested at in what happened as it evolved. I'm going to skip ahead just a wee, 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 little bit. Was, uh, calling her Because I really want to see what happened with the tea sip and mama thing with Molly, too. And I also want to start looking toward... What's that lady's name? I keep forgetting it. Um, Melissa Schumann. Melissa Schumann and Nick Carter, in my opinion, will 
rep will be a factor in the early part of Molly's evolution to what she is now. So we do need to get there eventually. They're out on that back in October when they were down there with the Gabby Petito case. And she not only admitted it, but then said, uh, I got to I got to go back a little bit. You're so wrong. Um, is it true? She has been a paid processor for years. Uh, that's what she says on Twitter. A what? Paid? Paid by who? Who's paying her to go do that? Somebody was uh, calling her out on that back in October when they were down there with the Gabby Petito case. There's only one. Wait, that where were they protesting? The laundries. Who would pay them to protest the laundries, for God's sake? Did you see that Sloan filed a police report? I did not, but thank you for telling me, ASU Mom. I'll definitely take a look at it. Definitely. Because like I said, people were trying to categorize Sloan as lying or clickbaiting. So, you know, like my take, just so everybody knows, I, I, don't, I didn't go one way or the other. I didn't give Sloan a single negative thing or a single positive thing. I just waited for information and... Him filing a police report, I think, solidifies the claim. I think it helps give a credence to the claim. So that's a good thing, you know, depending on the circumstances. And she not only admitted it, but then said, uh, yeah, it is my full-time job. How do you think I pay my bills? So. Uh-oh. We're having a little bit of internet flubbiness. We're not going anywhere. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm here. Internet flubby. No worries. If I get a little bit blurry, it'll write itself out. It's no worries. Yeah. Uh, Mellow one, if BHB isn't a career habit um, criminal, habitat criminal, I don't know who is. Wow. Yeah, It. it's... This gets really bad. And again, come on, internet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why am I getting an internet flub? Everything's going good. I don't understand. And once we go into like the two. Yeah, I buffered for a second, but we came right out of it. Uh, mods, everybody, let me know if you see any buffering, okay? If you see anything, but we're good. Thousands into recently. She actually gets worse over time, not better. And some of it's pretty alarming. Like, she has some fucking nerve talking about other people and saying that she's um, a victim's advocate. Oh, God. And there's a thing where I don't know what it's called. Maybe you guys can help me out. But there's this phenomenon. There's a like a behavioral thing where a person who is very destructive and abusive will try to frame themselves as the opposite or... So they can find more victims or so that they can feel better about it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the My internet flub is really light. Like, if it was really heavy, I'd let you know. But it's a very light one. It'll, it'll ride oh. out. No. <laughs> no. What about her victims that she has attacked? I want to know more about them. Because she's just like Shani. She can't keep her hands off the people. Yeah, well, you know, and that's... uh. Probably a piece of her puzzle, but, you know, I try to stay away from all um, information out there, like, that, that goes out a little further, uh, myself. Of course, it's public, so I don't mind it. I'm just trying to say, like, you know, you get me. When she doesn't get her way. She's and no different than Brian drink. Laundry, except the victim of her strength. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. survived hey you know what very true have you seen olivia's youtube channel uh called uh no i haven't but i will i will check that out if you like dm me a link to that i don't know much about olivia um okay so the next one that we're going to do is the one that's from 1999 and some of these are out of order because i think uh the cases were reopened or maybe there was probation and they they had more court cases, but it's in the order that the court cases went, as far as I know. 
Okay, this one um, was... Wow, Toasty is fearless. Toasty is fearless. Oh, no, you're fine. No, no problem. Yeah, you're getting it. It's exclamation point, no spaces with the word, space, and the amount you want to bet. So if, if someone challenges you to a duel, you can hit exclamation point, accept. You can hit exclamation point, duel, space, name of person, space, 10,000. If they accept it, you guys will battle. Pretty cool. Uh, she oh, the slot machine is my favorite. The slot machine is the best one. She was going at a very high rate of speed. Very high rate of speed. And so it was another traffic infraction for reckless driving. Again, pay to fine. Um, they had to... So something like, I think she was still a minor. Maybe she was still a minor. I'm not sure. No, no, no. She would have been, what, 20? Uh, so this says uh, that she had to be assessed or something, but um, that she uh, completed that. Uh, she also bragged about how she knew how to take someone out who's larger than her by going straight for the airways. Yeah. She See, and that's just gross. That's not like some type of martial arts. You know, that's some type of evil. That is some type of evil. Can you combine anger with going towards someone's airways, for God's sake? You know, martial arts is about disabling your opponent. It's not about killing somebody. You know? It's, it's, a, it, it's for God's sake, evil. What we're seeing is evil. She did. Condensed. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has already been involved with a suicide in Florida. God forbid there could be another one due to her actions. Would there be anything that could be done? I have no idea. Uh, the law enforcement officers, they need to handle that. And Toasty, me and you are on a wavelength, you know? My advice to my audience is always to watch, like, watch content and don't involve yourself in any type of personal... Thing towards any of these people because the last thing you want need deserve is to have them unleashing the abuse or the anger and the hate that they have inside them towards you and people like toasty are good people right you know there's a reason that she can can put a video like this out and she doesn't just do it to be hateful or mean it's when you get a person threatening you you get a person threatening other people, and you've got to register. People that are getting threatened by her have to register whether she's serious about these threats or not. And I've seen some really bad stuff from these people. I'd like to be able to get clips of it and bring it here to you. I'm working on it. You know of any clips that I need to see. That When we're live, it's the best time to bring them to me. Oh my God, really? Oof, that's scary. So she's got some family issues. That's, that. that is not our job. All we can do is expose her. And if she... Yeah, and then, and then encourage people that are direct victims to file reports. That's all you can do. That's our job. Our job is to encourage everybody to... like Because we get a lot of people that come to us... And they'll say they took my money and then they doxed me when I asked for the refund. I can't do anything, but I can encourage you to, to where the correct place is to go to file a report. Because sometimes it's hard to get that information when you're online. A lot of people come online, they start using YouTube, they never expect this. You know why? Because the terms of service is against it. I've seen people banned for calling another YouTuber a 2 out of 10 about their looks. I've seen people banned because they make another YouTuber feel depressed by doing content that hurts their feelings. I've seen people banned for dumb, dumb stuff that embodies when they try to make it into harassment. They try to make it into bullying. Though, when you look at people like Betty, especially Betty, especially Molly... And then you get these people like Justin that sit beside these people and help them do this stuff in the background and don't do it in the foreground as much. You get these people like LB who do it in the background and sit next to these and support this kind of stuff. 
but then sit and scream and yell at other YouTubers because they don't like their content or whatever the hell it is they say, right? And then they tell you how great their content is when all they're doing is sitting there running their mouth about Nick Carter or something or whatever the hell it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just gross. And, you know, the only reason that we can even give you content is because of how cringy these people are, for God's sakes. If you went outside and filmed a weird thing in the sky that looked like it might be a UFO or something, right? And you upload it to YouTube and it gets 10,000 views. It's interesting. But if you film one of these people having a freak out, that shit is the best. That is the creme de la creme. People watch reality TV like they do for a reason. People watch bad boys, bad boys, or what you gonna do for a reason, okay? And these people are the real version. Like, this ain't no, there, there ain't no TV screen, right? Or TV camera here, right? This is these people thinking that they are the fucking, you know, most interesting, most, most valuable people, and you should watch them and pay them, and yada, 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 you know what I'm saying? And it's cringily delicious. I wish we had our televisions and the TV producers, these kind of shows, these would be like the shit that people watch at night if they put it on TV. She um, acts a fool because based on her pattern, she's due for another incident in 20... Oh, sure, definitely. 2022. Um, but that's for law enforcement to handle. You've seen it in her. She sits there and gets angry and literally gets demonized, man. You know, that's, that's not our job. I don't even know if she, like I don't even know if she's in control. Could you pin your email, please? Sure, I'll do that. Toasty is so. Toasty is so um caring okay. towards her audience. So she's really good the, YouTuber. You know, Just a great that she's got to jump through. Like it's it's pretty incredible. Um, that she has the balls. Okay to be shaming other people for a record. Okay, sure. Um, here is another one in 2000. Um, this is another traffic. Look at what comes up when you search her. Bullhorn Betty is drinking on vacation on her subscriber's dime in a now deleted stream. Then you've got her channel. Then you got Petty Toast. This is, this is the video we're watching right here. This is it. Then you've got Bullhorn Betty docks his innocent family going after Burnt Toast. So Burnt Toast, I would assume, yeah, six months later. So Burnt puts this shit out. So what does Betty do? Do tries to dox her and attack her and go after her because she's a victimizer, not a victim advocate. She is an abuser. If you're going after Burnt Toast and you're trying to dox her, you are a being abusive towards Burnt Toast. You are the victimizer. You're not the victim. Then you've got Bullhorn Betty drinking. Bullhorn Betty is making fun. Where is Bullhorn Betty's videos? Where are they at? Is making fun of new press passes. Oh, that was hilarious. That's the one where she's like, I can print myself a press pass because I'm a reporter. And, and of course, my question is, okay, where's your degree? Where'd you go to school? Where's your experience? Where's the filming of you going on the scene and actually reporting or writing up a good report? Let me read your reports. Let's see how you type, your use of punctuation, the way you source, because that's a very important part of being a reporter. You got to source everything, right? Nothing. She literally just thinks you can just be a, re I'm a reporter. It's called LARPing. It's called live action role playing, LARPing, faking it, right? Look at this. Wilhorn Betty's secret message is exposed. Where is, where is her? Where is she? Does she not exist on here? <laughs> Bullhorn Betty, drunk, dirty, delete. Yep, I've watched a little bit of that. Dolly Vision exposed by ex-girlfriend. Bullhorn Betty on DNA. Oh my God, I almost have to hear this. Does she think she's such a... Oh my God, it's heels in the air. God, I love this intro music. It's so good because... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Up. Like, that's the kind of funky music. That is the song that plays when Betty and Molly and Justin get all dressed up and they're right about to walk out of their hotel room into the hallway. You know what I'm saying? In the movie and they're walking down the, they're walking down the aisle uh, of the hotel and you, all you hear is... And now here's Betty. And then it, and then it goes to Molly. 
And then the Justin. RSO, uh, where you can basically see the home from his house. I know. I went there. Oh, good. Because you don't it's have not involved. problem with RSO. It's not him. So here's what I want you to look for while you're watching Betty. We're new to the Betty experience. We've only seen one of her takes, okay? Here's what I want you to look for when you're watching Betty. We're going to be fair to Betty. We're going to give her a shot. We're going to see if maybe she's not a psycho. We're going to see if maybe she doesn't act crazy. Maybe she doesn't say crazy dumb things. Maybe she is a good YouTuber, right? Yes, Crystal, you can get me things. Navy isn't here right now, but Navy is my, you know, he's the dude that takes in all everything, gets it into me. So, yeah, definitely. I'll definitely take a look at it um, uh, after the show, though, if you can get it in. That'd be tight. You're Thank wasting you. your time. Oh, I want you to look for angry outbursts because I want to give her a fair shot. So watch your body language here. We don't use body language to predict things. We don't use body language as a as a science or something. We use body language as a pattern. We want to see the pattern. We want to see if there is one. And, and we already know that there we've already seen angry outbursts from Betty. You want to keep an eye out for what precedes the angry outburst. And this is what's scary about Betty. She can go from zero to a hundred in point two seconds. I literally played her going from nice, normal Betty to complete an utter red-faced psychopath in under point two seconds. Keep an eye out. Time looking at him, and you know, especially since there was no sexual assault. But you went to his house. Were you wearing whatever the fuck you're wearing right now? What is that? You scare me. Um. <laughs> this is the best commentary I've ever heard. Were you wearing what you're wearing right now? What is that? You scare me. I'm in love with this channel. I'm in love with this. I didn't give this a like for God's sakes. What am I doing? Yeah. I, I mean, I, again, I don't know what... I can't convince people. All I can do is give you guys the information for you to make your own decisions and your own theories and your own hypotheses. Hypothesis. Do you know what a hypothesis is? You know what the scientific method is? Or are you just using words to try to make your... You know what? My God. Is she, is she a robot? Is she serious? Like, this is why I think she's playing an act. Because she is so predictable. She literally is so... I, I've only heard her speak a couple sentences and I can already tell you that she is using bigger words to try and boost the way she looks to her audience. Instead of being her normal self and talking like she normally talks, she's trying to, you know, put on an image here. I can just feel it. I can just see it. Not only in her in the mannerism and in her facial movements, but literally, you know, I don't see her using the word hypothesis in her normal speech. Something just tells me she doesn't. Something tells me when she's at home, it's more like, I'm going to choke you to death, Charlie. You know, there's not really a whole, a whole lot, nor would I condemn you for thinking the way that you think, because at the end of the day, this is definitely, without a doubt, a classic who died. I, I'd love to know what she's talking classic. about. We, as people, don't know. I can what? Tell what are you wearing? See, and, and Betty, I'm so glad you're saying this. Because this is exactly what we're dealing with with you and Molly and Justin and the rest of your crew. We are dealing with just being regular people and we're looking in on and asking ourselves, are you faking it or are you really this crazy? Are you doing this to make money? Are you, are you aware that you're exploiting these tragedies or do you... I don't know, are you un too unintelligent? There's only a couple possibilities. You're either too unintelligent to be able to realize you're exploiting the tragedies or you know you're exploiting the tragedies and you don't care because you know it makes you money. Because other people out there want to pay you. They want to see you do this. They like watching you flip out. They like watching you actually, you know, get up there with what you're doing. So, because just saying. Gross, Betty. Okay. What I feel the type did she say, what are you wearing again? <laughs> oh my God, I love it. A person that would have committed this crime did it. That's it. Okay. Um, what? You know, I, I I put out a video this morning <laughs> that had, I had no makeup, guys. You had to see me raw. That's me what? raw right there. You don't, you don't get any, any more bedhead raw than...
I know it's horrible. That right, and that's the way I had to look. <laughs> it is so scary. Every time I pause the screen, I feel like you're an alligator. I, I you've got an you've got the look of of a lion when they're about to bite their prey. You look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You want you look like you want to kill something. You, you look like you want to poke something with a stick violently. <laughs> All day, right? People probably thought I was a hot mess. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought you were a hot Tyrannosaurus Rex, not a hot mess, a hot Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hot used in the term of describing a mess, but then replacing mess with Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it's not a positive hot. Definitely it's a judgment of the heat in your body moving to your face before your head pops. But okay? that's okay. Um, but all I can do is describe, you know, who what? done it or, you know, who I think would have the person exactly all you can do is describe who done it which is what you and molly and the rest do you go and you take a side and you try to pick who you think is someone that's still there who is available to you that you can actually pin something on doesn't have to be the overarching biggest crime in the case because all you need is something like you know you were mad at the mother of uh or the grandmother or the mother you were mad at the mother for what happened with her kid and you went and protested and told her to go grab her kid and drag her down the street and you're screaming all these things and your bullhorns and shit at these people that you know when you're the laundries and other things so when you want to you try to put out a air that you're better than billy joe or you're better than the laundries uh, you're you are in the very least equal to billy joe and you are so much worse than the laundry family. However, the human population looks at the laundry family, not la not the laundry that did it, the mother and the father. There's a lot of people don't like them. And however, people look at that family, that negative way, they look at you about times 1000. But you guys go and you move around and you act like everybody respects you. Or or something. I I'm trying so hard to observe just like you said and figure it out which you can do you're allowed to do that right betty then we're allowed to do that we're allowed to, to try to figure out what you're doing using your content using what you've publicly posted we are allowed i truly believe she's not even intelligent enough to understand what she's doing i think that a lot pig lips and backflips i do and i love saying that name out loud um i i do a lot i think that but the thing is I uh, I think they may not understand the totality of the damage they're doing, but I think it's mostly that they could understand it if they would actually give it time. I think there's a lot of negligence, which is just as bad. If you if you walk up to somebody and um, you know you do something like you're standing next to a guy pumping gas, you light a uh, light a lighter and it blows the dude up or some shit, catches him on fire and he's rolling around and around and all this. You know, you're, you, it's just as bad as you say. Well, I had no clue it would light. I didn't think it would light. I was just messing around, right? It, either way, you did it. And it's the same here. They are causing the damage, but they're trying to, in every aspect, ignore. They're ignoring everything else. They try to just take the money, focus on the money, go in there, get the money. So they have to at least be aware of what's going on. Now, not the box. person, okay. uh, of, of the person that may have be that may be responsible for this. But getting back to the DNA, mm. I did the DNA, the DNA. Did this whole thing on the DNA because we just learned um, last night on Nancy Grace. If you guys were watching, I think Ickdemil uh, actually ran a segment on this case. Yeah. Uh Ickdemil, he's he's all right. He's got a few issues. I don't know if he's going to turn out to be. You know, a good YouTuber, good guy. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, grilled cheese, baby. Uh, I don't know if Vicky Mel's going to, you know, come up or if he's going to, you know, flatline. Either way, though, why are you name dropping Ickid Mel? Why? I, I, I hope you don't have an association with Ickid Mel. People should not be validating you and Molly and Justin. They should be isolating you until you guys stop doing this shit. Uh, 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 you know, related to the Nancy Grace uh, five segment. Days ago. And that she ran it five days ago and then ran clips, I think, last. Five days ago? So she said last night, but it was five days ago. 
just so you know. That was the first time we learned. We knew that DNA was collected. We knew that they went in there and they got, you know, 113 uh, pieces of individual evidence from the home. So what? You don't, why do you even have to say that? That's a fucking duh. That is a literal duh. Like, I'm going to report the obvious to you. Now pay me while I scream in my bullhorn. And um, we were hopeful mm -hmm. that there was DNA. Right. We were hopeful that there was DNA from the perpetrator mm -hmm. in that home. Right. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, we learned on, I believe, December 1st or December 2nd mm -hmm. that... Uh, Why do you keep saying we learned? You didn't learn shit. You didn't, you didn't learn anything. You're wording this as if you were involved, for God's sakes. You're not involved. The police are involved. The reporters reported it. You're a YouTuber. Start literally wording your shit like you're a YouTuber, please. Because you're not a reporter. You're not a, D a police officer, a DNA collector. You seem like you're an abuser. Let's get back to that. I'm sorry. I get distracted because there's just so much going on with these people. We'll get back to that. I want to know how much of, how, should we be considering that she is this kind of abuser or not? Traffic infraction, another high rate of speed. And Can't stand listening to these people talk. They are so basic, you know? There's nothing there. I work my ass off just to be above average live streamer. I didn't say I am one, you know? I work my ass off just to try to be an above average live streamer for God's sakes. I just, you know what I think? I think they just sit their ass down and start talking. I, I think that's all they do. I think they run and grab a bullhorn and just start screaming. Sit their ass down, they just start talking. They're just putting on an act. I don't think they spend their day sitting down, working, doing their shit, doing their thing, and then doing what they gotta do. I don't think they do a damn thing. And reckless driving. You can just tell by the way they talk. By, by like the way they present the information that they have. They have no understanding, true understanding of what they're talking about. My goodness, okay, uh, let's see. Um. Here's another one in 2000. Okay, so we're another up to, we're up to, you know, getting closer to the time that I think matters. Traffic infraction, unlawful speed. What, is she a race car driver, for God's sakes? I, I had some seatbelt tickets back in the day. Um, maybe a speeding ticket once. No, I might have got another when I got out of the military. It was a long drive. Um, yeah, she's a race car driver. Oh my gosh. Ozzy, Trisha, hey, good to see you. Um, let me see. So I don't lose my place. Um, this one, but there's a lot here. So I think this is where she was really kind of getting in trouble. Um, there's a whole, there's like a let. So this really does explain to me why Betty was trying so hard to dox and intimidate Toast. Seven different items on the docket for. Uh, Crystal says she speaks that way so she doesn't have to take responsibility. She didn't do anything wrong. BHB did. This particular one, um, where she actually there was a subpoena and she had to go to court for this, so it wasn't just a slap on the wrist this time. So, yeah, so that's another okay. one. Um, oh, it gets better, guys. Don't worry about that. Oh, yeah. We're and when you there. say, uh, when you see like retention met, it just means that there were, uh, and, uh, yeah, she, see, what she should have done is been like, yeah, I made these mistakes and I'm trying to be better. There you go. That's all you've got to do. You can still make more mistakes, right? You can still have issues you could maybe speed again <laughs> um not the drugs or the dv and i guess we're getting to that but my point here is like when you get up there and you just straight lie to people it's for a reason there's something weird going on there there's there's a uh something that this that, that is being covered for in my opinion that would relate to what's going on because again if something doesn't relate who gives a shit why does it even matter? You see people all the time, they'll hate somebody and they'll get so fucking desperate that they'll go out there and just start going after fingernails. They'll, they'll start going after somebody because, uh, you know, they run out of stuff. So then they start saying dumb shit like, I, I just saw this yesterday or the day before, maybe today. They were trying to say, um, 
Katie doesn't have any family or anyone that loves her and she's not going to see anyone and be alone for Christmas. And that's just, like I said, straight false. But they don't, but because Katie's not doing anything they can report on right now, and again, I, I don't get along with Katie, but I'm, it's still, it's ridiculous to post that kind of stuff. They were talking about her Christmas tree. They were talking about all this other shit. You hate somebody, you want to put something out on them, you get in a habit of just constantly doing it, and then you become a hater. Nobody respects that. Nobody wants to watch that. You got to have a point to what you're doing. So with this kind of stuff leading up to the way she's acting now, that's scary. And then you would think that somebody who has this many things on their record would have a little bit more empathy not just oh, yeah. for the families that she is supposedly protesting, but also the people in her audience. The oh, she's not protesting. I love that she said supposedly protesting because I agree with Toast, and I think all of us agree. Let me ask you. I haven't done a poll yet, and I like to do these, these things because it's a little bit of engagement. So uh, when they protest, are they helping to get justice or doing something good let me ask you people that maybe disagree with her on things you would think that she would be like you know what i understand you because i've been there but no she wants to shame people so fuck it we're gonna do this right hashtag petty toast right um hmm. uh let's see um another traffic infraction uh smoky says do you know how hard it is to sue people in federal court there are very specific standards to get a case heard in federal court. Guarantee YouTube drama is not going to make the cut like ever. Did she threaten to sue somebody in federal court? Is that what Betty threatened? Or, or who threatened? Was it, was it Molly, Betty? Um, and she's very... Oh, yeah, I read that one. Just making sure. I'm just checking the chat. Spoonie says, Every single arrest was not my fault. My ex was a dealer, and I kept getting pulled over in this traffic, trafficking truck. Oh, God. Um, again, there's 11 items on this one too. Uh, again, she starts getting, um, in more and more trouble. This was careless driving. Um, some of these talk about how there were injuries in the other car. So in other words, she's injured some other person. Or you have got to be kidding me. So she's like being malicious here. She's causing harm. Or caused damage. Wow. Um, Right. So there's that. Um, yeah, that, that would mean she was at fault. Because, yeah, there, people get in accidents all the time. But if you're at fault and they judge you reckless and stuff, that's when it takes a lot more than just, oh, we got in an accident for someone to get charged criminally. They'll judge fault and there won't be any criminal thing because it's an accident. Because somebody's, you know, looked down and all of a sudden someone pulled out in front of them, whatever it might be, right? How is she not in prison? Well, again, you know, it depends on the charge. It depends on what she did. And the prisons are full. The prisons are full right now. And in fact, I don't even know if she did anything to warrant her being in prison. Uh, we'll find out in a second because Toast is getting to current time soon. Though, you know, it's the state of our society. You don't want me to go into it. You don't want me to. You know, I used to on my main channel, not Unirock 2, Unirock TV, my bigger channel. Um, I just don't do that kind of content anymore. You know, they didn't want us talking about anything we talked about. So I stopped talking about it. Um, let's see. That was number 32. So let's go to 31. Um, oh, but I could show you some things that would blow your mind. I had an entire playlist Viral as fuck. Insanity. No, I can't even talk about and it. This was again in 2001. Well, she had a year that year, huh? Another traffic infraction. Um, let's see. There's a men and women. Thank you for asking. Uh, actually, she has committed domestic violence against. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, this is where she didn't have a driver's license, didn't uh, fail to display our registration. Okay, so did she? How'd she get the car? I'm wondering. Borrowed it. She obviously didn't get a car theft, right? And uh, there was some other stuff on. Um. Yes, Betty threatened to sue people 
federally in her words. <laughs> oh my God. See, and that's what I called out Molly for when I first found her during the Letitia fraud raiser, because she was using a lot of verbiage that, that just didn't add up with true crime. You know, these people say they're true crime, right? And she was sitting there talking about an investigation i forget what it was on and talking about getting things back from an investigation acting like it's instantaneous right and there are things like urinalysis tests and uh dna tests that'll take months sometimes you know they can put a rush if it's for something like really 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 important but if it's for something minor or something median it'll take forever and these people like you can literally watch I, me and navy were sitting here talking about how if she watched uh, law and order she would have a better understanding of what true crime was and how it operated than what she has now you know like I don't even think they've sat down and even studied anything studying literally hours every day studying the thing that you're going to say you're good at every day all day right that's what doctors do it's what reporters do it's what software engineers and programmers do have they ever done this and when you do this is the thing that people that fake it don't get fake philosophers fake true crimers when you spend that amount of time constantly learning that shit you pick up information and and, and ways to talk ways to source ways to operate and do things and it shows when you start to actually go out and do what you do so when you see them acting unprofessional and then you go look at toasty Where's Toasty acting like that? Where is Burnt Toast lipping out like this, getting in fights like that with other YouTubers, just acting a fool like this? Where am I doing it? In all these years, I've live streamed, I've uploaded and live streamed almost every single day since 2016. And there's not a single effing clip of me doing any of this shit. Even slightly. The worst you'll see is me sitting here screaming, What? What? That's like the worst you get from me for all these years, you know? So why do you not have that unprofessionality for myself? How about Markiplier? How about, I could just name so many of them, right? That's what I mean by they're not YouTubers. They're not, they, they're not evolved. They're not good at what they do. They're not experts. When Molly told me she had her channel for five years, I almost fell out of my chair. And then I looked, and that's when I found Melissa Schumann. And I found that Melissa Schumann has been going back and forth and with Molly and over the Carter thing for a very long time. This whole Nick Carter thing and Nick and Melissa Schumann are very connected. I, have, I haven't studied it. I'm not like Molly. I've spent hours looking at it, and I'm still not going to sit here and tell you anything about it yet because it's going to take me tens upon tens upon tens if not hundreds of hours of looking at it before I come to you and even start to deliver information right and I don't think they've done a, I don't even think they've done 10 hours in studying in scripting and preparing for a single thing they've done I don't think I could sit down and talk to Betty or Molly or Justin and ask them questions and interview them to, to, to get the information of a previous case and have them give me anything. Everything, everything they do, I think, is instantaneous and performative. Yeah. yeah. So, what I say this because they are trying to have a living off this. They're trying to become rich or have a career, for fuck's sake. Is that what Toasty's doing? Is that what I'm doing? You know, hell no. We're up here just doing our thing. What a year was that one? Apparently she married her last husband somewhere around 2016. I was trying to line up who was the one she's accused of. She's married? How? Why does somebody, I'll never understand it. I will never understand it. How does somebody allow themselves to be a used like that for so long and i know people do it i just feel bad for them domestic violence uh dumpster clips thank you for asking uh actually she has committed domestic violence against multiple people she dumpster clips oh man i love you guys have the best 
YouTube names out of any community I've ever been in by far. By far. And I mean all of you. It's excellent. Fight about that too, it turns out. Men and women. Yes. So basically. Men and women. Just, it's not that she had a single person who she got into issues with and was volatile with. Because I think, you know, that happens to people all the time. They don't get in fights. They might have a dude they don't like or a girl they don't like or something. They argue with every time they see him and they don't like. They hate each other. How in the world do you have this many people that you have beat the living shit out of? Basically, everybody she's lived with, she's put her hands on. Oh my God. That's abuse. This is abuse. There's no other way to describe it but pure abuse. Yeah, and we're definitely going to be getting into that. Okay. So how is she an expert in any of this? She can't control herself. She can't better herself. If you can't better yourself to the point where you learn to stop abusing the people around you, do not tell me you're calm enough to be able to become not even an expert, not even a midline, not even a you know basic understanding of anything. If your interactions with the people around you daily lead you to these kind of situations constantly and you can't change your life to fix it, doesn't mean you shouldn't exist or, or whatever, but it definitely means you can't be an expert. You can't be the front leader. You can't be someone who is an example or a, in charge of anything. So, And this makes sense. You don't have any respect for people in your home. No shit why you're out there trying to steal a veteran's charity's name and make money off of so it. Let's go back to now 30, I think it's 30. This is uh, 2003. Uh, no. All you got to do is search her channel name, for God's sake, and you just see all the clips. I don't give a shit if she's got people making hate videos on her. I want to see whether she's acting a fool. She acting Another a fool. Another traffic infraction, and uh, on, again, high rate of speed, and there's seven different items here on the court docket. So again, it's no longer a slap on the wrist. She's having to actually go to court. And this lasted from, um, it says here, oh yeah, okay. It says here, uh, it lasted from uh, 7 07 2003 all the way to 03 2004. And then somehow she was able to get it, uh, the case images purged in 2020. So that was just recently um, purged. She's got all these issues, and she decides to go into one of those issues and get the case images purged. Why? Hey, what's up, Tallulah? By the way, I'm glancing at the chat every couple of seconds, so if I miss your comment, I'm really sorry. Um, I tried to answer every Like I'm saying, if it, why worry about it? You got all this sitting there. Why in the world do you care about just one little instance? It's who, weird. Who asked me a it's question. weird. Okay, so 29. This is in 2005. So again, when it says 2003, those cases that she's going to court is lasting for almost a year. So she'll deal with that from 2003 to 2004. And then just a couple of months later, she's getting in trouble again. And so here it is a couple. How is she not a fucking expert in the court then? Why isn't she out there like doing law for people? Months later. Why can't she be a law tuber? Traffic infraction again in uh, 2005. She needs to teach people how to push down an acceleration pedal. She'd be an expert. Uh, it's May 2005. And this one again. Um, she strangled her mom and choked her ex-husband. So she has a repeat strangulation problem? It, wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me Betty has a problem, a repeat problem? Like she's done it more than a few times strangling other people where she's looking at them putting her hands around their neck and squeezing holy shit again it's a lot of stuff on here there's 13 different items on this particular court docket again she's driving with no insurance uh no license and there's a whole bunch of other stuff and this particular one um is not showing Oh, but it does give me something. Let me look. And this is back in like the 2000s, right? 
yeah, 2005. So we're getting up to the tens. I want to get up to the tens. You know, I poke in our glass every night, and that's what she has, right? She must have been top of her class. Uh, well, she has run. She has rum and coke in her glass every night, and that's what. She, and that's when she gets mouthy. Molly may be on a receiving end some point. Tracy, I completely agree. Because here's one thing about malignant narcissism. We just saw it. We just saw Molly and Betty going back and forth at each other in the channel wrong in uh, the Expose Arena's video. Remember, and also make sure you're watching these videos in full when you get time so that you get more information you know if you do have the time to do it you know oh man this is this is scary like this person likes to harm other people they don't have any loyalties to anyone but their own pride and ego okay toasty just said malignant narcissists do not have any any care for anything but their own pride and ego it is absolutely true absolutely true malignant narcissists literally are so in controlled by their own emotions and their own you know destructive behavior is all there because they are constantly trying to be better than the people that they're around they they look at each other and they say, I'm better than them and I have to show it. And then anger starts to, to come up when they feel as if they are around someone and they're not the top. And it's this thing that once it starts to be cultivated in their life, it takes over. And as they get older, they become more and more and more pushed away from people that care about them and alone or at least separated because there are so, so much... The, the anger and the hate and the abuse is a constant. And that's why it's scary to see a person who operates off of Darvo. Because operating off of Darvo has a consequence to the narcissist. Okay? Now listen to me. Real quick. I'm a narcissist and I'm operating off of Darvo. What does that mean? It means I now look at myself as a victim... And the people that I do this stuff to is the perpetrator, right? It takes all blame off of you and it magically, literally, magically puts the blame on the people you hurt. And this is why if you allow yourself to stay in a relationship with a narcissist, a malignant narcissist, or just any kind of narcissist, you, they will always compound that abuse, it will never stop. They can't stop because it's not normal. It's not generated from logic or reason or common sense. It's generated over their love, literal love. They are in love with themselves. They look at themselves as a God being. They look at you as someone who's in their way, someone who keeps hurting them. You could be giving them $1,000 every day, hugging them, telling them you love them, and they still can make you the perpetrator and them the victim after they choke you out and smack you. And it's just in their brain. They're, it's, it's a thing in their head. They don't actually care for anyone else. So eventually no. they will turn on each other. And you guys, that is going to be some serious popcorn. Right there. <laughs> right there, some of it. Some of that popcorn. I'm telling you that right now. But yeah, the cop basically says that she was pulled over and didn't have her uh, proof of insurance and some, and some other stuff. Okay. Hmm. So that was... Um, that was... Okay, that was 29. So now we're uh, just five months later in October of 2005, and here is criminal traffic. So here where it starts getting a little worse. County DUI gonna, and then- Look, we gotta get back to another video. I, I'm gonna watch this off the air or, or later on in a different stream because I wanna watch it with you. But I wanna get to the more recent timeline and get back. So let's jump ahead a little and then we'll see, we can skip around. Uh, animal at large. Um, 
Spoonie says, wait, wait, wait. If we're talking about narcissists, are there any info or therapy or whatever that can help somebody stop being a narcissist? Just a personal question because of something. Yes. Yes. Um, they're pretty much, if you're living with one, doesn't mean that you have to uh, stop. Like if they're a family member. Or if there's someone that you love, it doesn't mean that you have to stop. It just means that that person should be getting therapy and they should be being honest. You have to be honest when you go to therapy, right? Because if you're not, it can't help. And that, that is a realm outside of anything I can talk about. Now, the entrance point into a person affected by narcissism or a narcissist in getting help is to go right now, well, after my stream, of course, and uh, when you have time, and go to Dr. Romani's channel. Dr. Romani. Um, she's a doctor. She's credentialed. She's really what she says she is. And she's a YouTuber. And she makes videos that gives advice on certain parts of narcissism. Not just living with one, but even being with one, being in love with one. She covers it to every degree. And if, if, you, if it's good for someone, if they don't know if they're the target of, nar of a narcissist or if they themselves think they might be one, to start listening to what someone like Dr. Romney has to say. And it's good to get therapy, in my opinion. Now, now this is all just my opinion. But it's good to get therapy, I think, for just about everybody who's dealing with stress and issues that, that start to make you depressed or anxious. And I know that seems extreme, but it's... It really helped me, and I always told the story where I had panic attacks, but I thought it was my heart. It was when I was getting out of the military. I would sneeze, and my hands would go numb, and my arms would tingle, and I'd have to sit down. And I'm not going to tell the whole story, but eventually, after they ran all these tests and they found out I was healthy as a horse, I started to talk to the, a therapist and a psychologist, and it literally changed my life, changed my whole world, right? But I'm just one, one person. I can't say that it's going to help everybody. But, but my advice, and I hope it might help someone, is just to, you know, you have to take care of yourself. You know, you have to put a boundary in between you and anyone out there that might even be negative to you. You got to let them know, like, look, you're not going to be negative to me. You're not going to treat me like this because I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to put this wall up. I'm going to block you when you call. And maybe I'll answer my phone in a few months. And if you're not, you know, treating me like shit, maybe I'll hang out with you again. Maybe you can come over. If you treat me like shit, you're going to hit the door. You're going to be gone. And it's going to be a few more months plus the few more months before I answer the phone again. And I'm going to tell you now, it works. It works. Because you start finding out that people who told you you were nothing, people that told you you were a loser or some shit, they really didn't think that. They really did like being around you. They really did think you had potential. They really were just saying that because they themselves had some issues, right? Truth. I had to pay a fine and I uh, had to go to court for that. So isn't that awesome how she's shitting on other people for how they... Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is probably one of them based on Toasty's reaction. So let's go back and hear it. Okay, let me... Look, I don't like sounding cringy, damn it, but every once in a while, I'll get cringy. Every person out there is, is valuable. They look at the world, they think there's all these people out there, I'm just one person in this giant universe. No, you're not. You're not just one person in this giant universe. You are you. You are in a, in a life. You mean shit to other people. You're smart. You're capable. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Right? Just because there's a lot of people, just because the universe is big, it doesn't mean that you're not you and that you don't deserve the best. Because everybody does. They deserve the best of what they're willing to go out and work for and earn. That's the problem with these people. They think they can pop their ass up and they just get it. They don't think they got to work for shit. They don't got to earn nothing. It comes right now. It comes to me. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to abuse the system. I'm going to abuse you. That's why they look for ways to knock down people's videos. They look for ways to silence critics. They look for ways to threaten people. They look for ways to dox people and try to get them to, you know, stop talking. 
It's all about the negativity. It's easy to see. There's, there's only two options. There's options that lead to positivity, which positivity is just how you handle other people in a good way. And then there's options that lead to negativity, where you handle them in a negative, nasty, mean way. You can't tell me that Betty or Molly or any of them handle anything in any way but negative and nasty and abusive and malicious, right? I can go look at every other YouTuber out there. I'm sorry, Toasty. You're right here. I got to use you. Where is she negative? Where is she mean? Where is she nasty? Never. Got a great supportive community. And when you start to build a community, if you're doing it one way or the other, you're going to tell when you're around that community. Are they going to kick you out for being nasty to others? Or are they going to let you stay there and be that way? And then is it going to grow and grow and grow? What way is it going to grow once they make that decision, right? So it's why certain people just come into live chats, say a couple things, and they're just out the door. It's why other people come in and they sit and they stay for a while, you know? But you look over there. Who gets banned over there? Who gets banned? You can say the nastiest fucking thing ever as long as it's towards their opponent. As long as it's towards the person who they're protesting. You can say the most vicious thing in their chat. And you know what? The people in their chat wonder why they lose their damn accounts. <laughs> Someone obviously went in and reported one of your fucking chats where you're saying all this nasty shit and you lost your account. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Once you go over there, you, if, you, if you criticize them, you get banned. You say something good about them, you stay. That's the, the qualifier. And I've seen it with my own eyes while they're live. That is how they work. Let me see. Let me just read this real quick. Yeah, it was an animal services citation. Animal, uh, animal at large. What? I should have paid a fine and uh, had to go to court for that. So isn't that awesome? How she's shitting on other people for how they treat their animals. Wow. You're a whole ass hypocrite, girl. Treat that. She was okay, let me see. Let me just read I want to hear quick. it. What did they do to the yeah, animal? Yeah, it was an animal services citation. Uh, animal at large. Animals. It says animal at large. I think what that means animal at large they had an animal that was capable of harming others that got out and it was at large as in it had to be pursued due to it being dangerous by a team of people and they cited them because it costs money to get these people to go out and get this angry dog and get it back home you know what i'm saying if it would have hurt anybody it probably would have been put down it, it obviously maybe it was like going at people or something and or they wouldn't have written it this way i don't think i think it's at large because it escaped and they had to go grab it you know what i'm saying <laughs> damn it taddy says so you beat me to it see i should have been mm, my jokes are not on point tonight taddy says she's the animal at large yes betty was the animal at large oh my god why didn't i think of that damn it that that was um... should have been my joke so Messing evidently she was neglecting her animal and her animal kept getting out. Mm hmm Yeah. And it was at large. Okay. It was it was at large, meaning they have to go get it. It's not like this nice little pup that people can go look for. It's an it's an animal that if if a random person walks up to it, it's gonna probably bite their neck off and start choking them. And and then when they go to put the dog down, Betty's gonna be like, I trained that dog myself. Let me see. I mean What was the dog's name, Betty? It was choky. Why? Why do you want to know? Ah! Betty, stop choking me. Just read this real quick. Yeah, it was an animal services citation. Uh, good boy, girl. Damn, who names their dog choky? Damn. Hero. I Damn, just Betty. <laughs> got sick and tired of her shitting on people because they have a past. Like, that's not cool. Exactly. The past needs to be relative to what you're talking about or... You're literally, it's bad commentary. It's, it's, it's a bad, it's a weak point, right? You know, Betty and Molly are not exempt from needing to be on point with their commentary and what they say. They have to, if they want to sit here and act like YouTubers, they suck. That's not cool. Welcome, Deline. 
I really do like that. Her dog's named Chokey. <laughs> His name's Chokes a lot. Why? We need to make a meme. <laughs> there needs to be a meme of Betty naming her dog. And she's like looking at her rap sheet and she's like, let's name him Chokey. Okay, so that was, that was what? And the dog has to be a puppy at the time. Okay. Um, 2006. It's a really cute puppy. What are we going to name him? Chokey. Wow. Okay. One, uh, October. How about we'll name him Strangulation? Oh, that's bad, Betty. Okay, fine. Chokey. Or 2006. This one's a felony. Oh. Let's see what this one's about. It has 27. How are we here? How are we, How did this story of a fraud raiser with Letitia and Molly and Justin and Goose and LB moved us through these couple stories we've hit to a 42-page rap sheet. Seven. Oh. Because, yes, you can click on each one of those, and there's a lot of pages. Oh. Oh, this is fun. Welcome, Louisa girl. Uh, Louisiana girl. Sorry about that. How is she still driving? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> she just does it. <laughs> That's an excellent question. She gets in a car, turns it on, and goes. There's no thought process outside of that. I have no idea whatsoever. Okay. No process so outside of that. This is the this is her first felony. Do you have insurance? What's insurance? Which was in um let's see. It was October twenty fifth, two thousand six. And yes, I said her first one, not her only one. Oof. Okay, so let's read. I'm gonna read to you. Um, what the, what the Blank. police narrative, what the police report says, this is not gossip. This is not uh, my opinion. This is not some random. This is not something that can be lied about. Person. Right. I am actually reading the original document right now on oh, another window. Baby. And the reason oh, why baby. I'm not showing it is because I don't dox people. And I, even though this information is like 20. It's public. It, it could be shown uh, to, to a slight degree. You'd probably need to censor certain last names, stuff like that. or you know. But the point is, yeah, you don't dox people. Even though after you did this video, Betty went on a doxing spree against you. Irony. The bitter hip -hop, hypocritic... Hip hip years old. She absolutely would use this to try to take my channel down. Bitter hypocrisy. Down. So... Yeah, I'm doing it this way. However, I will be putting... She named her dog Chokey. That's my favorite joke of the night. I know it's not the best joke I did tonight, but I like that the best. It's cute. It's a cute joke. Her dog named Chokey. The link to this in the description because it is public <laughs> knowledge. It is public domain Why can I not get over that joke? Site. It's not, it's not it that is, funny. It even says public hub on the top. So I'm not paying it. for this. I keep giggling at the dog named Chokey. I am stupid. This is not secret information. <laughs> this is this is public information. Um, and uh, I think that if somebody's gonna be I need a I need a new mascot. Busy. <laughs> you need to put on a dog suit and I'm gonna put a little collar on you. It's gonna say Chokey. Violent, uh, people should know. Okay. Awesome. Okay, okay. so this is what the police <laughs> says. Defendant was involved in a verbal argument with her friend. The defendant was visiting him at the American car wash. Let me hey, you're at a car wash and you get into a verbal argument. Okay. Because I'm imagining just like if, if it's anything like, you know, the areas I've lived, the car washes are typically in a public area because then you get more people driving by to wash their cars. So obviously there will be people around watching. Let me just stop right there. By the way, all of these things. She's the one who is the aggressor. Oh, my God. Me, I am literally starting to be scared. Well, of the young version of her. Obviously, there's no reason to be scared of her now. But. Let me repeat that. Her lie that she keeps telling people that she was the one that was getting beat up and her boyfriend was so violent. Or her head no, no, no. You're in public. You're at a fucking car wash, okay? Like, literally. There's no excuse for this husband one. husband was so violent. We're about to read exactly what her felony domestic violence assault actually is. 
Thank you, Manifest, our destiny. Yes, you are the woman of the year. Oh, <laughs> Thank shit. you so much. I appreciate that. So, yeah. Um, you tell Damn, I wish I would have knew about this live stream. I wish I would have been there. I feel bad. I should have been there. I should have super Tell me which person in this is the aggressor. The defendant being Betty Bullhorn Booby. Okay. The defendant was visiting him at the American Car Wash. The defendant was then given a verbal trespass warning. At that time, the defendant. So Betty was told, you're trespassing GTFO. And she said, what, no? I thought Betty goes to get justice. Why is Betty not? Where's her bullhorn? Why is her bullhorn not out? Why is she not standing there yelling at herself? You trespass warrant. You're not allowed to be here. And walked out to the sidewalk. As the defendant was screaming, she then walked back on. So she has a... Literally, she has a, she has charges that include her screaming at people and inconveniencing them. So the thing that she does while protesting, she has gotten into massive amounts of trouble for in the past. It's led to massive amounts of trouble. Don't think any of these protests could not have wound up this way. If you think for a second that if one of those people in those homes who all wanted them to stop, called the police, literally demanded them to be removed, okay? The police asked them to leave over and over and over. They are putting out rules and laws everywhere they go to stop these people. Their original protest down in Florida already did it. And you really want to tell me one of those residents wouldn't have walked out and walked up to them and started something with them. This, what we're about to hear, is a potential outcome. It is a literal potential outcome. To the American How far will she go in public while she's screaming and yelling? Let's hear it. Car wash property after she was given the verbal trespass warning. The defendant was then placed into double locked handcuffs. Upon incident, the arrest there was a small bag of powder cocaine. Betty. Which was located in her pants pocket. Betty. Betty likes to scream in public. Okay. Okay. Also, in when she's got this in her pocket, got incident, it. Incident uh, to arrest. A small bag containing flat, uh, four pills of ecstasy were located in her purse inside her vehicle. Damn, she's raving. She's going, she's, she's dancing at the rave, dude. She's raving. Also, a small scale. A rave is a dance party where electronic music and flashing lights are played while people eat ecstasy. I've never been to one, but I have a friend who's been to many. He's told me about a few of them. Oh. KJ must have planted them in her pocket. Oh my God, you're right, Lauren. LB. LB. And Betty. Betty, LB. LB, Betty. LB is in their group. LB is their friend. LB defends them. LB hangs out with them. What a weird coincidence for Betty and LB and LB and Betty. <laughs> okay, I'm done. With powder cocaine residue was located in her purse as well. Residue was located all over her face like powdered donuts, and she was scr What is that? that? What the hell is it? Rachel, what is it that Dave, when Dave Chappelle plays that crackhead guy, what's he always yelling? You were just watching it. Gotta get some crack. That ain't my crack. I, I forget, man. See, now I'm losing it. I gotta go rewatch Dave Chappelle. You guys, tell me what Dave Chappelle says when he's playing the crackhead and he's got the white powder all over his face. Wow. The defendant made a spontaneous utterance stating that she knew about the pills. She also stated that she had a powder cocaine problem. Defendant was then transported to Manatee County Jail. Thank you, Courtney. Welcome to the dumpster fire. Hmm. Oh, it is a dumpster so, fire. So, uh, when they find a... Okay, so I am going to play you a uh, a reenactment of Bullhorn Betty's Friday nights back then. 
Oh my god, I might get copy struck. Hold on. Oh my god, this is so good. He's Tyrone. This week, Tyrone gets invited. Hold on. It's, it's when he bursts in the door is the best part. To an intervention. Oh, you locked the door. Good idea. <laughs> Where's the part where he bursts in and says, I'm going to get some crack or something. Yeah, that's a reenactment of Betty's Friday night. Scale Let me find a good one. <laughs> with actual residue on it. A scale? So she was selling? You ain't got no scale unless you selling. Oh my god, Betty. Isn't... Doesn't Molly always act funny when she's at those protests at the hotel? Isn't that when she gets all crazy in the hotel? Right? Oh my god, I think I found it. Oh my god, it's, here it is. Here it is. I won't be surprised if this is one of Betty's uh, police, re police videos. Okay? There's like a, a five-year-old kid on, in the playground. Betty knocks him down and takes his lunch money. <laughs> Y'all tell, tell anybody I'll choke ya! Where's Molly? Molly! Peanut butter and crack sandwich. That's what I was look. That is what I was looking for. That is it. <laughs> now we know what Betty was screaming in the car wash. She's walking up to the car wash. Peanut butter and crack sandwich. On your person. You know what that means? Fo okay, so when they protest, are they helping to get justice or doing something good out of 70 votes? 95% said no. And 4%, which is like one or two people, are trolling. It means that she was selling it. Yes. They couldn't actually yes, it does. The charger was selling it because all they found was like, I guess, one little bag. Yes, it does mean that she was. Actually, yes. Which, again, it depends on how long ago this was. If I'm going to try to hold it against her. Unless... She still exhibits these insane behaviors, and then I have to consider it as a reason for the insane behavior or an explanation, or is it part of the... Ex now, when I say that, I, I'm, I'm not just saying it means that she's still doing it. I don't know if she's still doing it or not, but you can affect... Depending on the amount you do, you, you can have permanent effects to your mind. In fact, even small amounts of it has a permanent effect to your mind and body, right? But as you get sober only when you start to get sober do you start to heal right your mind heals your body heals and the it, what can happen for those of you that don't know prolonged effects so using it for an extremely long period of time can have irreparable damage or using it in a very large amount has irreparable damage right and it all depends on that, those kind of circumstances and situations also the potency of it if are you getting some from Florida when it comes straight across the border or are you uh, up in uh, you know the middle of the country and it's gone through 26 people and been cut down every time right you, you know what I'm saying so all of these things it, it could it be an explanation that she's still doing it it's it, it is very possible with her behavior and the angry outbursts and her uncontrollability could it be a possibility that she's been permanently affected when she did do it I don't think that that's as likely I do believe there's a permanent effect from it I just don't, like, you know, someone, here's another thing. Your life changes in many ways. If you're going to get sober after doing hard drugs, you don't just change one part of your life. You don't, you don't just change where you're doing the hard drugs. You have to change how you think, how you act, where you go. You have to daily, and I mean daily, remind yourself that you're on an active, um, uh, path of avoiding any situation, any person where you could be vulnerable. And I don't even mean where it is. I mean where it can make you vulnerable to getting in a thought process even. And it's when you finally start to get ahead of those small things that you stop yourself 
from temptation, right? You'll never ever get away from it forever, but you can stop it. You can reduce it. You can, you know, and then once you change your life altogether, you know, it's why you'll start to notice somebody become more productive. They become happier. They become nicer, you know, like all these things happen and they amplify as more time goes by. You get me? She had probably had already sold it or got rid of it before the cops got there. Well, I doubt she sold a lot of it. <laughs> she got rid of it. All right. Peanut butter and crack sandwich. But you don't have a scale. God damn, I can't believe I forgot the peanut butter and crack sandwich, dude. I, I usually have these things on point. With residue on it, unless you are selling it. Facts. Facts. Toasty. Facts. No, typically you don't even have the damn thing on you. You don't carry it on you because it's literally, if they find that, let's say... You get pulled over. Let's say it's in your pocket, whatever, in a purse, and they just see that shit. They're going to search you. It's going to cause them to be suspicious. It's literally a reason to become suspicious that you have drugs. It's a suspicion. So most people that are dealing, that are selling, and that are using know, if I don't have to have this thing on me, it's not going to be on me. So it's an actual fact. Yes, that's what was happening. Right. Um, what I thought was really funny is that there is a section of her arrest report at the police department where it talks about like what she looks like, if she has tattoos and her behavior. And it's funny because <laughs> um, I'll just Give read this to, to you. In the part where Give it, it talks me. about behavior, they gave her a two and you go back to the code and it says that her behavior was brutal. <laughs> oh. I thought Brutal. that was really funny because the options are. Look, I'm going to be real mad if we don't give her a nickname right now. Okay. I got it. I got it. Bullhorn crack doesn't work. Bull crack Betty doesn't work. But crack horn Betty. Yeah. Um, call. Peanut butter and crack sandwich. Um, normal, polite, nervous, other, and they gave her a code for brutal. You got to be out of your mind to get a brutal under that shit. Like, why can't you just be nice to the cops? Like, look, okay, fine. Look, I'm busted. Hey, what's your name? What are you doing tonight? Oh, cool, bro. It was nice meeting you. I see you. Why can't you just be nice? I mean, you, you got yourself there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm-mm-mm. Did you tell okay. him you had a press pass? Where was your press pass? Stuff. What were you doing with the press pass? Yeah, I think that was all for that. Uh, so The cops pulled her over on suspicion of, of crack behavior, and she's like, I got a press pass, bitch. Get away from me. Yeah. That's suspicion just lovely, crack right? Behavior. <laughs> and there are 26 items in this court proceeding, and it lasted oh my um, God. from... October 2006, and it lasted all the way until what is that? July. Um, Damn, July that's some crack. 2007. Oh my God, butt crack, Betty. Oh uh, yeah, that's so much better. Oh my God. And there were because oh it was in her back pocket. <laughs> it was very close to the crack. Butt crack, Betty. Witness subpoenas. There were um, all kinds of stuff. Um, she, uh, was, there was a, a of course there's witness subpoenas. It was at a freaking car wash. Ocean to suppress physical evidence. Uh, that was I failed, like that. obviously. <laughs> um, and so the, it has multiple meanings. These were her charges. Okay. <laughs> there was four charges stemming, stemming from that one <laughs> entry. Uh, one was possess possession of a controlled substance, cocaine in the third degree, a uh, possession of controlled substance, uh, MDMA third degree. Oh, that's some shit. Degree, uh, possession of drug paraphernalia, first degree trespass on property other than structure or a CON. And I bet there was a disruption or disruptive uh, behavior, disruption of the peace, something like this. First degree. So, uh, by the way, Betty, since you want to say that no one ever gets arrested for trespassing, why is it that you got arrested? She said that. She said that. Is she the biggest hypocrite on the planet? Arrested for trespassing, then. In the first degree. Where the hell Navy been? Hmm. 
that's weird, right? It's almost like you're a whole ass, like projector of your own behavior. Um, I wish I had the courage to stand up for people the way that you do. So yes, ma'am, you are a hero. And so classy while roasting. Thank you. It's, it's okay. Okay. Well, what are these memes? <laughs> what are these memes, people? <laughs> Give me the memes in general, please. I will put them on the screen. I will put them on the screen. I will drop them on the screen. Give me the memes. This is hilarious. It's, guys, this is not like I'm not a hero. Okay. This is a public site. Anybody could go look at this. Okay. So. And see, this is why I love Toasty, you know. Toasty and all these other YouTubers that are out there trying to just basically criticize people for this stuff. You know, we do have a lot of fun. <laughs> it's the main re You know, that's the problem with calling us a hero. I'm more of a comedian. I'm more of a talk show guy, talk show YouTuber. I'm not a talk show host. I'm a talk show YouTuber. I'm a podcaster. So, you know, the prime reason we get views, the prime reason people are here is because this is hilarious. A person who, and, and they thought, this person thought, not only am I going to go pretend to be a reporter and all this true crime bullshit, they're not true crime at all, they also went and drove their asses to these places, acted a fool, protested, and just exposed themselves as these locales. They just act so crazy, and this is them. Like, you can't make this shit up. Say, well... It's not like Betty goes around choking people and has peanut butter and crack sandwiches for breakfast, but it's true. So, um, I Who goes around choking people and eats peanut butter and crack sandwiches for breakfast other than Betty? I believe she makes uh, DW look like a Sunday school teacher. Yeah. And here's the thing. God, I wish I could have a peanut butter and crack emoji. Uh, Dawn and Candace absolutely have a record. They absolutely... Oh, I'm sorry, Busy. I'm, I know. Okay. I'm, uh, who else goes around eating peanut butter and crack sandwiches for breakfast other than Busy and Betty? Absolutely neglected there. their children. You happy? And they absolutely uh, should be more forthcoming if they know something about Summer Wells. However, there is no proof to arrest them. It, that's the point. That is the point. In every one of these cases, it's just like the bullies on YouTube. They just don't make money bullying bullies on YouTube like the caters do or like, you know, many of these other communities out there do. They have to bully people that are experiencing trauma and, and experiencing these. They find somebody who is, and it's just likely, it's, it's literally going to be that way. If you're in a situation where, you know, you've got these kind of things, these extreme crimes happening, there will be lesser crimes around them. So they know that is a fact. So they target. Now, the families are still people. They're still losing a loved one. They still experienced something that the majority of everybody will not experience in a murder, in a in a uh, infant with this last case with Quentin. And, and all these things I could bring up and I don't even want to name. They're very rare. They're very destructive. These There are people that are not even just... You know, the families come together regardless, too. So you're really, when you go and you do this, right at that time, you are, you're doing this to this entire family. And there's going to be a lot of innocent people that you do this to that aren't the bad people. There are so many affected. And That's a major TBI issue. And if has not arrested them, it means that they haven't found anything to arrest them for. Exactly. It's the same with the grandmother, right? She goes and gets arrested. Everybody goes out and celebrates. Betty celebrates. Molly celebrates. And then we find out that she was arrested for something that had nothing to do with any of that garbage. Right? So, you know, and hopefully they're building something. Nobody wants Billy Joe to walk free if she did something bad. We just want her to walk free if she didn't. And we're not going to go protest because the minute that the cops have it, there won't be time to protest. We are, like, they want us to believe that the cops already have the evidence to go do this, and they're just sitting there, letting her just sit there. 
right? And it's just not true. That's not if you if they go and arrest these people when they're demanding for it to happen, they're not going to face justice. It's it's another layer of why they don't get justice and why they must be criticized. You want the police to arrest the daughter when when she did it, but you want them to arrest her a week, three weeks, a month before they have the evidence to do it. The defense is going to throw that shit out so fast and she's going to sue. It won't even matter if she did it. That's what they don't get. That's why they don't know true crime. You can't arrest somebody before you've got the evidence. How, in, how do they not understand this? Well, I believe they do understand it. They've just found a loophole. They can convince using outrage. And if these, if these weren't murders and if these weren't missing babies, they wouldn't be able to do it. It's why they're exploiting it. That's part of the exploitation. And arresting them on some minor thing is actually going to be a hindrance to the case in the future. Exactly. Ex not even a minor thing. Yeah, you can arrest them on a minor thing. But when you get that major thing, you may not be able to arrest them. And that minor thing being there could be the thing you can pull them in on and then be able to, I don't know. Okay, I'll give you a perfect fucking example. DNA. Maybe they need to. Get, maybe they can't get the DNA on her. They can't get any way to go in and get it. And she's being really protective and isolated. And they've got this, you know, little warrant that they could serve to get it right. So they're gonna get it right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it might help them do the rest. Though you going in and trying to just force everything doesn't help. You're acting like they they let people stay free or some shit. It's just insane. Prosecutors, DAs. TBI, they're not going to go after someone unless they know they can win. I, I don't even think Betty or Molly or Justin know what a prosecutor or a DA does or how it works. If they, Because if they did, they would be against some of the stuff they do. But who am I, right? Andra is the one who claims that she used to be a paralegal. Who's Andra? Is that... I thought her name was Betty. I call bullshit on that. Thank you, Reese. Is she talking about Betty? Is Betty named Andrew or something? Slayer, I appreciate that. Yeah, it, it's a big WTF. All of this. And I was looking through it and I was like, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I want to listen to everything Toasty has to say. Let's start jumping. It's getting late. I, I, I wish I could stream for eight hours. I usually will stream for six. Unfortunately, I am actually working on videos now, <laughs> and um, it's it's the holidays, so I got to uh, we got to skip some stuff. Damn it! People involved here. Um, so uh, let me see. She was banging on the back door in attempt. All right, here we go. Here we so go. This is baby. not her husband. This is be convinced to. Betty is and why is she call herself Bullhorn Betty then? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Calls herself Bullhorn Betty so that it may maybe in her head people won't be able to find out about her past or something like that. Contact. Okay, so contact. Man, this guy is bad writing. Thank you, Rain Song. I appreciate that. Good for you. I saw the tool. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so here she is basically sneaking into somebody's backyard. Um, it's some guy. It's her boyfriend at the time, I guess. What? So she's a crack ninja too? He broke up with her. I don't know. All I know is that she wasn't supposed to be there. And. Yup. She's a crack ninja. And he called the cops on her. So Ninjas are not supposed to eat peanut butter and crack sandwiches. Those are not a good combination. So this is not her husband. This is not the person that she uh, went to court for that we just talked about. This is a yes. Magilla, that's the best channel name for her I have ever heard. And another person. So that now so we have what, four people involved that is here. So good. Um. So uh, let me see. She was banging on the back door in an attempt to con contact her boyfriend. Excuse me. Wow. So she is not just abusive and forceful and all these things. Dangerous. I would go as far as to call her dangerous at this point. Because this is repeated and insane. Uh, Griffin was given a trespass warning. I confirmed this trespass warning with uh, another unit. 
uh, post Miranda. She said that she was in the yard and entered the covered porch to knock on the door. She also said that she knew that she I want to make more crack ninja jokes, but I'm just too disgusted. She was trespassed from the property and should not be there. Uh, the so wait a minute. She's already, already been trespassed from this property. And she still went back. She still went on it. She sounds like one of these uh, completely obsessed, stalkery, incel-like guys that found a girl that would finally date them and then after like two weeks the girl breaks up because he smells funny or something and doesn't shower or whatever and then he goes after her and they trespass him and then he goes back boyfriend you know? the estranged boyfriend also said that he saw her on the porch banging on the door and called 911 wow <laughs> so she already knows she's not supposed to go They've already broken up. The dude's probably dating another girl. And she r r runs there because <laughs> she went to the back porch. Why are you going to the back freaking porch? That's just nuts. You didn't even go to the front porch. It's, it's, you know what I think? She probably thought she could get in the back door. She probably thought, oh, he usually leaves the back door open. But ever since she went crazy, he's been locking it. So she had to bang. Girl. Why wouldn't she be at the front door? Girl, you're crazy. She, toasty, I know. The dude, she fucking scary. He didn't want to be with you anymore, and you sneak onto her property. You go into his covered porch. What would you say about a dude? What would you say about a male that was with Molly and Justin, and instead of it being a female, uh, Betty, it's a male. All of this is the same. You have to look at it that way. You got to look at it equally. Because it's just as bad whether it's a female doing this crazy shit or if it's a male doing it. Because I'm just saying that because I know it's not as, like our brains are programmed to where it's like, well, you know, it's not as bad if it's female. But we only think that because females typically have this happen to them more than males do. Right? Males are typically the ones that go and act like this than the females. So... Also, males, you know, th there's just all this, all the stigma that's in, out there ends up making us maybe be like, oh, it's just this girl going crazy. No, this is someone who is violent, abusive, and repeatedly trespassing, repeatedly forcing herself into a physical area with someone else so that she can keep abusing them. It's, it's just insane. One of those screened in porches to knock on his door what is the matter with you? And that dude was so scared, he just called 911. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he probably. Everybody must know about her or something. Like people see her coming, they just call 911. Literally, it says that people see Betty in her hometown coming and they call 911 for God's sakes. So we need to make sure when she's protesting, people doing the same damn thing, y'all. Could you imagine if it was a male protester and the cops check their background? They're immediately arresting a male that's protesting like Betty and Molly that have this background. Immediately. Probably didn't want to uh, get strangled or lose a tooth. My gosh. Lose a tooth. <laughs> Girl, you were... I, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't. I'm laughing because I just have to. I have to try to be comfortable to some extent. But that's not even a joke. It's not even funny. Crazy. And oh my you God. have the okay. I will, Crystal, but I'm scared. Balls to shit on other people who also have a record, and then you were in a live today with Molly uh, talking about how um, if you smoke a, a weed that you're a junkie. Girl, stop it! Just stop it! Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I googled her. A Andra, aka Bullhorn Betty, has been a menace to society. For how long? I'm going with since she was born and a YouTube link. Oh, wait. This links to some kind. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit.
All right. Ten ten of twenty twenty two. This is just two months ago. It was just I you were right, Crystal. You were right. <laughs> I, oh. Irony is dead when it comes to Betty and Molly. You're right. What the fork, you are right. Oh my god. I want to make this entertaining for you guys. And I want to make it a funny thing like remember when i was covering the marvon situation and i would get mad because i'd say i i hate covering this um because um i would get mad and i would say i hate covering this story because i can't laugh and joke and and be funny and tell jokes because of how serious it is with marvon and it just happened and that was the way i was trying to respect that story at the time because it was fresh right um this is different it's not that i don't want I, I can be comedic and i can laugh and joke at this just like i have all night but what i just saw with my eyes is is um something that i'm not going to try to be funny while i look at for you because I, I have what, what um, Toasty is looking at. And it hits completely different. It hits completely effing different when you see it with your own eyes. So give me one second, please, to, to just process and share my... Oh God, I haven't shared my pay link in, in at least two hours. Let me share that. The school board meeting? What what's what happened at the school board meeting? Crystal, tell me what happened at the school board meeting, okay? Just give me like a, a, a like a sentence on it or something and I'll try to look it up here. So so basically let me see what we got. Oh, basically, eight thousand fucking dollars. Jesus Christ! Oh well, I don't care about that, so I'm not gonna. Hey, hey thanks, Aussie Trisha. Um. Oh yeah, what happened in Virginia, Sammy? I forgot about that one. Okay. So there is a, dom what does it mean when it says domestic relations, I wonder? Oh, okay. I'm not going to talk about that. Um, I'm only going to look for the worst thing because, again, I, I only look at things that I think are really related here. Jesus. I, I'm not good at this. You know, Coasty's going to have to be the one to break this down for us because I just suck. Okay, involved with a heated altercation, became angry, and began breaking items in the resident. residence. The defendant then obtained a kitchen knife and cut the tires on the truck. The victim alleged that she'd pushed him down several times, causing injury to his right outside forearm, so she pushed him and pushed him and pushed him. Then the victim stated that uh, she then punched him in the mouth with her fist, caused it to bleed, and his front teeth became loose. 
Bennett then put her hands around his neck and choked him. He did not lose consciousness, though. The victim stated the defendant then stated she would kill herself with the knife. However, she did not harm herself. The, then the victim declined to complete an affidavit. He, said, he stated he can't write that well. I almost have to read that again. So they lived, they were living together and they were in a heated altercation. She became angry, began breaking items, obtained a kitchen knife, went outside and cut the tires on his truck. Every tire popped them with the knife. Then she pushed him down. She pushed him several times till he fell down, which caused injury to his right arm. Then punched him in the mouth with while he's down with her fist bled from the mouth and his teeth became loose so he probably lost them then after okay you have to fucking oh my god I oh shit okay I read it a couple times I just read with my own eyes she starts yelling and screaming in their home. Breaks a bunch of shit while yelling and screaming. Grabs a knife. Slashes every tire. Runs back inside. Pushes him down so hard that he injured his arm. Like he, he injured it. He fell down. He was trying to... He injured it. While he's down, punched him in the mouth so hard that his teeth came loose and he bled everywhere. And then she started to choke him. But before he lost consciousness, she came to and stopped. And then said, and that, so she came to and goes, I'm going to kill myself. Then he called the cops and they came. Did she go into the school board meeting and start yelling or something? It's it, Betty. Betty. Betty did that. That is abuse. That is abuse. I'm sorry. Like, I don't like any of this. I don't like the fraud raiser. I don't like the doxings. I don't like the way they, they talk about other people. You know what? I'm going to get real for a minute. I'm not going to be Uni Rock for just a minute. I'm going to be Jason. Hi. I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. I'm not Uni Rock for the next couple minutes. I don't like this. I don't like it. But this is just, this man could have died just as easily as the people she protests. This man could have died. She had a knife. Okay. Punched him after pushing, she pushes him down, pushes him a whole bunch until he falls down and then punches him in the teeth right here as hard as she could. You got to hit somebody very hard for it to immediately bleed like that and for your teeth to become loose. This is going to be a weeks-long injury. It's going to be hard to eat. It's going to be hard to talk. You're going to be in bed so that you can heal, barely able to drink and eat. It's going to make you weak because you can't eat or drink because if you do eat, you're going to loosen your teeth and they might fall out. You got to really hope they're going to set in. In the future, you might lose those teeth. They could get infection. This is like something that will fuck you up. Because it wasn't just like she punched him out of anger. She was trying to hurt the guy. She was trying to hurt him as hard as she could in an angry, out of control thing. Chokes him. And right before he loses consciousness, she stops, grabs the knife, and says she's going to kill herself. And you want to know the crazy thing? Not that long ago. I think it was nine years. Sad thing is the man couldn't press charges because he couldn't write. I don't understand why the police didn't help the poor guy. Well, it says she got a felony out of it. It's like a freaking volcano. We just don't know when she's going to erupt. She legit has a dark side. Yeah, you don't... You, you aren't... What, what I don't know if she understands is that people shouldn't be capable of doing this 
it's not even like it was it was it's not even like it was a fight this is someone not fighting back okay this is not a fight this is not her being abused or being yelled at or anything this is her smashing items grabbing a knife slashing tires she walks outside slashes tires comes back in pushes and pushes and pushes him he finally falls down and hurts himself and then she punches him as hard as she can and starts choking the motherfucker then she grabs the knife and, try and says she's going to kill herself i'm literally imagining the mindset of 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 her the things i've seen her in and do lately and then imagining this and I'm telling you, someone who is capable of that should not be there where she is now. She should be in, and, and I'm saying this as a person who has gone to therapy myself, has dealt with anger issues myself, dealt with being an asshole myself, never done anything like that, but I'm just saying, I've, I've had problems, and I went to therapy for a long time after I got out of the military, and I got better. And I waited a long time. I could have got on YouTube when YouTube launched. Because I've been doing shit on the internet before the internet. Back when it was like a dial-in service. Back in the late 80s when I was like really young with my uncle. But still, he sat there and showed me all of it. Taught me how to do everything I can do on a computer. How to code. How to do everything. Started with basic. Moved up to C++. Eventually started writing in Fox Pro and uh, Visual Basic 6 and shit for a job. My point is just that you don't do that shit then. You, you, what you do is you do what I did. I wasn't even bad. <laughs> I wasn't even like that. But I realized I didn't want to live in a, in a head where I'm a dickhead and I'm mean and I'm... I'm you know, better than other people and all this garbage that I acted like. I didn't feel that way inside, but I acted that way. And I did go to therapy and I got a lot better. And I, you know, turned, you know, I got myself back to normal. I got myself back to myself. I dealt with all the demons. I dealt with all the bullshit. And that's my point. I'm bringing up what I did for a reason. I'm not just saying it. See, this is what content is. I'm not just going to sit here and babble to you, even though it seems that way for a minute, minute or two or three. If I wouldn't have done that, I still might be a cocky asshole, right? And I'd be on stream being cocky and being a dick and all this stuff, right? Like in a negative, mean way. Not in some goofy, silly dad joke way like I am now. So with her being that bad back then, it is only... True. It's just true that if she would have been on a path to not be like that anymore, we wouldn't see what we're seeing from her now. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm giving you my experience because I can tell you, I know how you go from being capable of having angry outbursts, being capable of these things. And of course, I still get angry and have some arguments here and there. Very rarely, but still it happens. My point is, because I don't want to make myself sound like I'm all better or I'm perfect, because nobody is, but I'm, that's what I mean. But I'm saying this is a, seeing how she outbursts now, she is one step away sometimes from being completely out of control, you know? Like what we just heard is completely out of control. And again, I'm not trying to entertain you right now. I'm talking to you as Jason. So let me go back to Unirock before I do. Um, I need to be honest for a minute, please. That's evil. That is evil. We're not dealing with people who've lived their lives trying to be good people, who want justice, who want good things to happen, and so they act like this in a off-putting way or in a, confu in, a, in a wrong way. In a confused, I'm confused, I don't know what I'm doing, so I act like this instead of getting real justice or doing real things. We're dealing with a violent psychopath who has not done shit to better herself or change. And that's one thing I can give Molly good commentary. The only good commentary that ever came out of Molly Goodlightly's mouth 
earlier in this stream, she got mad at Betty in reality's video. We all saw it, remember? And she said, Betty, you need to get your life together. That's the only good commentary that's ever came out of Molly's mouth that I've heard. She knows what Betty is still that shit. We know Betty is still that shit because look at her. Just the way she talked about Billy Joe, where she was sitting there talking normal and then screamed Billy Joe and with this angry demon look on her face. That was that shit coming out of her. Get me? Jay says the part that scares me. She says she came to and stopped choking him. So she claims to black out, but goes out to harass families in a current crisis. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I got to get back to being uni rock here, but listen. I don't know. What's the best thing to say here? Like, this is why they exploit families. We just figured out why Betty... I know some of you already knew, but I didn't. My audience probably... Some of my audience or a majority of my audience probably didn't know this. This is why Betty exploits families. This is how evil she is. That evil, that shit, has to be fought out of you. If it, I don't even know what it's like to have that kind of thing in you. But she needs to get that shit out of her, if it's possible. And, and obviously, she hasn't tried. Because look at her now. And we're not even dealing with those things. We're not dealing... I don't give a shit about her personal life. I don't give a shit about all that garbage. What I care about is if she's going to come to YouTube and mingle with every other person out there, she shouldn't be going and doing shit other families. She shouldn't be protesting at all anywhere. She's not... She's not capable. She has outbursts. She goes nuts and harms people. She's dangerous. Okay, I got to go back to being uni rock now. Or I lose my entire audience by being boring. Okay, y'all, here, let me... Okay, now hold on. <laughs> I actually have another one we need to look at. So hold on. Let me go back. By date. I'm only caring about the, the most recent stuff. So that's the most recent, really bad one. That was about nine years ago. I don't think nine years is enough there. I mean, nine years is a long time, but that's, I mean, it's enough if you've been working on it. And, and seeing her how she is, she's not working on it. So no, I'm sorry, man. But okay, where's the next one? So... Dear God, what am I going to see? Fuck. Oh, my God. Okay, so here's the car wash one. Involved in a verbal argument, defendant was visiting at the, uh, at the American car wash, given a verbal trespass warning. The defendant walked out to the sidewalk. She started screaming and then walked back on the American car wash property after she was given the verbal trespass. She was placed in a double locked handcuffs, small bag of powder cocaine in her pants pocket, small bag containing four pills of ecstasy, Scale with powder cocaine residue located in the purse. Made spontaneous utterance stating that she knew about the pills. Stated that she had powder cocaine problem. Transported to the jail. So, verbal altercation with the person she resides became physical when she struck him on the left side of his face with an open hand. He then called 911 fearing it was going to escalate. Upon arrival, I observed the man calm. The girl was on the phone. I later learned, Betty was on the phone. 
I learned that Betty had been speaking with her bail bondsman. After five minutes being on the scene, she hung up. When I attempted to speak with her, she immediately stated, just take me to jail, and stated the victim never touched her, and again, to take her to jail. So she literally is admitting that he hadn't touched her at all. After being taken, she made numerous threats towards the victim, stating that I would find him cut up on the side of the road. She also stated that she would have her family kill the defendant and that she is connected and would get away with anything she wants. She was increasingly hostile and did continue to make threats towards the defendant and myself, stating she would make me pay for taking her from her home that she purchased when she was 24. She was transported without any further violence. I observed no injuries to her. The victim stated he did not wish for charges to be filed. But she did get in trouble. Okay, we got to talk about this. <laughs> I wasn't going to. I didn't think I'd find anything else. I'm literally just randomly clicking. How do I randomly click? And those are the things I see. These things. So she hits him, and he, <laughs> they're arguing. We don't know what they're saying. Dude, this is what you got to understand. While she's breaking things, and while she is hitting these people, we have no clue what she's saying and what she's doing. But we do know what she said when she got in the cop car. Do you know why I think she called the cops? I mean, he called the cops. I think she was talking to him the same way she was talking to them. I mean, why would you think differently? It says she's connected and could kill anyone she wants and get away with it. But, Betty, you're out there getting mad at murderers. You're out there protesting. Is this why? I need to talk to some very educated people. I need to talk to them about the psychology of a person. You know, when, and Navy knows a lot about this, so when Navy comes in, um, hold on. I saw Navy earlier. Is, is Navy just busy? Or what's he up to? Oh, that's right. Never mind. I know what he's doing. He told me shit. I'm sorry. Navy is busy. He's um doing his vacation. He just, he just started doing his vacation stuff. So, fuck, I'm stupid, man. Anyway. Navy knows a lot about these sovereign citizens. And they go out and protest. They say that they're auditing the police and protesting the police. Now... There are good police auditors. There are ones that want justice, that respect the police. They typically are used to be cops and stuff like that or detectives. And they've retired or something, and they just make sure that things are going good. They want the reputation to be good. They check things to make sure it's running good. We're not talking about them. The, there are bad ones that are constantly bullshitting. It's like kind of like what Molly and Betty are. The true crime, these police auditors are to auditing. And you end up finding out that a lot of them are really fucked up people like this, like Betty. Like, just to, either just as bad or worse than Betty. This is attempted fucking murder, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know how you don't get charged. Like, you get in a cop car and you say you're going to fucking kill this dude. And these cops don't fucking charge you with, like, anything. That re well, I guess they did. They wrote down all the things you said in case you actually acted on it or he went missing so that you could be arrested, I guess. I need to talk to my moderation team about this because I've never experienced this. <laughs> I've never experienced a person like Betty coming on YouTube and acting like the most honorable and most ethical person and and honestly it's, it's kind of strange like i want to give you the correct commentary in almost every situation i hate to admit this to all of you 
I have been live streaming since ver since live streaming became popular in the beginning, so I have to tell you, most everything I encounter here on my stream, I have encountered in some form before. So I know ways to make it entertaining and to joke about it and to roll around with it into the show. I'm just being, I don't know why I'm being real again. I guess tonight I'm just being real. Hi, it's Jason. How are you? <laughs> but yeah, most of the time I've, I've been through every scenario a thousand times. And I've memorized the way that I want to interact, the way that I want to try to make it entertaining, whatever, right? And I'm, I've hit the brick wall. I've hit the brick wall. I haven't hit a brick wall in years. My God, it's been a long time. I can't even remember. I can't even remember the last one. Either because I'm getting old and I've been doing this for so long. Uh, or it's just been too long for me to remember. I'm not sure, but I don't know. No. Pain pills will do that to you. Pain pills will do that to you. So, Bullhorn Betty is this like crusader against she's a crusader for justice but just recently there's a couple things i could tell you that i know now that i just read that i'm not going to tell you because i and i don't look if it, there are a few things i read that don't relate to this okay one of them might and i'll bring it up later if it does i got to talk to my mods because I, I value their opinions. By the way, my mods are you. If you hang out in my stream for a long period of time, like if you're here for a few months and uh, you want to join the Discord and jump in when we're conversating about the topics of the day, you're more than welcome to. Because I value the opinions of many different people from many different places. It's how I help, you know, form a more let's call it like rounded opinion when I'm up here talking. I'm being a little too honest right now. I'm kind of giving you all my little tricks and stuff. I need to stop. Someone's going to steal all my tricks and then do it better than me. I'm just kidding. I'm just, sorry. I'm doing this thing where I pretend that I'm, uh, when I, when I, when I cover somebody, here's another thing I do. What I'll do is I'll, um, try to take the thing that they're doing hypocritically and make fun of it. So if they're pretending to be this big press person, I'll start trying to become a big press person, right? And talk like one or something. It's just a little part of my shtick. And I don't know why I'm doing it right now because I'm trying to talk to you real, but I guess I'm just, I guess I'm starting to merge personalities. I've been doing this too long. Anyway, this is really weird because I don't hit brick walls. It's been so long. I'm on autopilot when I'm up here. I mean, not on the content. I get the content prepared and then I come in a lot of times it chains out, but I feel bad for the people Betty does this to. I, f I feel bad for them. I feel bad for the people she does it to now. Like, you got to understand, there's a reason that people are abusive in certain ways on the internet. The internet is very restrictive. Um, so what I mean is, we can't handle each other physically here, like Betty likes to do in an abusive, disgusting, horrible, destructive, kill you kind of way. Um, what kind of person does this shit, Betty? What kind of person does this shit? Get help. Go too long. Become better. You have a small and actually do something for them more than take advantage of them. Until you do, that's all you're doing. That's it. No wonder you lie to him so much and pretend to be a big reporter and tend to be this person with this business and this stuff. Oh, I'm so cool. You know? It's all just a part of the abusive relationship you have with them. Ah, sad. You know, there's so many people in the world. There's a, an, there's a small audience for every cult leader small audience for every abuser there's a small audience for every asshole out there even me i'm just the goofy one difference is i appreciate you guys and i don't manipulate you and i don't use those tactics on you 
I even try not to clickbait you sometimes. Hey, my thumbnails are good. They are good. Don't tell me they're not. I could clickbait you way more than I do. I don't even barely clickbait you. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'd probably have like way more viewers if I did, right? I'm just disgusted. I don't... How many... I wish... Is Dead GPK in here? How many times have I ever stopped my show because I was so disgusted? He's not in here right now. I don't think I... It has to be three, four years since I've done it. I feel really bad for this guy. Some psychopath. He didn't want to hurt her, so he's not fighting back. I just can't stop seeing Betty pushing this guy over and over and over after breaking all of his stuff. It being so hateful and so abusive that she finally gets him on the ground. Hurts him, but doing it. It's on top of him and punches him in the mouth so hard that he knocks, knocks his teeth loose. Blood spurts everywhere. Then she grabs him by the fucking neck. You could have killed that motherfucker just as easily as every one of these people you protest. It could have been you that easy. You could have killed him that night. Oh my god. You know what you, you know what you know what protesting yourself is? Therapy. So every time you're out there protesting these people, you could be protesting yourself and getting help. You're not. Prolonging it. Why? Because of a little bit of money? Like sitting in a chair earning your money more than you like going out and working for it? Really? Oh, that's what you do, Uni. I'm retired. I am retired. Now, how people don't get this? I'm working right now. When you retire, you still get fucking paid. Got me? I work when I sleep now. It's actually a pretty good thing, but you gotta fucking work in order to retire. You actually have to work. I didn't get lucky. I didn't get lucky. Because people will tell me that all the time. You're lucky because you got to retire at a young age. No, I'm not. Because I had my body cut into in several places in very intrusive and painful for years kind of ways in order to be retired like this. <laughs> so I paid the price. There's always a price to pay. Right? There's, it, karma's real, y'all. Karma is real. Been through it. Been through it for many, 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 many years. Molly and Betty think every dime that they take they don't have to feel, you know, like they've taken advantage of somebody else or something, but they still do. I know they do. You know how I know they do? Because I worry about it. I worry about doing this show and accepting your money. Back in the day, we didn't do that. Back in the day, YouTube ad revenue paid so good that we just did our shows and then we'd get paid on the 21st. 17 YouTube changed it and they stopped paying us. We got paid like a tenth of what we used to get paid. That's when we all had to get Patreon, you know, PayPal donos and all that stuff going. I, I went for about a year and a half, didn't have a Patreon, didn't have a PayPal, nothing. Anyway, what I'm trying to say as, this, as someone that wa doesn't want to, and I t I've talked with big YouTubers and small YouTubers about this, and we've had conversations about whether it's okay to do Patreon and PayPal. And of course, if you look at YouTube now, we all decided yes, because everybody's doing it. Conversation, though, went like this, and I do think this is relative, and... Before I go off, this is the end of the show, of course. Before I go offline, I want to bore you with this, okay? Conversation revolved around whether it was ethical or not due to the kind of, like, um, due to the kind of, like, 
what do you call it? The pool that a YouTuber has. Will there be people that over donate? Will there be things that YouTubers will start exploiting to get people to over donate? And of course, the answer is you, as long as you're not e begging, this is when e begging became applied to YouTube years ago. And it did happen before 2017, but it became a huge thing after because there were so many more people with Patreon and PayPal, okay? And that, that was the ethical consideration that we all came to, that e-begging, whatever the level of e-begging is, it's almost like the Overton window in society. There's a thing called an Overton window, and it's where the politically correct comedy or, or actions sit. So if I can do this and make this joke and you're going to laugh, then the Overton window is right there. But if I go a little bit further, you're going to cancel me or you're going to you know, never watch me again. And that's the Overton window. It's right above the cancel line. And, and society's Overton window shifts. We all know this, right? And that's how the standard of e-begging does too. And before 2017, it was extremely strict. If you had a Patreon, people would call you. <laughs> Thank you, Ozzy Trisha. If you had a Patreon, and, and people would call you an e-beggar. I'm not joking. In fact, there are still old-school-minded people, they are very few and far between, that still hold that opinion. One of them is named Rick. Go and watch his channel sometimes. He calls out certain people, and I hear him giving this really old school YouTube commentary about e begging. And I think, well, you're wrong, Rick. Because in his mind, the e begging Overton window can't change, right? Anyway, sorry. Back to the point 2017. <laughs> thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Guys, I, I don't mean to be a dick, but I am going to share my PayPal link. Because we only have a couple more days until I get paid, so I'm going to share it, just so you know. Uh, but I do appreciate you so much. Actually, we get paid in two days? Are you shitting me, Batman? Oh, my God! Wait a minute. Tomorrow's the 19th when I wake up, right? Okay, three days. So tomorrow's the day tw 19, and then 20 and 21. So when do we get it? We get it Wednesday. Ooh, we're so close. Oh, we so close. No, it's Wednesday. 21st is Wednesday. It's okay, Ozzy Trisha. I'm just sharing it. No, I appreciate it very much. I appreciate it very much. I'm just sharing it. I do that all the time when it gets near the 21st. Perfect example. Overton window of e-begging. So. Uh, it's the 19th. Wednesday is the 21st. Though it just turned the 19th, so we have to go through the, it's, you know, when we go to sleep, it's still the 19th because it's past midnight for me. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, back to what I was saying because I want to get this thought out. Man, I wish I could stay live for a little bit, but it's two, it's almost two, isn't it? Damn it. I just want to keep streaming. Maybe I'm going to go live really early tomorrow and just stream my ever-loving ass off because I need to so bad those days okay let me finish this thought because I'm boring the fuck out of everybody maybe we will play a video game for like an hour though because I got a brand new game we will we're going to play the very beginning of it for like 20 minutes okay 20 minutes won't hurt nothing, will it? It won't hurt anything if I stay 20 minutes after I finish talking. Yeah, it won't hurt anything. So, my point I'm trying to make, I'm going to lose it if I don't effing make it. Shit! The Overton window of e-begging exists in a place where you share your link, your link is available, you advertise it in the same way that you would hear like a commercial break on a on a radio talk show. So 
I set my pay link to advertise every like 20 minutes in the chat as a reminder there. And then I, when I remember, I bring it up here because that's basically my way of respecting my audience, but trying to remind people, if you like my show, you know, support it. So when I look at Molly, when I look at Justin and when I look at Betty and I'll say that I haven't seen Justin do this as much. But I, I've seen him do it. So it might be that I don't watch as much Justin. Either way, though, Betty and Molly are exploitative with the way they try to get money from their audience. And, and it's not just them telling you to donate or pressuring you to donate. Or, you know, like Molly will get up there and tell you these stories about how she's in these pinches and she's broke. That's literal e-bagging, okay? But... One thing that both Betty and Molly do is try to present themselves as people that can solve a problem that is typically unsolvable for most other people, making them the only ones that can solve it, making them the only ones that can attain whatever they're attaining so that it'll, it'll kind of incentivize the people watching them to feel like donating to them accomplishes that goal. That's what the justice for hashtag is. It's e-begging. It is a way to... Pull the viewer into thinking that somehow by giving Molly or Betty or Justin or LB or any of them money, that they will be able to do something in the world, in the real world, in, the, in this physical world that will do pressure some kind of justice to happen, right? And I can give you a direct example of this right now. When they went and protested at the grandmother's house and then with the grandmother getting picked up, Right, They didn't care what the grandmother got picked up for factually to report to their audience. They went straight to their audience and acted like it was them that did it, which takes it away from the real people who did it, the people that don't get thanked, the people that don't get extra money for doing it, the investigators. They don't even get paid enough. People that go in and put the case together, people that go in and actually do the scientific work who have went to college for six four to six to eight years so they could do the scientific work they don't get the amount of money like molly's sitting here making 11 g's a month or some shit she was bragging about this month 11 g's and you remember back when she was bragging around making money off dre and it was 18 g's g's being a thousand right jay says Wait till you dip into the other clown's phony heel called House of Williams. She's so bad they call her PayPal Mal, and she is really gross with comments about victims. I would love to go through the entire community, and in fact, I will. If you guys want to watch it, I'll do it. Okay? That's how it works. You guys want to see me... Go into these communities, these other people also, because I'm still going to be watching these Bettys and these Mollies. But if you want me to add some of these other true crimers, if they deserve it, I'll add them. As long as my audience is cool, we'll do it. I will give you rocks just because I loves you. Let me get it brought up. I don't even care if anybody donated. I'm giving you a bunch of rocks. I don't even care. If I hit the right damn button, I will. <laughs> if I don't hit the right button, nobody's getting anything. Okay, here we go. Let me give you guys some rocks. I'll do a little closing thoughts. I want to do some closing thoughts, get my head straight. And yes, when I do talk a lot in these streams, I'm trying to basically process out the commentary for video production. And I know I need to do more videos, guys, but I'm working on them. And, and, and I can't rush them, you know? I just really can't rush the videos. They just come when they come from me. They'll, a lot more will be coming very soon. I give you my word. Okay. See if I can get this damn thing to pay you guys some Rockies. Some Rocky, Rocky, Rockies. Okay. Make sure you type or emoji if you want the rocks. I know it's late. Probably some people sleeping out there watching, right? Let's go 250,000. All right. You know, 
I try to keep my eye on the chat. You guys know sometimes I miss it. And I got to give you 30 seconds so that anyone can type her emoji. So while I'm doing that, the arguments I present here live, they're longer. And they're, they're a little babbly. They're a little run on -y. And I need to cut them down into 10-minute videos to go on Unirock 2. And so I know that it seems as if um, a lot of my live commentary just makes it into the live show, but it really does stay in my head, it becomes an opinion. The more that I present for you guys, the more that I react, gives me more ideas and it pushes things around. It really does. I'm only going to count down from five. I don't want to do the 10 second countdown. <laughs> Why do people like this exist? It's not, we're not dealing with 20 year olds. I, you know what? I should be saying 15 year olds, but we're not dealing with 20 year olds. We're dealing with adults. And to see how recent that violence is with Betty and to see how violent she acts on the platform. The problem is, and I don't think a lot of people are doing this, When you see somebody acting a certain way online, if it is a thing they're holding back, something they might get judged on or something like that that they're holding back, most likely they're going to be doing it in their real life a thousand times more. So when you see her and those anger bursts come out, it's because she's holding them back here. What do those angry bursts look like when she isn't? holding them back when she's at home, when she's in that domestic area. And those examples are extremely unsettling. I don't want ever be around somebody that's capable of that. I'm not judgmental though, right? So if, if someone gets in a fight like that and they actually get their shit together, I can give them a chance, right? Now with Dolly, it's a little different because it wasn't just a hitting each other or or pushing each other someone falls down she's like oh my god i'm sorry look we need to stop fighting no she freaking jumps on you and punches you in the teeth and chokes you right so i don't judge people for getting in physical altercations it's part of life you know like I, you got to be real when you're a kid you're literally playing soccer and football and, and running around and, and, you know, going camping and doing shit every day. You get in fights all the time as a kid, right? Me and my brother would beat the shit right out of each other. We wouldn't be mad at each other. There wasn't, there wasn't a violence to it. You know what I'm saying? I guess you could say there was violence. Uh, your show's great. Not losing us. I'd be shocked too. Actually, I am. I, we love hearing the real you talk. Oh, thank you, Chaotic. That really does make me feel good. I mean, I am real when I'm giving you guys uni rock, but I'm definitely attempting to carry the show. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of times when I do just kind of talk to you, but I don't ever stop my show and talk like that because it's shocking. It's shocking that I'm interacting with the person that is this way tries to appear this way so bad and it's so two-faced that's another thing that i forgot to mention it is so two-faced right you see her struggling to keep the real i think that the real her is that angry nastiness and wouldn't that be torturous it should be torturous it should be it should affect you depress you and it should anger you at yourself to change it and you need help and i've learned that the only way to get real help when you face one of those massive problems in life and this is a real mind pardon my language a mind fucker right so i was always so headstrong and i programmed myself to think i could do anything and that was my issue when i got out of the military that made me so you know, mean all the time. And this is like 15 years ago or some shit. So, um, but once I started to go to therapy and talk it through and realize, I realized I was like that because I didn't consider myself a personality. 
No, I felt like I, I felt like I had to turn off my personality. And, and when I was giving a personality, it was kind of like a fake thing I was doing. Not not truly, but to some extent. And then what? So I'm, what I'm trying to I'm trying to understand Betty is what I'm doing, and I don't I don't need to. No, I understand her all too well. Because when you're in the military, you learn to kill. You learn to, uh, but you don't want to, <laughs> you know? Don't want to. <laughs> Ugh. You know, oh my God. It reminds me of that scene in Saving Private Ryan. You know? It's a visceral scene. It, it, those military movies are very inspiring. If you haven't seen Saving Private Ryan, I just kind of assume everybody's seen it. You have to watch it. You have to watch it. I mean this. If you that's what I did. That's what I learned to do is jump out of helicopters. You guys know that, right? Um, anyway, you have to watch Saving Private Ryan and see the way they stormed the beaches and see the way they just died. They would have to rush into hell and, and get mowed down so that one man could get through and then another man could get through and hug the fucking wall, the rock, the wall of the, of the cliff or the, where they couldn't shoot him because the, the, the gun encampments were above them, right? So, and once they got enough of the rangers up there against the cliff, they had to go up and then disable the guns. And all these men died to the point where the, the sea, the, 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 the waves when they hit the beach were red. There's a scene in Saving Private Ryan. Well, anyway, you got to watch that because if you watch it, you start to really respect more of um, the sacrifice that, that these men made. Gave up their lives at 18, 19, 17, 16 so that all of us could have, right? And there's a scene later in the show because the men that actually got through D-Day and the men that actually got into the war still had hell in front of them like, like no one can describe. But that movie does a good job of at least trying to. And there's a scene where a sniper, I believe, wasn't it a sniper or was it a rifleman? A German runs up on him and he tries to shoot him. And I don't know if he missed or if the guy hit his gun. Their guns get knocked out of their hands and they wind up rest, rolling and wrestling and choking each other. And one of the dudes gets his knife out and he starts pulling it down on the guy and the dude's you know pushing it up it's it's a next step it's a next level in anger next level in intent right is what i'm trying to say and and what and then reading what betty did reminded me it, it's not a comparison but it reminded me of that process that process of going of somebody being down or they can't do anything to you and then you pursuing them to further physically assault them like like Betty did there's that being a, a part of this story i think elevates the level of um psychosis or madness or something you have to have an intent of either extreme further harm or murmur, as we say here on YouTube, since the algorithm likes to restrict us. But you never grab someone's throat. You don't. You don't grab someone's throat unless you're trying to kill them. It's so easy to crush the trachea. You have no idea. Crush that trachea. They're dying. They're not going to breathe. I mean, you can push on yours. You could look, 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 I just did it and I barely pushed and there's a pain response immediately. Do it right now for me. Go like this and just start to barely push until you feel this nasty kind of, it's a mix of a pain and an uncomfortability and it's almost instant. Like I can, as soon as I touch the trachea, I can feel it. It's like, wah, 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 as I get off me, <laughs> right? So. All I can say is Betty is sick. Sick. Eve, a person. The reason I'm describing it this deep is because I can't believe that that's the real Betty. 
while she sits up here and puts that mask on. And if she didn't have all of the e-begging and lying and manipulation and anger, she acted like a normal person, I would think she started, she probably changed a lot since then. But she does. I don't believe she has. The Old Angry Shot is a great Aussie movie about Vietnam. I watch it, Aussie Trisha. I love military movies. They just make me like feel appreciative that I'm alive and that friends are alive and that we all I lo I like watching them. Saving Private Ryan, yeah. It's good shit. It's good shit. I know it's corny in some some parts of it. Tom Hanks. I know. I think butt crack has always been this way. Me too. And and functions, I'm glad you're using the nickname. Because that that means that uh the nick back am I back? Did I come back? Uh, it looks like I cut out for a second. Sorry. Am I back? Okay. You can hear me now? Sorry. I had a little bit of a internet hiccup again. Okay. Let me explain how uh, the after show works, okay? I don't want to um, clickbait you guys. So if I'm playing a video game or whatever, um, I will label it. Sometimes, though, in the after show, I'll boot up a video game. Now, what I'll do is I'll put a little sign on my screen for people that are clicking in that, that want to see the thumbnail and the title to rewind the stream because if they don't want to watch the video game, right? Because some There are some people that are going to be clicking in while we're playing the game, and I don't want them to think that the entire stream is the game. So, just so you know, that's how I do things. I try to label them no matter what, all right? If I'm gaming, if I upload a gaming video, I will make sure you know so that those of you that don't like that content won't have to click it. And if I upload, um, if I game during a stream, I'm going to make sure when you click the stream, you know. Um, oh, my locked up. If you hear me now, you're, ta you're taking away the biggest part of me. Well, sorry, bad. <laughs> if you hear me now, take away the biggest. Please don't go. <laughs> could be. Could be chaotic. Yeah. Could be. Okay. So let's, let me transfer in. For those of you that are going to take off because I'm starting up a video game, thank you for watching. Appreciate every single one of you to hang, whether you like me or hate me. And hope you come back to hear my opinion on something else. Here on UniRock, whether it's UniRock 2 where I upload my content or here where I stream at Rock a lot, uh, my goal is to present you wild, crazy, insane stuff, <laughs> cringy stuff, funny stuff, whatever it may be. Give you whatever side's there, usually one side, but sometimes there's two, so that I can then fact check what's there with you in the video and then give you my opinion. And hopefully if I'm live, I'll get to hear yours too. So always leave me a comment. Always tell me what you think in the chat because I really, really do care about hearing what you guys have to say. And if you've been here for a bit and you start to like hanging and you want to come in and maybe talk with me about a subject, you can join my Discord. You can tag me or Navy or any of the mods on Twitter. Um, if I don't respond, I am not ignoring you. I'm just, you know, busy and I get a bunch of messages. So hit my one, hit one of my mods up or let us know what's up when we're live because we'll help you if you can't get through to us, okay? And... If you haven't seen some of my content on UniRock 2, check out my playlist of my popular videos or my commentary videos because I do think you'll find some that are very entertaining and that you'll like. Okay. You'll find one where a YouTuber turned himself into a virtual girl, a waifu, just so that he could try to become popular on the platform until his audience realized that he was a dude that became a waifu who was a scammer. <laughs> the reason he turned into a girl wasn't because he, you know, was transgender or something online. He was just playing the part of one. The reason he did it was to change his identity because he scammed his audience and he got busted and he wanted to sue me for putting up my video. It's called YouTuber Becomes Waifu or something like that. Here, I'll find it. I'll show it to you. It's really fucking good. It really pisses me off because it was doing really good in the algorithm and then all of a sudden it cut out. 
but it still does good from here to there. And I just launched my video editor. Now I gotta wait for it to load and shut it down. So for the last... So... Best of commentary and response shit. There it is. YouTuber turns into waifu. After being exposed. It's a great video. I mean, if you haven't seen it sometime, if you're not going to stay for the video game streaming, you should check it out. It's one of my better commentary vids. Let me show you the beginning because it's funny. What do you call an AI that drives in a hover car? A sky drive. All right, that wasn't funny. So today I was recommended a video by this channel, AI Angel. And I thought it was pretty cool because it was an AI that body tracked somebody and flew around. I mean, this is good graphics and it wasn't that bad of a video, I guess, even though the jokes were lame and all that. But what really got me was after I tried to see how they did this type of motion tracking software, I found the YouTuber behind AI Angel. And then after digging into the back alley of the internet like I usually do I found that he is a guy who failed on YouTube because he trivialized seizures epilepsy and he went into VR chat and staged faking a seizure so that he could try to go viral on the YouTube algorithm he did go viral after being exposed he did what anybody would do turned into a waifu and played waifu simulator on his channel with 391,000 subscribers. When he connected the waifu simulator, <laughs> if you don't know what a waifu is, it's an anime that people think they're in love with and see as a significant other. It's just a joke. He connected his waifu simulator and started clickbaiting again, but this time, instead of failing, it looks like he tricked enough 17, oh, sorry, 12, whoa, 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 Eh, 10 year old boys and some success on the platform. This is the story of Rogue Shadow waifu simulating himself into AI Angel after being busted for faking a seizure in VR chat for views. Hit it. Okay, I can't play this song because it got copyright claimed and I don't know if it'll kick me off, but it's a great video if you haven't seen it. And all of my commentary videos are pretty damn good. Check them out on my commentary playlist on the front of uni rock 2 or my popular video playlist because the best ones typically did get the most views okay so what are we doing right now peeps well first things first i've got to turn on the text box i think it's this one nope melissa schumann something that's not it uh is it that one no that's my uni rock sign nope that's the live chat where the hell did i put it did it kick it out? Well, son of a bitch, I think it did. Actually, hold on. It might be down here. Nope. Oh, caller me dumb. Let me just make a new one. Okay. Um, we need a GDI source here. And it's going to be a new one. It's going to be after show GDI. I swear I already have one named After Show GDI. I swear I did. Did I crash last time or what? Let me do this. Add exit. Let me see if I got it. Nope. I must have crashed. Okay. After Show GDI, and it's going to say, after, Son of a bitch. After Show Rewind for Show. Then I want to give it a background. Back. My internet cut out again. That outline is stupidly small. And I think last time I just put it on top of my head. Okay, I'm back. My internet's acting stupid. I'm going to have to get off here. But first, we got to try out this new game. Okay, after show, rewind for the show. Perfect. So let me actually take this GDI and put it down in my box. My uh, cam is. And that way it'll always be there so I can flip it on and off when we're in the after show and when we're not. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So literally now I can just do this. Choink, 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 choink. All right. Well, here's what's up, peeps. We got a new video game. Hold on. I need my live chat. Can't see it. Oh, my gosh. Misha actually left me some. 
So Doc says, T-Sip and Mama says she's that uh, Molly's a vile human. Oh, I read that. Okay, so Doc put the T-Sip and Mama stuff in there. Okay, great. And she said, Rock a lot. Why do we see these true crime drama and police auditors having extreme criminal and drug charges? Doc, I'm so sorry I missed that earlier. Um, but it's an excellent question. And I think because it's a, it's a thing that has to do with the disrespect to other people. And I mean that. I know it's kind of like simple. It's kind of a simple explanation. But I do think that it has to do with the level of respect or care or empathy that they have for others. And the general, it's a general tell to their personality and who they really are. Unfortunately, on the internet, a lot of really bad people that do bad things literally during the day and night, ripping people off, scamming people, hurting other people, abusing other people. We've seen this. There was a live streamer who killed his wife, and he's in prison. It was really cold outside. I think it was like negative 15, and she was bothering him while he was streaming. He was kind of popular, and he locked her outside. You can look this up, and, and she died. Um, there's a lot of stuff like that that goes on, and then people go to work. They go, and they sit down to do the stream. They upload videos. And people don't know the difference. Look at YouTube Jeff. YouTube Jeff convinced people that he was investigating the disappearance of Kylie Rodney. He's doing it right now still. He has people convinced, if you look at his uh, comments section, that he's a good guy. That Rodney was, wasn't an accident. He convinced him of a million conspiracy theories. Feeds them the dumbest videos that make no sense. Clouded in conspiracy-like mystery. And they eat it up. Not a lot of them, but, they, but some of them that do. And they also have a small percentage of them that give him money. And if we got to just spend a day with YouTube Jeff, I could just imagine what it would be like. Probably not that nice of a time. <laughs> now, it, now, on the other hand, you've got a lot of good YouTubers like Mudahar, like Optimus, like uh, Rags. Rags is a really good dude. Erotic, you know... Critical Drinker, uh, got a lot of people that are normal people, like Critical Drinker. He's an author. He's, he's worked his whole life writing books, very successful, where he's from, even worldwide, and decided that he would start writing scripts and that were commentary on movies and putting them on YouTube. Really good dude. Really good dude. And these are like family men. These are like, you know, and women and people that just live normal lives. Um, not by giving you an argument or not by giving you facts and logic, reason, common sense. And they're trying to get trust. They're, they're asking for your trust. It is the number one indicator that 99.99% of the time they are going, they're doing it to scam you. They're doing it to get it over on you. And it could be the smallest thing. One way people scam others is through a procedural thing. It's a, it's a timed-based thing. We all know this, but we forget it. They go in, and they will start to convince you in the most minor way. And, and once you adjust to those very minor influences, they start to raise the bar. And they, they, they get you to the point they need you to be at, like we, like we watched Red's Rhetoric and Lobster Man and others in that crew do this to a group of science-based debunkers and their audiences. And they bring you just to that level they need you at with trust and believability in what and who they are to where when some emergency or thing pops up, they can then exploit you for that money. And it's a great example of how you have to look for the... And I know you know this, Doc, but... More people need to look for those initial tells. Because I don't really find a reason that you need to start trusting that this person is a philosopher. Why should I have to be told that you're a philosopher? Why should I have to be told that you're a doctor? Or why should I have to be, con not told, told's fine, convinced. Why do I have to be reminded all the time? I should know by the way you talk, by the way you're educated, the arguments you make, right? The one great thing about the fact that people who go and, and do extreme amounts of time to learn uh, 
and uh, to learn uh, advanced degrees or to become experts in something without a degree or even to become recognized by people on what they do in a way um, that is, I'd say, popular uh, to most people is they will be able to get in front of you and speak from their knowledge with their personality and convince you that they do have the base level knowledge, at least to be able to say and do what they do. So there really should be no level of convincing that doesn't involve you judging their speech, judging their knowledge. And that was something we could recognize very easily in past fraud raisers and the people that ran them, even a current fraud raiser that's still going on. The, the, the fraud raiser with, that involves suing Katie, you look at the people running it and you basically make a list. You could write down, what do I know? What, what, can, I, what can I actually, what, what data can I actually collect and know that it's true from what I'm being told and shown and what am I assuming and what do I have nothing on? And the sad thing is, if we did that more often, the, the assumption the assumption category would be very large without us even recognizing it. And it's one thing I do when I first enter into a community. I look at a per I looked at Letitia and Molly and, and their relationship to Marvon and Dre. I looked at, I, I did a lot to judge the capacity that they had in how they treated Dre. Do they still treat Dre as a human being? Do they still treat Dre, treat Dre? Do they act in a professional way with how they treat Dre? And those red flags just immediately led me in to say, I need to go deeper and take a look and see if there's anything past the surface level that they've shown us with their behavior and the, what they've put out. And, and it was an immediate ding, ding, ding. I don't want to keep boring everybody by rambling, though. So let me load this game up. But I'm so sorry that I missed those questions earlier. I feel bad. But... I won't miss them next time. Okay, I just installed this game. Everybody's talking about it. You guys know the show Rick and Morty, right? Cartoon show. See, I'm ready. I, I wore my Pickle Rick shirt for this. So Rick and Morty, the guy, the creator, uh, Royland or whatever the hell his name is, uh, made a video. <coughs> Excuse me. He, he wrote, I guess. I'd say wrote a video game or made a video game or whatever called... It just came out recently, and it's called, uh, I wish it would just freaking load so I could tell you what it's called, High on Life. It's a comedy game, and it's not really long. It's supposed to be really funny, and I think it's going to be a cool experience for us. Uh, Lauren says, just like being told by someone how nice and respectful they are is meaningless if they're insulting you as they tell you. Very true, Lauren. And, and, and you know what I think they do? I think they do that as a test. I think they want to test whether they... I think these things are done on purpose by people like Molly and the Lobster Peeps and the others. Oh, it's starting. Because I think it's a test to see how far they've gone. <laughs> it, it, this is supposed to be funny. This whole thing is supposed to be, like, really hilarious, okay? This is supposed to be like a really funny game, okay? Now, I don't know if it will be or not. We're gonna see. Where in the Sam hell is the volume for this? Oh, there it is. Okay, is that good? Is that a good level? That should work. We want subtitles. Do you guys like subtitles or do you hate them? I'll tell you what, if you don't like the subtitles, I will turn them off later, okay? All right, let's go. Story mode. Yes, we want to know what the story is. Check, check, hello. Can you read me? Buck Thunder. Buck. Buck off. Oh, it's me, Phil. Your divorce This is not the game. This is a joke in the game. There he is. I can hear him. That's Morty. Rick and Morty's voice. Go kill them all, Buck. That's the game. Okay. 
me, Phil, your divorce lawyer again. You remember how to <laughs> Your divorce lawyer? The shit on the screen that tells you how to do all that stuff. I mean, come on, Buck. This is the second game. You is it loud enough for you? You guys want it a little louder because, like, hearing what they're saying is pretty important in this. So, because it's like a video game show we're gonna be playing. <laughs> this is not the game, guys. This is like, this is like, um, this is like a joke that they're starting the game with. Oh my god, dude. A fucking crouch prioritized over a double jump. Who is this? Who, who, who are these people above us? All right, that's a good crouch, Buck. That's a good crouch. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Fucking scoping and scheduling. Bullshit. Fucking double jump. Not more important than a crouch. <laughs> Stay sharp, Buck. Buck your ex wife's new alien boyfriend. There they are. That's what I'm talking about, Buck. Kill those fuckers. You're the man. They I'm cuss a lot, too. So fucking cool. Oh, I'm so excited and lit up to be your divorce attorney. You have no idea your. Your divorce attorney. What are you talking about, bro? You are my favorite client. Okay, you're my divorce attorney. I got it, bro. Shit, I can't get up there or something. What? They're they're bucking my girlfriend? Is that what he said? What is this game? What the hell's that noise, dude? What is that? What is that noise? You hear that? I promise I haven't played this. I, I promise I have not played this game. That sounds so weird in my ear. Why didn't you say goodbye to mom and dad before they left for their trip? You know they were pissed, right? Whatever, we got the place to ourselves now. This is this is funny. I like this. Oh my god, don't give me this that hilarious. Look, narc. What are you mad that I'm throwing this party tonight? Oh my god, it's sis, fun. what are you doing? Mom and dad are gone for a whole Why is my sister week? Betty? We can do whatever we want. Betty, stop it, Betty. Stop, Here, Betty. Fun. You're gonna punch Try some fun. you're gonna choke somebody. <laughs> you know it's good for your depression, right? Okay, we're totally gonna rage tonight. I cannot wait. I gotta text Jen and make sure she brings the good. Okay. Shit. Whoa, whoa. This is whoa, how you pick your begin. character. Uh, what is wrong with your face? Uh, so, anyways. This is how you pick your character. Uh, did you know she almost got a DUI? Don't tell anyone. That is a secret, but everyone already knows. Is this a girl or a guy? It's a girl, right? Her car, which sucks because we could fit two kegs in her trunk. I don't know who to whatever, pick. I think Oliver's boyfriend. I don't. Do you want me to be a girl or a guy? They are really. If I'm being a guy, I'm there. being this Garner one. I saw them fighting in the Circle K last Yeah, you, week, you pick your. You pick your. This is Bullhorn Betty's mirror. If you didn't know. I mean, they do know. Ugh. Finally, there you are. I felt like I was losing my mind. So, do why does this sound like I'm talking that? to Sarah Silverman? Fine, I do not like Sarah then. Silverman. All right, I'm gonna go get ready for the party. This stuff's gonna last me all week. It is powerful. It sounds like Sarah Silverman. I I do not like her, but I bet you that's that was Sarah Silverman. Space elephant. Ben Dead Zombie Originals. Like, what the hell, dude? This looks... The graphics are all right. It looks kind of real, dude. Whoa, look at the fucking dust and the light coming in. Wow. You guys seeing this Mom okay? Does it look good? Charge. She did it in okay, look. I'm pumping this game at you guys. 1080p. Uh, 60 frames a second. 
So it's gonna look good. Tell me if it looks all right. Secret, so it wouldn't hurt your feelings. And Dad said that he flat out doesn't love you. It was actually pretty messed up. By the way, hey. Mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. Then come meet me outside. I need your help grabbing party shit from the store. Hello, sweetheart. I would have been nice if you to come downstairs to say goodbye to your father and I before we left. We hope you know we love you very much, but can't keep supporting you if you're just going to sit around playing video games all day. You should follow Lizzie's example. She already got ex She does crack in the morning. Like Bullhorn Betty. She eats peanut butter and crack sandwiches. Do not tell me to be like my sister. Oh, this is where, okay, okay, the story starts here. So, I guess... Holy shit! Oh, what the fuck? Get down and stay quiet. Okay, here's the story starting. I knew aliens were real. Huh. So this, I guess the story is, is that human beings are drugs to the aliens. Oh, they snort us look, and we die. Mr. Pilfrey. He's got that, what is... Um, What's it called? Uh, dementia. What's going on out here? Martha? Is that you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? Getting high on him. Look. He just smoked him. What the fuck is going on? He just smoked Mr. Pilfrey. Or whatever his name was. He smoked him. Come to what the fuck? Did he overdose or something? Fuck. Oh, did that thing just spit all Finally! Over you? Oh my god, finally I'm free! Thank God! What a nightmare! Listen, can you pull the inhibitor chip out of me? It's the metal thing stuck in me. Just pull oh, it out. What the fuck is that? Oh, that feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I I, I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we we gotta kind of we gotta oh, move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. Ignore her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. These three guys are going to turn your whole species into drugs. Can you handle a gun? Because yes. you know, I'm kind of a gun, and if you don't use me to kill... Fuck, all right, first kill. I am so glad you picked me up. Well, let's keep going. Not bad, alien. Not bad at all. Let's head to that base. Well, here you go. It's a deep reward base. Okay, let's just clean house. It's all it's nice. a pretty responsive you, you, you game. Had to kill them, right? It was either them or you and me as well and, and I, I I would prefer to live. You know, and I have a voice. Oh shit, it's a mark. They're tougher. It's my human into the base. I I got your sins. I'm tracking you down. Can't I take his gun, dude? Look at that thing. to warp the hell off this doomed planet. Sorry, no offense. I don't mean to upset you, but yes, your planet is doomed right now. There it is. Okay, listen, don't worry about the beeping. The beeping's fine. It's just, it's gonna blow up soon. We just need to plug this thing into power. Oh my God, look at this shit. Whoa! Do you have one of these huts around here? Take us there, we gotta move. Is this my house? I forget which one's mine. Oh, there's the hole. Wait a minute. There's the dead guy. This must be my house. Oh 
Oh. Dude, I, I don't know which hut's mine. Is it this one? I already went here, I thought. Oh, here it is. Oh, thank God you're still alive. I just killed an alien. <laughs> <laughs> I got blood in my mouth. Uh, hey, hey, Canna. Yeah, bro, it's called Life. What, what did I say it was called? Fuck. Uh, High on Life. It just came out by the Rick and Morty. The creators of Rick and Morty made it. It's really a story-based game, so it's kind of like watching a movie while you play it. Because it's all about a story, but it's fun, it's just not that long of a game. It's literally like playing a Rick and Morty episode. I was like, I think we're all gonna die. You got anything in here that emits, I don't know, microwaves? I know it's a lot to ask. What, like a fucking microwave? Oh, whoa. I can understand your gun now. Translator microbes are contagious, but please just move past all this shit. Do, bro. All right, it's go time. Let's get out of here. Wait, get out of here? Where are we going? To find somebody who can help. You ever been to the big city? Because you're about to, except that it's a space city. It's a huge space city, and you're going to be out of your element. And you better just follow my lead. <laughs> this gun what? is dumb, dude. What just happened? Okay, let me Looks move like my uh, cam. Welcome to Blim City. Did you just warp our entire house? to another planet? Yeah, keep up. We'll be safe here. Now take me outside. Whoa, whoa. You're just going to leave me here in in what? Space? Are we are we in space? Yeah, sorry. I know you're a bit shaken up, but you'll be fine. It's better than getting enslaved by the G3. Trust me. I guess that's true. How the hell are we going to get back to Earth? You're going out there into space? Yeah. Welcome to fucking space. Whoa. So this is Blim City. Not not bad, huh? I don't know how we're gonna find Gene though. Let's just ask around. There's all kinds of aliens out here. Let's just let's just ask. He he is famous. Oh shit! I can shoot people, man. Hey, we're looking for Gene Zaruthi and the bounty hunter. Any idea where he might be? Who? N no. Do you know how many freaking people live here? And you expect me to know this? Do I save it? I don't save this it. Guy. No. Oh no. Of course not. Okay. It's AAA priced. Um, it's on Game Pass. Yeah, it's 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 sixty bucks. It's on Game Pass though. Um, so if you pay five bucks for Game Pass, you can play it and then cancel Game Pass when you're done. Yeah, it auto saves. I think. Okay, not there was there was helpful. Lauren. Let's save the homicidal urges for the bad guys. Okay. Fuck! It won't let me shoot him. Hey, uh, we're looking for Gene Zaruthian. I'm not sure. Maybe you could help? Oh, I wish I knew where he was. He owes me like 300 pesos. Huh. That doesn't <laughs> sound like Gene Zaruthian to me. He looks freaking weird, dude. Hey, here's a dude. Let's Excuse talk to him. Excuse me. Do you have any idea where Gene Zaruthian is? What? That's my name. I'm Gene Zaruthian. But why would you... Oh, wait. You're probably thinking of the famous bounty hunter with the same name as me. Sorry. I'm just some loser accountant. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. No, this one can live, okay? <laughs> you won't let me shoot anybody, man. I I'm kind of homicidal. Wait, does the game look... You know what? Let's see. I bet you I should probably put this in capture instead of display. Let me try it. Sometimes the games don't work, but if it does, it'll run better. Come on. Yay! Let's see if it, let's see if it's a little smoother. Oh, much smoother, yeah. Much better. No no glitches or anything, okay, really this smooth. Isn't going so yeah. Well, but let's keep asking hey, around. Don't even think about going down to the slum. Yeah. This is a maintenance only share. Subscribe. Stop trying to kill everyone. Jesus. Well, it's fun. It's it's funner than this. Where the hell um, is he? Blim City's always been his headquarters, you know? We can't get up. Oh my god, there's literal spaceships flying around. Oh shit, look at that. I want to fly that. Wow. 
Oh, well, this is a pretty big city, so I would imagine it wants me to, like, look around for him. I haven't been over here. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, we can't get inside that lug locks without something really sharp. Okay, God, someone has to know where Gene is. You can't shoot these open. You, you gotta have something to cut them open, you know? Like a knife? Okay. I know to come back here when we get a knife then. Got it. What? Limb? Portal? Limb portal. No warping? Huh. Alright, well. Now I'm sure that's for late. See that? Hey, excuse me, does the bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian live around here? The bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian? Ha, uh, you must be confused. Uh, uh, please go. What did you mean by that? It's, it's him. Dude, talk to me. Let's not kill them, okay? Fucking A, dude. Will you talk? Can you talk? Lord. Blue guy. Hey, blue guy. Are you talking to you or something? I don't remember talking to blue guy. There's another box. Something like a knife to open those. We talked to him. We talked to him. Get out of my way. You. Oh. Hey, calm down. We don't need to shoot Wait. everybody. Sorry, shot in the dark here, but are you familiar with the Gene Zaruthian? Who? Oh, yeah. He's he's homeless. He's sleeping on a bench right nearby. I just walked past there him earlier. I'm really glad I could be so helpful. What? Really? Uh, okay, well, thank you so much. Shit. He's homeless? Bench. And he's homeless, and he just walked by him. You think he could point us in the freaking direction? There's a bench. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just taking a quick outdoor nap in between big bounty hunting gigs, you know? So I guess Gene's sleeping on a bench near here? Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. <laughs> okay. All right. The hook bug, huh? Um, I see benches, but I don't see this dude anywhere. Anyone got an idea? Don't shoot the pets? All right. I, I just I'm getting bored and I want to shoot you know what? something. I bet the guy on the bench isn't Gene. It just doesn't really make sense to me. I'm I'm you know I, I was thinking you'd have like a big bounty hunting office. You know we could visit and you know a bunch of cool bounty related things in there. Uh, maybe a receptionist. This is the slums. You'd think. Wait, here we go. Hey, what's up, dude? Hello. No, I'm not shooting this one. Yeah, I have no. All right, come on. Let's go find the guy on the bench. I, I, I don't think it's Gene, but it's our only lead. Dude, I don't see a guy on a bench, bro. And my house is right there. Isn't this my house? God, this game. Hey, hold up. You. Hello. Son of a bee, bruh. Anyone know what I gotta do? He's right in front of the house? Oh. Oh, wait. That one dude, yeah, I tried to talk to him, it didn't let me. Son of a bitch. Okay, it's gotta be this way. It's wanting me to walk around this city. Guarantee it's wanting me to walk around this city. Right, it's probably trying to, um, you know, familiarize me with this shit, because I'm gonna have to come back here. You're on a bench, are you Gene Garofalo? Stop it! We're not killing this one! Detected. Blend City Plaza is under temporary lockdown. Shit, I guess that's our fault, huh? Let's just try looking yeah. around here for now. Yep, yep. We're in the right place. I 
I feel like I've ran around this entire effing place. I'm really getting pissed at this game now. I don't know what I did wrong, but I think I went the wrong way at some point. Been keeping my eye out. I like running into them. Kind of funny that when you bump into them, they like fall over. Other games aren't like that. You just literally just walk right by them. Oh my god in heaven. Hey. You. No, come on. Would you stop with the killing for a bit? Well, you were right next to him, lol. Go straight from your front door. Oh, thanks, Lono. Have you played this, bruh? Okay, there's my house. Go straight from Oh, that's the front door. Boy, you are always in some kind of rush, aren't you? I'm not judging. Is I'm this just, him? Just, just observing. This him? I'm I'm either stupid or I'm just bad at this game. Oh. Unauthorized walk detected. Glen City Plaza is under hey. temporary lockdown. This is my front. Oh, oops! I did not mean to do that. So, how is it out there? Is it scary? It's fine. It's 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 space. Same as it always was. Stop freaking out about it. He's laying down on a bench. Okay, I'm on my front door. Front door. Laying down on a bench. About to look up a guide. Uh, this is not out my front door. Go straight out the front door. It's funny, there's a lot of little bugs though. It, I don't know if it bugged out or what. Ah, uh, what are you looking at? The fuck, dude, no, don't do that. Tell me where he is, I need Gene Garofalo. How much you want to bet I walked up to this dude or something and it didn't work? Like, maybe if I reload my save. All right, last checkpoint. Here we go. You just keep missing him? <laughs> Am I dumb? Oh, fuck. Now I'm not at my house anymore. Okay. If he's laying on a bench, it's got to be easy to see. But there's a dude sitting on a bench. Hello, Gene Garofalo. Hello. What does this little fucker look like? Okay, front door. No benches. Listen, we're going to have to talk to some of these aliens if we expect to find Gene. Hello, I want to find Gene Garofalo. You know Gene? You know Gene Garofalo? Hi, do you know Gene Garofalo? Oh, uh, there we go! Hello? Fuck! Get away! Don't take Thanks, my shit! Oh my god! It, it can't be! What do you want? You're not the famous bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian, are you? Who's Gene asking? Zaruthian? You're, you're really Gene! Yeah, I'm really Gene. That's me, like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsie. <laughs> we were gonna ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid, do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn home. Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know, still has their legs? Ho, 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 ho. Look at that nice house. God damn. Where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house. The one hairy holding alien. Oh, damn. Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, yeah, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You can? Uh, but you just said... Maybe the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the... Who, who'd you say? The, the G3 cartel? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, that's crazy, but... Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll kill them all. Easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational. I like this guy. Card over there. Really? Well, that's kind of, that's convenient. Yeah, I can turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die, 
I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. And, and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah. This is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit and I might get a house. I, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, Harry kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, go ahead. Try it on. What choice do we have? Okay. You look great, kid. A natural. <laughs> Definitely not gonna die on your first bounty. All right, this I is pretty we'll cool. Shot, okay, I, it's I pretty cool. I like it. I'm liking it so far. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. It's still in trial mode. I pawned off the activation license. The ticket should be in one of your pockets. Some loose change, too. Should be enough. Take that down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop, and he'll get you all set up. The suit will help you get there. Hey there, Jean Zaruthian. It's me, Sudo, your helpful bounty hunting assistant. Before Pseudo. I enable mobility, I just need to make sure your info scanner is online. Can you go ahead and give the area a quick scan for me? Okay, e? perfect. Oh, Good shit. Job. I've identified your current objective. Head on down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop. Can you see the waypoint? All right, let's go. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm waiting, but you, you gotta go perfect mundo. Everything is in working order. Mobility unlocked. You are free to move, Gene. All right. I'll get things set up at your house while you're gone. Ooh, whoops, sorry about all those pop-ups. I forgot to warn you about that. Um, you can close them with the interact button, but they are gonna keep coming back nonstop. Uh, that's just gonna keep happening until you activate the license. Sorry, you better hurry up. Where am I going? Oh. All you you able to Horse see okay? penis. Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be like that. Where the fuck am I going? Here? I, I think Mr. Keep is just ahead. You you, you got this. Oh, it wants me to stand here for some reason. Why am I standing? What in the hell, dude? Oh, what kind I of see. Bounty hunting equipment Gene is setting up for us, huh? It's kind of exciting, you know, sorta. It could be cool. What's up, freak? Jarb, greet the customer properly. Welcome to Mr. Keep's dip shit. We're your friendly neighborhood pie shop. I stop in door, nobody even <laughs> cares. Jarb. <laughs> Oh, so old Zaruthian doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But, but it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got enough useless shit, Dad! Fine, take it! <laughs> it's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. <laughs> it costs order. so much. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on? as your permanent in-suit advisor. Yes, or of course. That was the best choice you could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back a bunch. Oh, look at his feet. Oh, he's like sitting Whoa, in a little thing. Bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star. Can I shoot him? Fuck. All right, bounty hunter. I guess let's head back to the house and check in with Gene. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. All right. Hey, you can okay. run, you know. You, you, I don't know if you do that. Try hitting the button on your screen. I, I, I can't say the name of the button because I have no fucking clue what kind of controller or keyboard you're using. It's weird. It takes you to a location and then it wants you to... The waypoint thing is annoying. It really fucking is, dude. It's dumb. <laughs> but it's okay, you know, oh, I'm not... There's little guys coming out of your house. That, okay? 
The fuck? Ew. Ew. What the fuck? Hey, nice house you got here. Real ritzy. Way better than my bench. Oh, wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational bounty 5,000. So, uh, you're welcome. A what 5,000? Your kid here thinks they're gonna be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move <laughs> in with us. <laughs> That's what you did. Look, I, I know it's yeah, a lot all of funny. At once, but we need him to save your species. So what? We just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers? Yeah, can we what? do something, please? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck. Look how real it looks. It really looks real, right, doesn't it? What? I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. We're gonna Maybe get the knife. And get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus. Okay. Ah, uh, big city slums, constantly stuck in power struggle with their own class, don't underestimate her, except bounty. Okay. Are there, wait, can I? Oh, worlds? Oh shit! Okay, except. Shit! Normally that door would open up a gateway that lets you walk right through it. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the bounty five thousand all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, <sighs> sure. All right, l let's go, bounty hunter. Don't forget Why? to get my knife. Why are we We're doing this for the though? Gateway to the slums, I guess. Look, it shouldn't be too far. L I, listen, I already found it. Waypoint. That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? Hello, citizens. I'm Blim City Magistrate Clug Nugman, and I have heard your Clug Nugman, huh? There it is. Yeah, I remember it. Right. Okay, that's got to be the way into the slums. Hey, uh, Kit, uh, excuse me, can we get our, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on. So you really want to get into the slums, huh? Then shit a little bit for oh, us. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't make him answer this no, room. No, I want to know. Oh, it's God. fine. We'll, we'll help. Okay, great. What in the world? If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out? Oh, Lord. This feels like a trap. I'd, I'd rather not say. Come on, you gotta answer. It's a hypothetical. We know it's not real. Well, you know, you, you know, just give us like your gut instinct. I do like Come the way on. their Come mouths on. move, though. It's more it. realistic than most other games. Okay, the uh, red one. I guess one. the red guy. Whoa, seriously? Okay, come on. You, you don't gotta say that just to make him feel better. He's a big boy. He can take it if you think he's way uglier than No, me. no, no. They said me. They picked me, dude. They picked me, not you. They picked me. They said I was hotter, not you. <laughs> well, it's true. Look at you. I'm not a liar, man. I never lied in my life. I look at you and I see Phil. No, well, well, that's not what they said. They said I, they picked me. I, they said I was hotter. I, did you say that? You know uh, what? Second thought, I, I guess the blue guy's a little hotter, if I had to be honest. Yeah, see? See? I fucking told you. They must have had something in their eyes, and now that they got it out, they can clearly <laughs> tell which I am. Oh my god. Okay, it's kind of funny. Oh my god, I'm crushed. Kinda that actually funny. hit me a lot more than I thought it would. Whoa. All right, just give me a second. I I'm like lightheaded now. Hold on. Hey, He's turning collars. Look at him. Just between you and me, I'll let you use my door whenever you want. Free access in and out to the slum. Just don't come. Thank God. Well, thanks. Mm. Shit, I'm glad we picked you. I'd rather you not use my door, like, ever, if that's all right. I, mean, you I really think we handled that as best we could, you know? Sure. It's a pretty game. I've never been topside. Oh, oh, Lord. Topsider. Not interested. 
Hey, oh my god, I broke my fucking leg coming down that pipe. Be careful. Sorry to hear that. What the? Well, well. <laughs> Look what we got here. Fresh meat. Hey there, fresh meat. Welcome to the slums, fresh meat. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Come on, he's just a kid. D don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to. Just because you're your little gun. Oh, but you look, look how shootable I look. I look so shootable. I am not shooting a kid. Go ahead. Do it. Shoot me, fresh meat. Ah, you shot me. I'm dead. Eh. All right, there. Are you happy now? Well, I, I didn't think we'd be allowed to kill him. Yeah, normally, killing children in games isn't isn't allowed, but he's dead. We killed <laughs> this kid. Are, are you happy now? We killed a kid. A kid is dead now. There goes our Oh my god. Rating. Attention Blib City City. <laughs> Shit, we got to take down these drones. Dura shield, blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. But oh, I'm not damaged. Okay. So it finally happened. Someone killed my son. Y your son? <laughs> yeah, he's up there who always calls everyone fresh meat. We are so sorry. Listen, don't get used to that. We're not killing any more kids. I'm drawing the line, so savor it. Enjoy it. It happened. Tuck it away in the old memory book. No, it's fine. He was 30 years old, so don't feel too bad. 30 years <laughs> old is still adolescence for our oh. species, but it's not as bad oh. as like a five-year-old or something. It's a Fallout no, or a Skyrim reference or something. Murder. And I warned him. Over and over, I said, don't sit up there calling strangers fresh meat or some gun-toting psychopath. Shut up. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh, holy shit, you just killed Jason. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it tries shit. to here make you feel bad for shooting the enemies. Foot soldiers to prove ourselves around here. These people think we're weak. Not on my watch. What are we? Some kind of bounty hunter? The slums are full of asshole. Yeah, this is Nine Torn's turn. The coolest turn. Shit, they're shooting at us. Come shoot back. Come on, shoot back. It's gonna be so easy to kill you. Nine Torn trained us real good. We're the toughest enemies in the game. Stepped on your ass. This hurts. The hell is this, dude? This place is this game is nuts, dude. Yeah, but Bethesda games don't let you, really. It was like a joke, I think. Like a, a reference, an Easter egg, something. Just let it kill you, okay? Wow, all right. You, we got them all. You, usually these Torgs aren't so hostile. Something must be going on. L let's look around for somebody who can help us. So you, you think maybe there's somebody I'm so lonely over here? I got all this great information I could share. Hello there, friend. <laughs> Can I help you? Who is Nine Torg? Do you know where he is? What are you doing here? What's it like living here? Do you know how we can get to Nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish, and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Really, Ultima? Or is there really a laundromat? I have to try it. On, kid. Take I haven't played Ultima in so long. Or nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh Christ! Just follow that path along the sludge. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Oh, hey, you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Amy at the... Fuck yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my glove oh, shot. Okay. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlians have a different kind of trick hole. My, mine does this. Boy, yes! Yes! Oh, oh my God, I can do this all day. But doesn't this fucking rule? God, I love spewing big gloopy globs. Oh, come on, dude. What? Bowl messenger? What am I doing here? 
Trying to go that way. Oh, then what? Why won't this go down, dude? Like. You can't oh, okay. Shoot open. You, you gotta have something to cut them open, you know? What are you talking about? There must have been a, a box under there. Oh, shit. Okay. Until you get it, you know. Oh, be patient, cause it's my cool glob shot. How in the f? Whoa, perfect shot! You fucking nailed it. How sick was that? Whew, okay. I gotta recharge. It doesn't take too long, but it's a little longer when there's enemies nearby. You know, my, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's watching, you know? The bounty hunter who killed our friends. Oh my god, this... We, this makes you feel bad for killing the, the enemies. Like, I don't like this. They were just chilling, and we came in and just eradicated him, bruh. Oh, we busted his head. Oh, poor guy. We're all dying. We're dying. Oh, it's so sad. You're talking beginning, and like, you're dead, bro. Like, what the that fuck? That feel good, because I thought I was like a... Please! Please don't kill me, please! Looks oh, like fuck. Looks like he was die clean only. Hey, careful with the merchandise. Whoa, hold up a bit. Let's listen. You got a fire line up and everything. They're going to be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you! I'm sick of this. I want to tear through someone's guts! Oh, I think they're talking about Gene's knife. Oh, fuck you! Got it, free. We've had enough of your bullshit. Uh, yeah, it's who's your there? Fault, Stevie. Who are you? Uh, hey, hello there, friends. Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey, are you the buyer? Uh, yeah, we're here to uh, <laughs> buy buy a knife. You guys are selling a knife, yeah? Oh, perfect. You're really late. We were starting to get worried. <laughs> Go with it. No shooting. Oh, come on. All right, here's the product. A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you. He's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. Their mouths he move really good. Talks about why I think to kill Other games aren't this well animated. Ways. Fuck you, I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's <laughs> just gonna drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Oh, a perf- oh. Fuck yes, thank you. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knifey. Now use me, use me. Let me fucking stab these cock sucking heads. Oh, just a reminder. Uh, don't do anything crazy when you're holding the knife. Just like look at it, see if you like it. Put it. Oh, fuck yes, yes. Fuck yes. More, more. I need more stabbing. Hey you, listen. Point me at your raw, fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now. Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife Gene was talking? Talking about Jane? Did you just say Jane? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Jane, so I can fucking decapitate him. Wait, what? Why? He says <laughs> to rescue you. Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him though for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me. Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her. Oh, perfect. Finally, we're on the same page. Let's kill Nine Torg then, Jane. Okay, definitely <laughs> Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability. I'm more than just a knife, you racist. I can tether too. Look up and latch on. You racist. Here we go. Fucking cool, right? You gotta use me to swing across this sludge. Oh, fuck yeah. Not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The Sludge Works processing plant. Nine Torg was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Torg or six Torg, whatever. I don't know. There's too many now. There's too many Torgs. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big Sludge Works sign. I want to stab somebody. I, I don't get it. Hitting E. 
F swings it. I thought E shot something out. Like, oh, you gotta jump first. So you okay. So mentioned that Gene gave you the nine tour. Dave, try gamble me away in a game of space poker. That sack of shit. Can't wait to stab all three of his fucking eyes. Even the wonky one. Especially. Oh, a lug locks. Use me. I can open those fuckers up real good. And it's good inside me too. Win win. Yes. What happened to Gene? Didn't he used to be a hero? Yeah, used to be. Hard to tell these days, right? Towards the end, the only thing I was cutting for... Oh, yes! Oh, do this every time! Never fire your gap in again! Please, just use me for killing now. Making a knife for your only any percent run. Um, I'm getting the hang of it. It's all right. The game controls oh, hey, all right. Gatterall, that, 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 that'll fill me back up. Gatterall? Come on. Whoa! Thank Jesus. Okay. Gatterall. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Gatterall. Okay. Are you trying to add me or something? Oh, mommy, mommy, uh, that's the stuff. Gatterall. <laughs> Yeah, this game's funny. A lot of drug references. That's a little strange, but okay. Oh! Okay, good. I thought I'd fall. Oh. Oh, sludge works. Nine Torch should be here. Who's at the ready, man? The legendary ant killer of Protoss. And they've obtained the fearsome Night of Death. Oh, brother. Fight my ant brethren. Fight for your lives and avenge our fall. Feel powerful? We're unstoppable. Is this bloodlust? Am I feeling bloodlust right now? Oh yeah, mate. That's what I'm talking about. Now you're getting it. Oh man, I guess I am. Night Torch must be close. Let's right this way to kill her too. I wanna fuck her up real good. It is kind of fun. I gotta admit. Yeah, definitely exploration to get extra money and shit. Come on, if you let us kill you, it'll make us climb the poor grass. Oh. Let's give him a glob shot right out of my trick hole. Any last words, Five Torg? Is that Nine Torg talking? Fuck off! I've always said you were the worst Torg! You know, Seven Torg said the same thing. Right before I killed her. Damn you! And you're next. Huh. You got this! Shit, dude. Nine Torg! Yeah. 
The sound, the audio is really good. The audio is really good. Like I can tell where they're at just by listening to them. I, I'm trying to grab them. They won't let me. I'm gonna die. I cannot grab them. Oh shit. I'm gonna die though. Oh, I got my armor back. Good. Pretty good. I, I, I yeah, that was we'd fun. Be able to pull it off. All right, we did it's it. Time. Time for what? Time to carve out a piece of it. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat. But since it's your first, I'll let you pick. Jesus, are you are you kidding? What kind of bounty hunters don't know that you've got to bring back proof of the kill to get paid? Oh God. Oh, don't be such a goddamn baby. Oh God, I can't look. I can't. I can't. Can we have just taken like a fingernail, some spit, uh, maybe a blood sample? Yeah, sure. Could have, I guess. Hey, I'm Five Torg. Thank you for killing my evil clone. I don't mind if you mutilate her corpse, really. It's fine. You did such a good job. That was like off the hook. You're not going to take over and end up being just as evil as Nine Torg, right? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Things are going to be a lot different around here. So no more crime then? Oh, not that different then. Technically, all of us Torgs are evil clones, so I'm still going to do a bunch of crime. But we're cool. Huh. Far as I'm concerned, you're a friend of the Torg family and welcome here anytime. An honorary Torg. You can be ten Torg. Now, if you'll excuse me, my day just became very full. Um, Are you going to be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can get down just fine. Hanging from ropes feels nice for my species. Hey, it's good for our backs. I'm, I'm actually the one who put myself here. How do I get that shit? I want that shit. Do I just jump up to it? Oh, good. All right, where we go? All right, let's go home and turn in our first bounty. Hey, you know that was some pretty solid bounty hunting back there. I mean, I mean, don't don't get too cocky about it or anything, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. That was some good killing. And I'm somewhat of a killing expert, actually. I can't wait to see Gene's face when he sees we pulled this off. Let's head back up through the slums tunnel. Wait a minute. There was a bunch of boxes here. Get some money. There's one. I don't know why that guy even bothered attacking us. I almost feel bad. Yeah, me too. Me too, gun... Guy? Hey, it's Lizzie. Hey, Lizzie. He hooked me up with this messenger thing. Crap. 
Are you still effing around there? Can you try and find some food humans can eat? I mean, I can try, but... Well, it looks like we gotta take the long way around, I guess. Dude, I hit E. I hit the E button, bruh. Hey, uh, you know, feel free to keep exploring, but whenever you're ready, we just gotta go through the tunnel that we ca came here in. You know, that tunnel? Oh, I'm kind of looking for it, bro. Oh, here we go. I gotta do this, don't I? No. Oh shit. Ow, I know this is hurting you too. So get the fuck out of this shit. Wait, where do we gotta go now? Over that way? Gotta be like a, a, a way to do it. Tell me it's not just opening this fuck. Are you kidding me, dude? There were some boxes around here. I really don't care to get the money. What the fuck does the money do? I know I saw a couple boxes over here, but you know, I really just don't There it is. All right, you know what? I don't even care. Where are we at? Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, we came this way. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You wanna hear my Christopher Walken? Hey, I'm walking here. This is New York City. Yeah, pretty good, right? Ah, oh, the translator. Oh, we're yeah, thinking yeah, about two different people, but same kind of thing, same kind of idea. How Wait, much Why am talking I did they program in this sense. game? Like, how many voices, how many voice lines did they have to put in this? There are so many. It's getting late. I'm gonna have to log off of this shit. Uh, it's bugged for you. It's not supposed to happen. You can buy stuff in the pawn shop upgrades. It's not as satisfying to get them when it's only money. Yeah. I mean, if I can buy stuff at the pawn shop, then I might as well grab some cash, but... I just gotta get used to the game, you know? I'll get used to it after I play it a bit. I would like to beat it just to see what the story is, you know? Okay, now, I've, there's a bunch of boxes laying around. Hold on, dude. I know there's a box, like, right... Well, there was. Here it is. Yeah. See? Can I stab this dude? Fuck, it won't let me. There's the house. Alright. So I can go back to the pawn shop and buy stuff. There we go. It tries to be an arena shooter like Doom Eternal or Shadow War 3, but it never really comes close. I'm pretty far. It's still easy with the same enemies. I mean, it, it's, it just is a, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, the comedy part. It is kind of Rick and Morty-ish, you know? Huh. Why is the door closed? Look over there. Oh, what's up? See that? Who is it? You got my munch dash delivery? What? No, it's us. Oh, shit. Really? Good job. Oh, hold on. Is that Gene? Okay, get ready. I want you to stab me right into his fat little belly. Stab me in his fat little belly. What the hell, Gene? He installed new locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No. I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like killing Nine Talk? Look, I gotta be honest. It felt good. It felt great. I mean, hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming. <laughs> Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just uh? Hold on to him for now. Oh, sure. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. No, seriously. Let me stab him. It's, it's, it's saying I can stab him. Do I stab him? There's, like, full movies that play on the TV? Holy shit. Well, there you go. 
You're a real bounty hunter now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You're, uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet. Well, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome yeah, to Yeah, I kind of want to see what happens. Go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scroll down yeah, some pesos and buy that. Or whatever else tickles That's tight, bro. Fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you. Yeah, it is kind of. Get back. Sure, it is kind of, Lauren. Thanks, Gene. Just maybe next time, don't assume we're just going to die. Right. Got it. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, what's up? It's kind of entertaining. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say uh, it. A few steps more. Come closer. All right. That You're really going to need that Dodge unit from the pawn shop. The suit Shut up. Complete without it. Yeah, I'm watching some. TV show, buddy. What? Yeah, you always wanted a TV show, didn't you? Look, I know Mr. Keeps annoying, but you got to put up with him and buy back that up. TV, your number one choice for the scariest human movies fresh off the newly discovered planet Earth. I'm your... Okay. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to go to the pawn shop? Well, I'm not doing any more research on the G3 Will until you Will you shut do. up? Human, but don't go hiding under those blankets. Real Look at how real he looks, movie. though. Damn he really looks real. May not understand much about humans and their creepy lifestyles. Did you know that they worship their moms and dads and school principals? But apparently, <laughs> this dinosaur centric thrill ride was one of the most famous movies of all time on Earth. Grab the blob corn and settle in for the fright of your life. Here, isn't there Tammy. anywhere else you can stand other than right in my Shut fucking the way? Fuck up. Here, I moved to the side. There, okay. Can you see? These aliens, it's, these aliens make it, it seems like a real fuck. What the f Move it, kid. I'm trying to watch my stories. Fine, bro. I'll stand back here. What is this? Is this a real movie? Can we watch this or am I going to get copy struck? <laughs> like, can we literally just sit here and watch a movie on this game without me getting copy struck? Because I'll do it. Paul Walker is in it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I'm going to get copy struck. You know what I'm saying? Can come on, bro. Like, how long is the intro sequence to this movie? Oh my god, the gun is watching it too. Look, the gun is the gun is actually watching the show. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. I Hold up. So, Sal, do you want to walk in? Yeah, sure. His pain is back for losing. <laughs> I thought you did great. Yeah, well, the only great is when you win. <laughs> <laughs> Work it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way, bro. Hi, Byron. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Byron, meet Michael. <laughs> With plans to meet you in the flesh. You know, Tammy talks about you all I, the I, time. I'm sure we can watch <laughs> it. Think, girl, you didn't exaggerate one bit. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Well, I got... What if I do a live stream tomorrow where we literally just sit down and watch one of these movies? Wouldn't that be tight? I don't think there is any, Lauren. You know Byron, don't you? Yeah, I think everybody knows Byron. Let me see something. Can I turn the like actual like music down?
That way we can hear the uh, TV better. <laughs> it worked. So, so what? You shouldn't have done this. I kind of want to see the movie. Why not? Because From the eighties. You know exactly why not. Tell me, you can't live the rest of your life being scared of somebody. It's not worth it. Don't you understand that if he hurt you, I would never be able to forgive myself. But I'm not scared of him. I know you're not, but you should be. I just can't do it. It's very, it's very cheesy. We'd have to do Mystery Science Theater 3000 with Busy. Busy would have to be watching everything. <laughs> Maybe that's what I like about you so much. Ugh. It's, I think it's dinosaur something. Here, I can get a better, I can get a better view. Michael, you gotta get out of here. I'm not running from this guy, Tammy. He's going to hurt you. And if he touches me, I'm gonna hurt him back. What the hell do you think you're doing, Billy, man? Billy, you're gonna get I'm walking with this. Stay out of this. I'm walking with this lady. What do you think you're doing, man? I'm That's my lady, all right? But Billy, leave him alone. Stay out of this. You touch, you man. touch me, man. Hey, man, come on. You know something? I'm not gonna kill you this time. It's cool. Bam, I knew it. I knew it. How do we have 70 people watching this right now? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Paul Walker's brain in a robot Trex, Tammy in a T-Rex, I think. We're watching this. We are going to watch um, a movie in this. Not right now because it's too late. This is so awesome. We never get to watch movies together. Like, this will be tight. Look at everybody chill. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Get him, Betty. Yeah, Bob. What's her fucking name, dude? I'm forgetting her name already. Blowhard Betty. Get him. Can you do your crack? Do it. Oh, my God. Whoa. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh. All the kids are, like, loving this, dude. What is wrong with these kids? Oh my god, what is this? What am I watching? Why? What? Stop it! You let go of it! Let go! <laughs> no way! They're still doing it! Let go of this shit, bro! It's not gonna work anymore! Why are you two doing this to each other? I, you guys should... I think you like each other or something. And then you both let go at the same time. Okay. One. One. Two. Two. Oh, my God. Three. Three. Damn it, I said three. Let's go, Ryan. Let's go. Oh. Oh. What's the matter with you, boy? Ain't you got no balls? I got a cup on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you, man. Help me get I'm going to kill you, man. Why didn't they take him? He was grabbing it too. Leave me alone! You grabbed his junk! <laughs> Why were the 80s so crazy, bro? Why were the 80s? This is. What? What? I don't even know what to say, man. Do not clip this. No matter what you do, do not clip what just happened. Yeah, I guess so. Don't give up. Remember, true love never fails, honey. <laughs> what in the hell? What in the... What? <laughs> they grabbed each other's junk and now there's a T-Rex? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? Is it, is it supposed to be a real T-Rex or is it fake? Okay. Oh my god. Melody says I'm clipping. <laughs> Lights. Oh. Let 
the f Look at the computer. Beautiful. You see that the computer looks like something from like the 60s. The T-Rex. That was the T-Rex arm. That was not good anim animatronics. That that was cheesy as hell, dude. <laughs> that was so cheesy, bro. You want to talk about a B movie? This is worse than a B movie. Heartbreak and lonely times in, the, in time, yeah. <laughs> it's a Z movie, yeah. Okay, 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 look. Okay, I want to watch the rest. We will. We're going to, like, I don't know. At the, at the end of the next show, we're going to literally do, like, Mystery sci Rock a Lot Science Theater 3000. Like, no joke. This game is kind of surprising me because I thought it was really stupid for a minute, but. You know, it's, it's got just enough of a hook so far. It's just enough of a hook that we might want to play this, so. I can't believe that there's literal movies on the television, though. That's insane. I love it. And I wonder how many there are. The gun is going cross-eyed. Do you think there's more than, like, one or hey, two of them? Uh, Gene said you might have the old Dodge unit that goes with this bounty suit. Oh, yeah. We got that. Why? You want it? I want it, too. So it'll cost you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we, we know how buying stuff works. What is he playing with? What do I do? Walk up to it or something? Okay. They're everywhere. Crystal of Ithicales. Itana 2-pack. What's the damn price, bro? Hey, easy there, Tancho. We gotta buy the Dodge unit first. Dockstrap? Robot arm? Merc foot? Drill box? Scooter? Um? We didn't code any rhythm game mechanics, so this is just going to take up space in your inventory. Maybe you should give it to someone. Oh, I get it. Where the hell is the damn dodge unit, dude? Son of a bitch. Oh, I see. Slide bash unit, dodge unit. There we go. Enjoy. You can dodge. 
but it's not going to be nearly as effective. This is how professionals dodge with the dodge unit. Warp space around you in a manner you're able to dodge fast. All right, okay. there you go. One dodge unit. Have a nice life. All right, we got it. L let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. You're a health tank. You're a health tank. Adderall compartment. Okay, I don't need that. That's just extra. Lunzi. Now I know I hate to be pushy, but can you get your grubby hands off that phone and do some inventory? Oh, it's a phone. You don't have the hard cash. You're just window shopping. Downy suit extra large. Oh, hey, get your hands off. That's not for oh. sale. Good eye. That thing's a real. Oh, sorry, partner. That's not for sale. Take good care of your purchase bounty. Okay, owner. left I control to dodge in the same. Oh, shit. Oh, this is like Doom Eternal. Got it. What in the fuck is ringing, dude? Hello? Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? Right now, do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous. And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizza by foot? Just zap them to me. There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, work face, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now. Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. Okay, I see here. There's a lot of hidden shit in this game, dude. I can already tell. Where are all those damn boxes I saw earlier? There's one. We're actually Careful making some. Contagious. Oh boy, what? we got a touchy feely. Let's not kill them, okay? I'd like to. Why you keep stopping me, bruh? The hell's that? How much you want to bet you can jump on that thing to get somewhere, but it's really fucking hard. I'm getting tired just looking at you. I mean, my God. <sighs> okay, great. You got the dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What What do you mean? The big league. The G3 cartel. That's the next step. Taking down their head officers. Okay. Three uh, movies you, you so far, dude. Ready for that? Yeah. Nice. Whatever. Might might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Torque. So, uh, well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that. You know my whole deal. But uh, hey, it's your funeral. So go check out the Bounty 5000 whenever you're ready. Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. Is this the one we just watched? Yeah. How do I change the damn channel, bro? Change the channel, dude. Change it. What? 
while you were off murdering a gang lord in the slums? How is it down there? Any cool shops, or is it just sort of depressing? Everyone I swear, up here just that is Sarah Silverman talking. Really depressing. I'm probably just gonna not go down there, to be honest. But it is pretty crazy you killed a gang lord. And she was a woman, though. Not very feminist of you to kill a woman in power. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sis. All right, guys. We're gonna quit. All right. I kind of like the music, to be honest. I might, I might steal it. I mean, it has a really good style. The game has a really good style. Look at this. It does. It has a really good, like, style to it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so what did we do tonight? We found Betty, and we realized that huh, I left my sign on. Uh, was that always there? I don't think that was there. No, I turned it off because I was recording. I turned off all my little doohickeys, didn't I? I have no idea why that's there. That one, too. <laughs> Why is that there? Rock a lot live chat? Really? Oh, it is. It is. Um. Why is there a bookshelf right here? The world is going on, dude. Oh my god. I have to clean up. I need to clean up OBS. It's a mess. What is this? Huh. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Busy's watching T Spiracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Busy loves watching T Spiracy. Okay. So, yeah, we saw that stuff about Betty, which was a pretty crazy realization. You know, you'd, you'd think someone like Betty would do what I do, which is just react to YouTube stuff and give an opinion on things and kind of figure things out, you know? Like, wouldn't that be the better idea for someone like that? Because, like, what we do, it doesn't really matter, you know? Or what, let's say, playing or uh, talking about current events, you know? Something like that. You'd think that would be what she does. Then you don't have to worry... But when you're like literally morally judging everybody like they do and talking about how you're going to get justice for all these people when you can't even keep yourself in line with justice, that's when it becomes hypocritical. Like, I don't think it's hypocritical if someone has a past. You know, Kyle had a past, remember? Kyle's past was uh, he, he robbed money from a freaking church. Remember that shit? And he talked about it. It was part of his content. He talked about it all the time. No? You have 68 people watching you play a game at nearly 4 a.m.? Well, that's because I uh, love you guys. And I love that you're watching. I love that you, ha you hang with me. You know? That, like, that's what I really want to do is to be able to move further out into things. It's just that, you know, I've got to be comfortable mentally and you know after what happened you know i'm not going to bring it up but i had a, like a tragedy in my family like a year ago exactly a year ago isn't it yeah like exactly a year ago is is rachel in there watching freaking rick and morty <laughs> Me playing that game must have got Rachel in the mood for Rick and Morty because I can hear her in there watching Rick and Morty. <laughs> you know, but it really did mess me up, like, creatively. You know what I mean? You know, I always judged bands that I 
listen to because they would like stop putting out music or something. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I'd always wonder why like somebody that I really liked would 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 stop doing whatever they did. I kind of understand now, you know, like creating things is hard. Get like your reason to live in jeopardy, you know, or your entire life is kind of put on hold. It's kind of like sucks you dry or something, but, but things are better now. Things are like a lot better now, you know? Yeah, it's exhausting or. Live streaming is kind of different. I need sleep. <laughs> Thank you guys. I hope you come hang next stream and keep your eye out for uh, uploads because. Yeah, I just need to get back in the swing of things there, and I will. Appreciate you. I really do. I really appreciate you. No, thank you guys. Thank you guys.